But why, why the big secret? People are smart. They can handle it. The person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals, and you know it. 1,500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was the center of the universe. 500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was flat. And 15 minutes ago, you knew that people were alone on this planet. Imagine what you know. Red Hill Trip. My bronze hill crushing the head of the serpent Could never be a servant This I know for certain This is not a sermon I am not preaching This is just conversion I am just speaking Tearing down the curtain I am not peeking Looking past the veil now Third eye tweaking Channeling demons They think they're just doing yoga Couldn't open your pioneer with a crowbar you Need to read that fine print A little closer That shit ain't from the divine You're actually practicing obia They say I'm wise That the tune is core It's not a lie I'm wild like a tuna but raw Hide my whole mind, I've got no root for the Lord I've got some juice in the drawer I make that music that's raw I'm down to boot in your door I know some shooters and some boots is distributing the raw I cut from 9 to 5 dudes, a man that's flew with a fraud But I ain't sure but none of them would really do in the war So I say my highs and fires and that's usually all They ask me where I'm from and I don't really know, cause I've been everywhere, I never felt at home. My soul glows in places you don't go. I roll, roll, inhale it, I'm blow smoke, watching the world moving slow mo. Chicks worshipping trannies and rappers dressing like homos. Meanwhile, they stockpiling underground bases, trying to fill another wing with the underground faces. Money rules everything, love got downgraded, microwave generation was popping, replaced with sacred. And I don't mean to. Humans, for the most part, don't yes, have a clue. Yes, yes. Pick up your chest. Or well, we in the building. We in the building. Let me see you all go on. Yes, man. Yes, 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 yes. It's your boy, Illuminati live. We in here, man. I had my, um, my apple cider vinegar with honey. I got my water on deck. I've been minding my own business, sleeping. Uh, went to bed before 12, just before 12. Um, had a few wake ups, but you know, I think it was definitely better than yesterday. Deep breath. <sighs> inhale the new day, inhale. Yeah, man. So, yeah, big up to everybody. Um, made it through the night, whether you've been working. Sleeping, fucking, thinking, or not really been sleeping at all, whatever. Just salute to you. We're here. It's a new day. Well, at least for me, it's a new day. It is a Thursday, the 6th of February, 2020. Six days into the second month of the year. You know, we're ticking off lists, kicking asses, hugging babies, helping grannies. You know what I mean? Saluting the G's. That's what we're doing this year. Yeah, I gotta get some paint for my for my office, and I gotta get some blinds, and I gotta take my paintings down from the roof and bring them down to the office and start placing them up, decorating, putting the furniture in place. Which reminds me, I need to message. This chick, to make sure she sends me the contract. Yes, yes, yes. Happy new day. Dawn Flavius, you're on some morning thing. Forget morning. No one's morning. Get me. Either you after the, after the, either you after the, oh, and you know what I mean. Jada, work well, Jada. Big up your chest, man. Bomba Clark, Jada, you know. Is that you been playing GTA? Or is it, or is it your sister? If it's you, man. You need to behave yourself. Just like running around trying to call all the man them, call all your daddy's friends and that mad thing. I mean, where's the respect, man? You, you youngsters nowadays. <laughs> it's the respect, man. You know I mean? And um, yeah, and I added you, I tried to add you to our gang, innit? Trill, the Trill, Trill Luminami. Yeah, so there's about 30 of us, 20 of us. So try to join our gang on GTA. Yeah, I'm Red Pill True, innit? If you if you've not clocked, I'm Red Pill True. 
So yeah, I'll send you a gang invite. Do you know how to do that? Anyway, I'll wait for you to respond back. Big up J-Row. Come on. Big up J-Row. Like and subscribe to the fire. All right. I've got bare links in the chat. I've got bare links in the chat in case you're interested. Who's that? That's got to be Rambo, man. Let me see. Oh, no, it's Born Rich. Bomba Cloud. What the what up, bro? <laughs> what up, my G? Hey, you surprised me. What the hell are you doing here? Man, I haven't been asleep, baby. Up oh, all night. We man. on the flight. You crazy, man. Why yeah, are you man. not? You done a live show. Um, yeah. I was there for the test. And then by the time <laughs> you actually started your show, well, you've been having some technical difficulties or you using something different? No, that was the test. I was just doing a test and then I did a show. It's on a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was um I was flicking through, man. When I when I got I got to the part where you was like, uh, uh, okay, Sean, yeah, man, you need to jump up here. We could we could talk about that. No, you was like, um, a lot of Israelites actually think that Africans are, are part of the tribes. We could break out the Bible. <laughs> He's like, we oh, can break yeah. out the Bible, <laughs> go through the bloodlines. <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to do that tonight though. I wanted to make sure I didn't do a, a tap on religion. So what was your what was your show about then? Uh, I did a lot of uh, pop culture, a lot of pop culture today, man. I did um, uh, Tank. Uh, it's a boxer, Tank Davis. Tank Davis, he he kind of like grabbed his he grabbed his baby mom up at a party. Oh shit! Yeah, and and, and they found it on tape. Yeah, well, yeah. They obviously recorded, recorded. It. I recorded it. Like we don't really know the context, but I know like he walked through the crowd. Yeah. And he fucking grabbed his baby mama and was yeah. like, "Let's go." And and a, a lot of women got mad at me, but I was like, "Like, I, I think a lot of men been there before." If I'm honest, yeah, I mean, if I'm honest, like he, he didn't strike her, and he just grabbed no, her up, no, right? No strikes. He didn't yeah. strike her. He didn't hit her or anything like that. It was just like a aggressive grab, and we we gone, right? Yeah. We gone. So well, I mean, if I'm honest, I've never had to grab a woman because she's somewhere that she shouldn't be, and we got to leave. Yeah. I've never had that. That's a that's gonna be a horrible feeling, yeah. But I've I've grabbed a chick like in an argument before. You get me? Yeah, definitely. Like, mm. Mm. Yeah, or 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 you. like, are you crazy? Like she try to hit me, <laughs> and I've just grabbed her. Like, right, are you crazy? Do you know I will destroy you? Don't you ever. <laughs> You know, like, you know, sometimes yeah. you gotta let them know, yeah, man. Yeah. Don't you uh, ever, ever, ever. Uh, hey, quit playing with me, man. I fucking hate you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, you better quit pl fucking playing with me, man. Yeah, man. Stop yeah. playing with me, man. Um, but you know, now is that abuse? Is, is that abuse, though, my brother? It, it's context is everything, G. Yeah. You know, context context is everything. I mean, if a uh, Context is everything. For instance, it could have something to do with your child. Maybe she's made a, a major flaw, a major error, should I say? And you're just like, "Yo, like, don't play with my kids," isn't it? Like, that's so, that's something that I've experienced. Um, another thing has been um, uh, disrespecting a family member or somebody really close. Do you know what I mean? Or just overstepping certain boundaries. Sometimes I feel like um, when you get close with somebody. What they say familiarity breeds contempt. That's and fact. this can be with anyone. Sometimes it gets to the point where you have to kind of bear some teeth and remind them what what you're capable of or whatever. Like just just to check the, the levels, just to like reset the levels, like yo, like I don't play that shit. You know what I mean? But I will say to be balanced, um there's no dispute, there should be no dispute that can't be resolved. Um verbally without physical um uh, uh altercations but we are we are human and i don't want to paint myself into this perfect box where I, I i'm not allowed to respond like a human because there's this uh supposed behavior that i'm supposed to dis display it doesn't work like that when emotions are involved uh pussy and dick are involved sex and shit That's you know fun. man things kids are involved 
um, investment of, of energy, years. You know, it should get serious. You get in your emotion box. <coughs> like, yeah, man. <laughs> you both, Once that emotion box is open, anything can happen. So, yeah, man. I, I know personally, definitely, I've definitely had to, like, you know, grab up a girl and just tell her to, like, fix up, behave herself, don't fuck with me, you know? You know, give it a Rambo, not 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 Uncle Rambo. I mean, not, not, not oh, Uncle Rambo. A, hold on, hold on, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not the Uncle Rambo. No, I'm hold talking on. about Rambo First Blood, where we get where he jumps out the tree and he puts a knife to to, to the to the man's neck and says, "I told you to push me. You keep pushing, don't push me." No. <laughs> <laughs> I told you don't push me, but you keep pushing me. Yeah, should let me go, but you just keep pushing, I'm pushing. <laughs> <laughs> and he puts the knife to his man's neck, yeah. And then when he lets go, my man's just, the officer's just crying, like, <laughs> 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 you know. Sometimes that's all it takes, man. Um, sometimes. Oh, Work one, radar. Morning, morning, morning. A oh, happy new day. Have you ever had to grab a uh, grab a uh, a woman? Oh, no comment. <laughs> He's grabbing one now. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, man. Yeah. My I add though, uh, domestic violence isn't cool. And no, I'm ashamed of it. It's I'm not cool. not I wanted to say something, isn't it? Once you, once you, I've only ever done it once, and hmm. I do one person, isn't it? But I just wanted to, I learned my lesson from men. I know it's wrong, isn't it? I just want to say, like, to anyone, isn't it? Like, once you <coughs> think it's acceptable, isn't it? You'll just continue doing it, isn't it? And don't do it ever, isn't it? Because once you what? do it once, you'll, you'll think it's acceptable, isn't it? What's the longest relationship you've been in, Radar? Like four years. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Trust me. Every man that's every man that's been in a long term relationship has 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 felt like squeezing his partner once, or or at least throwing something not far from from her, just so it smashes on the floor. Or or was it yesterday? Or we had chicks talking about kicking the door, kicking off a door. Did you hear about that? Did you see that there was a dilemma? A man had an argument with his woman, and he um he all it says is that he kicked down the door. Yeah, he didn't touch her or nothing. He just kicked down the door. Um, we were discussing. <laughs> we were. Well, he we touched were, her. That he just kicked down the door. Yeah. Yeah, because they, he, there was no, there was no mention of him touching her. Just yeah. there was a heated argument. He kicked the door down, and now like he said, he's gonna pay for the door. He's apologized, and she's just like. Telling them that she needs space and blah blah blah. So I was just like, "Yo, you need to be careful. If a man's kicking the door down, he's he's gonna be you next." But the women were like, "Yo, oh, well, if he's gonna pay for it, fuck that man. Make it pay for the door. And it's, we're, we're good. Do you know what I mean, pay for the door and we're good. Like, it's you know, these things happen." I so, think I think the women are saying that, like, like, like you said, these things happen. Like, uh, people get emotional. And, and and people just act off emotionals with yeah. with no rationality about it. They just fucking act out act off emotions, and then boom! Now I kick down the door. I mean, when I I, I said I said it made a difference. Yeah, what side of the door she was on? Like if 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 she was behind the door, like actually in the room. Okay. That the door was closed and he kicked that door down. I think that's a different context to him maybe walking away from an argument, walking past the door and just kicking that. You know? Yeah. Because she may have been uh, locked in a room or said, oh, fuck that. I don't want to run into a room, locked a room. And now he's kicked that door down. That's a different context, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. even if even if he hasn't physically hurt her, he's psychologically hurt her. Oh. No, nah, but for love, seriously, because obviously, imagine a woman thinking that she's safe behind the door, the man just kick off the door. Yeah, you can't lock the door by him, you can't lock the door from me. You know what I'm saying, and the girl's like, shit, and you know, she might even be more scared because, like, you know, I'm just, just giving you a different opinion, isn't it? No, nah, no, nah, I definitely hear you. Yeah, you can't lock the door on me. Not nah, hell, no. No? The argument, like if we argue and you slam the door, <laughs> I, I, I lock it, <laughs> lock it, and I hear it locked. Like you hear it go, what's the itty dibby look? And then you twist the knob and it don't do nothing. You twist uh, the knob and it don't Open the door, open the door. <laughs> no, I mean, personally, I'm not going to kick down the door in an argument. I'm, I'll, I'll be real. I'm not going to do that because I feel like that's one step too far. But in an argument where you're getting in my face and I'm telling you back up and you're not stopping and that, because that's, that's the context that it's happened to me in. 
all up in my face, invading my personal space. I'm trying to move. You're trying yeah. to grab onto me. Very rare. Then, you know, like I just have to grab her and be like, yo, you know, I will kill you if you don't back <sighs> up. You know? Like, obviously, I'm not going to kill her, but it's like in the heat of the moment, I'm just trying to give her that warning to say, yo, I need my personal space and, and, and I need you to respect my body. Like, you know, I've had my clothes, the clothes I'm about to go out in, getting pulled, like, mm -hmm. oh my mm -hmm. fucking yeah. God, are you, are you yeah. losing your mind? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. And you got the, what they call it, the bacon collar. Now you got uh, the bacon collar. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, it's crazy. It's crazy. Fuck it's, that. Man. It's crazy, man. But um, yeah, man. Them things that happen. Uh, um, Radar, where, where you been, bro? Where you been? I ain't seen you in the mornings for time. Why are you up so early? No, my sleep pattern's been a bit fucked. But I've been I'm studying on that and just focusing on my studying. I've got like 15 courses I've got to get for it. Of what? what? What is it you're studying? Like level three half count, just a quick um, catch up course. Cause I blagged my interview basically saying that like, I had a year's um, half count experience. Yeah, so now you just gotta quickly do that. Okay, so w what's the aim? What's the aim with the healthcare um, education? And like, what are you trying to get into? Just trying to get a career in there. Like. In? Like support work. And, like, I want to just move because the job where you can kind of climb up and over the years, isn't it? Mm. Mm. I respect it. Support work. So you be supporting what type of people? People with like disabilities and that, or like elderly mm. people. Elderly and that. Yeah. Right. I respect it, Radar man. I respect it, man. You're trying to forge your way through this society. You know, yeah, salute to man. you. But yeah, I keep missing little, the shows. Little. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, you do, man. You do, but even like if I jumped in, like I jumped in like two minutes at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now you're, you're here at the beginning, man. Respect that, right? Uh, let me get up this news. Big up everybody in the chats. Um, you got five minutes before I call the register, right? Yeah, let's get into the news, man. <laughs> you need to get to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's oh, get sleep, to the, uh, the, love the UK news, man. You need to get to sleep. Bring me, bring me a story from out there, um, um, Bourne. Bring me, give me a story man, from I out got, there. Um, I only have like uh Hollywood. I did a, a celebrity show tonight, Jay. Ooh. I only have celebrities. I really went on celebrities. Like I said, that brother jacked this girl up. So another brother snatched a, 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 a sister's wig off. Oh shit! Yeah, Who's that? who was that brother? She was wilding. Uh, money bag, money bag, money bag. Snatched off um this girl's name. This girl named Ari's wig. Snatched her wig off. And that was like at the Super Bowl party. So oh I, I, shit! So my 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 show was basically um based around the Super Bowl party, pretty much. And then we got into nephew. What what was the other shit we got into? We got into some more, some deeper conversations. I always um, had to take the conversation to a, bullying. you know what I'm saying? It was bullying. Yeah, bullying. They was talking about how men bully, how men are bullies. Okay, the man was, a, the man's a bully because he, because he, uh, he, he grabbed up the woman, right? Yeah, they are saying that men supposed to take whatever. This is what I got from the show today. So I was told that men are supposed to take whatever a woman dishes a woman dishes out because you are the man you are the superior uh being as far as strength i got i got something to say about that yeah let me hear me let me talk to him she needs a man with sensitivity <laughs> a man like me <laughs> Fucking oh simp central, man. What the yeah, fuck is man. going on out here? Yo, you better take that fucking... You better take that shit down the road, bro. Seriously, man. Take it down, way down the road. Yeah, you ain't... Come, no, 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 no. But that Basically, that's code for men should be emotional and physical punching bags. I've seen that shit. I'm not raising yeah. a son that, that, that gets slapped in his face and says, stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. No. I've seen it. It's disgusting, and 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 you are putting the women that you're allowed to do that in danger. Because she, if she she's been with born rich or she's raised by a born rich, and and 
According to Born Rich's household, you can slap me, you can hit me, you can do, you can spit, you can cuss, you can tell me about my mama, do anything you want, and I'm not going to retaliate. Guess what you're doing? You are not preparing her for the real world, yeah? Where there's men out there that don't give a fuck about you. Men out there that don't give a fuck about what's between your legs or or or, or, or how you, you're an empress or a, or a queen or a goddess. They don't care. They're just going to see another human violating them, and they're going to respond. And she ain't gonna be prepared for that because she's been with with fucking uh, uh, Tevin Tevin Campbell. You know what I mean? That's what I believe. Like, please, 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 please. Yeah. Give Why the women in us? give the women in your life a reality check. Yeah, because it's important for them. And when you're raising women, when you're raising daughters, and that, please don't ever teach a woman that that is in, that is. Uh, acceptable to be an aggressor or to be physically violent or to physically try and dominate a man that is not willing to return the fire. Please don't ever do that. Yeah, because you're taking you are bullying him, taking advantage of your feminine energy and your feminine um, status. Yeah, the respectful status that majority of us men have for you women. Don't cross that line because that's bullying. That's wrong. You know, you it's like the it's like the Sikhs that are allowed to have those little knives, the kirpans. Yeah, they're not supposed to ever, ever, ever use that um, for their own gain, for wrong against members of the public. Never, ever, ever. Do you know what I mean? And that's the same with with women. If they need, if they are, are allowed and granted that, if they earn or deserve that feminine station in our society where it's like yo that's a woman you don't hit women you don't harm women you're nice to women you protect the women the woman has to now uphold the values um that 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 people see her by that she has to she's got that obligation to uphold a certain value and if she crosses that line then she's in violation and she needs and she needs to be called on it and if you don't call it someone else will and it won't end nice i've seen it the school videos where the girls obviously not being told, don't don't be fighting boys, don't be trying to hit boys. I got the boys, the boys sitting there like, get out my face, get out my face, and this girl is like slapping him and pushing his head. The whole class is laughing, get out my, and he's like, get out my face, <laughs> get out my face, and you can see the light bulb go, and he's like, no, nah, I can't allow this anymore. <laughs> he rugby tackles her to the floor. <laughs> And now everyone's like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> and he's just hitting. <laughs> <laughs> we seen it. We all seen it, man. Come on, man. Don't lie. You seen it, man. <laughs> Go on, what's your question? What's your I was going to say, like, what do you reckon is the best way to have a heated conversation without getting the heat? Like, guess. Well, I mean, words is words, isn't it? Words is words. Keep a distance. Keep a distance. I'm a shout. You shout. Blah blah blah. No one make any sudden moves. Do you know what I mean? No one make no sudden moves, and we're good. Just like a distance, you know. Like, ah, fuck you. No, fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck you. That's safe. We can do that. Yeah. It's when, it's when somebody else is trying to violate someone else's space. Like, I will come closer in an argument. I think it's. I think it's um, learnt behaviour. But I won't be in your face in an argument. Do you know what I mean? I will just come closer. Like, that's just how it is. I don't, you over there, I'm over, you over in that corner, I'm over in this corner, and we're screaming at each other. I will come a little bit closer. Yeah. But I won't get in your face. I think it's it's bad when you try and get in each other's face. Oh, so and, and, personal space. Yeah, personal space. That like, yeah, no, that's bad. Do you know what I mean? And that's gonna lead to to the fight or flight reaction. You know what I mean? So that would also include like I guess, like, what? I was gonna say, mm. like, what, what, what if someone like touches your personal stuff? Mm. Oh, I know we are. Yeah. yeah, I mean, de depending on where you are in your own personal development, some people could see it as just property. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, some people could see could see it as an extension of them. Uh, it really just depends, man. It depends. It depends on what the property yeah. is, how important it is, what the value is, and what the manner of the touching is. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
it always matters. It always matters like what leads up to, uh, to the person grabbing your property, right? Now, yeah. it's, <laughs> if you're gonna tell me I ain't shit and my property ain't shit, and then you go to grab my property, <laughs> my ego is not gonna let you grab my property. Yeah. This, yeah. this, no matter how important it is, this. Just because you said my property ain't shit. No, number one, you said I ain't shit. And then you said my property ain't shit. So now you're going to grab my property and treat it like it's not shit. Mm. <laughs> now my ego is not going to let you do that. Like, mm. don't, don't fucking, don't grab my um, Allen Iverson shoes. I, I, of course, I haven't worn them in seven months. I never wear these shoes, but <laughs> not to say that I ain't shit in my shoes. Like and then you run in my closet and grab my shoes. Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't, yo, what, what's with the heavy fucking breathing, Phil, man? Huh? Hey. What is that with you? Hey, I've only, I've only just woke up. You always, sound like you, you always sound like you're deep throating a dick when you get on the mat. Oh. Dickhead. So how can I help you anyway, Phil? But yesterday you pissed me off, man. What do you want? Why do I piss you off? Because you've been racist, man. You've been you've been racist and you've been b- belligerent, and you weren't respecting my panel. Oh, being racist. You call oh, me was a chim- being racist. You, you call me a oh, you, bro, bro, bro. Come on, man. Let's not let's not play games. Own it, own it. You've been racist. You are a racist. You're so huge. okay. So this is the thing, man. You're not consistent. How was I being racist? Now it's so. Your racism is one. Yeah, well, your inability to allow me to 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 moderate on this platform is a different thing. Well, being racist, right? So the thing is, one, I don't care. All right. Number two, it's not even racism. And I'll explain, anyway, right? Anyway, no, no, you don't need to explain. You don't need to explain. What you what Do I just you? Need, what I need from you, yeah, is if you're gonna be on a platform, which you're more than welcome to be on there and discuss and share views. <coughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to just if I interject or ask you to stop speaking or whatever. Just, just like kind of follow those directions. All right. All right. I was only fucking around. Like at the end of the day, that Sabida, she said I was a degenerate. No, she you fucking is. A... She was a de- de- degenerate. Yeah, she is a degenerate. And then she said you are. No, yeah, she... but... well, I'm not a degenerate. Well, uh, you was carrying, you was carrying, you behaving like a degenerate yesterday. Yeah. Not really. You were. I was uh, making an argument and you interrupted me and straw man my argument. I don't know if you was drunk. I don't know what was up with you, but like, yeah, you were, I mean. Yeah, I was drunk. That was it, mate. I was drunk on a fucking, <laughs> on a Tuesday fucking morning. Clearly your, okay. bipolar, your bipolar must have kicked in then, didn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was pissed up on a fucking Tuesday just for oh. work, yeah. No problem, anyway. Big up everybody in the chats. Please hit that like button. <coughs> if you're new to the channel, share and just subscribe. Um... Welcome aboard, or we listen to um, Phil slowly die of lung cancer. The dulcet tones of phlegmy Phil. I won't die of lung cancer, mate. I've got pure Aryan fucking lungs. These are fucking... Mine are pickled, mine are, mate. Yeah, cancer won't survive in this, these lungs. Nah, you're right. You're right, my brother. Got to get it in the cave. Got to be able to breathe well in the cave. I can listen. I have about two hours of coughing up shit, and then I'm I'm sound. The rest of the day, I'm I'm perfectly good. You know what I mean? There you go, cave gang. Yeah, man, bang bang, bang bang, cave gang. Yeah, yeah cave gang. Mm. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so let's get to this news. Let's get to the news. Uh, how's the life situation going, Phil? I was, I was, how's the what situation? Less, less. Lice. Lice. That's racism. You know damn well that only white people get headlines. What the? No, black, black people do get headlines. That's not true. It's just, it's just rare. No, no, no. It, uh, it wasn't about whether you was white or black. It was... Yeah. Well, maybe, I don't know. Why is that? What? Because, um, I don't know. Why don't the devil know, I suppose. Um, I think it's because of the type of hair they have. It's not as conducive, but well, not impossible to have. But it's just not as conducive. <laughs> okay. You know, white white people got hair, and um, yeah. Let's just leave it alone. Okay. 
off the hook. <laughs> White House yeah, calls yeah. shameful Democrats. Uh, what we got here? News. Hollywood legend Kirk Douglas dies, age 103. Bruv, how the fuck did he survive? He's been... <laughs> oh, fuck. I thought Kirk Douglas was gone time ago. What year is that? I don't even what know who he is. That's Michael Douglas's dad. Never heard of him. Never seen him. You never heard of Michael, you never heard of Michael Douglas? I've heard of Michael Douglas, not Kirk Douglas. That's like, yeah. There's the, the Douglas family are powerful, man. They've been, they've been Did you ever, have you ever like, seen the know. film? Have you ever seen the film Falling Down? Is Michael Douglas in Falling Down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Man. Yeah, that's fucking meant that is. <laughs> you like that film. a white guy, a white guy going crazy, right? With a shotgun. Yeah, it's me. It's me, that is. For about five years. He's a pussy. He's a pussy, man. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't a pussy. He fucking shoots up McDonald's. That's fucking meant that is. <laughs> He's just trying to go see his kid. That's all he wants, isn't it? Just to see his kid. So does your, your missus share your views in that, yeah? <laughs> Mrs. Yeah, 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 she does, yeah. She's um. It's fucking worse than me, my message is. Is Don't it? You? Oh, yeah, yeah. Love it. That's great, man. That's great. Well, well to be fair, she's, um, she's more apolitical nowadays. Nowadays, she just, just woman shit, you know what I mean? But yeah, she has the same political views as me. Not entirely, she, obviously. But she ever, she ever been with a black man before? Um, <laughs> not that I know of, no. Not no, she hasn't. Right. You, should ask her. you should ask her. That would be a joke. It's not really a question. Really a question. You ask your messes, really. You don't, you don't really go to your messes. I want a list of everyone you fuck. fuck keep fucking list. Yeah, and do. I want a background check, a <laughs> fucking <laughs> ethnicity <laughs> check. That's, that's exactly <laughs> what you do. <laughs> word for word, that's exactly what you do. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what, you, want me to test, you. you want me to test your ancestry as well? I should have first T test your, your, first your... right. If this is going to go anywhere, I need it. <laughs> yeah, I need an, an ancestry test. Have you can yeah, I think someone family. with your view, someone, I think someone good... with your view, someone with your views that might have been a viable thing to kind of ask or to inquire about, to be fair. Do you know what I mean? Especially if no, you're gonna. If you're gonna have children, really, yes. so if you find out that she's got that, it's not gonna bother you if her grandparents were black or one of her grandparents was black. That wouldn't bother you. That'd be pretty fucking weird if her fucking grandparents were fucking black because she's fucking one. Of, one of European her grandparents. As fuck. That's very easy for one of her grandparents oh, right, yeah. to be black. Listen, I don't purity spiral to the point where if someone's got like fucking 12% fucking black in him, I say you, you're not fucking European. If it's a. I, yeah, I'd probably say you know. But, but I don't really give a fuck. I know there's some people in 2% Jew in you, therefore you're not European. It's like, fuck off. It's stupid. With any political theory spiral, um, you, you end up only fucking preserving a person being, I don't know, a European with fucking blonde hair. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, especially if you you're really going to fail anyway if it was a blonde Yeah, hair. listen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Ginger's white, man. I'm, I'm as white as it gets. No, you know. You're, you're the, you don't you're get the any more white than European me. <laughs> you don't get any more whiter than you. That's say that because the fucking. That's what... It's the truth. Yeah, it's that's truth, fucking man. fact. You looking? You looking? Fucking... Your, you look. Listen, mate, 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 mate. Give it it's all, all that. Give it's it all the fucking that. truth. Like, like, there's, there's no man, man, more man, white man, than me. Give it, give it all I'm pure gammon. Pure. When Gammon. when you when you go and do your ancestry test, don't cry. Don't cry, man. Just suck it up. You know what I mean? Suck it up and ask me to teach you my ethnic ways. Breaking up. 
Sounds weird. No, you're breaking up, bro. Yo, Rob, um, Raid, are you there? Yeah. Ah, cool. I'm not breaking up, am I? No. No. Let's get it, bro. What's up? All right, man? yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we got um, a prison is changing most of its locks after an inmate steals a set of keys. <laughs> You break it off. <laughs> oh my god. Did you hold on? Let me start with Did you hear about David Cameron's bodyguard leaving a Glock 17 on a plane? No? Yo, can you not hear me? Can I say that again, sorry? What happened? Did I break up? No. No, I, I heard you. I heard you, but I have no idea who that person is. David Cameron. Was is the former prime minister of England? Oh. Like literally, just got out of office before yeah. Theresa May. Uh, Boy, what about his, what? what Sound about what security guard? David Cameron's bodyguard left a mine's up like seventeen on a fourteen. King. Why is one talking over you? <laughs> I think he's he's somewhere else. Yeah, he's in he in another chat. Yeah, he's somewhere else. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, let me just show this. Oh, David Cameron. Yeah, let's get. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm get it. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm uh, so yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. So ex what Prime Minister chicken? David Cameron. Bodyguard, yeah, Just, yeah, left a gun in an airplane toilet. Here we go. A bodyguard for David Cameron is being investigated after he reportedly left his gun in a toilet on a transatlantic jet. A terrified passenger found the gun and gave it to staff on a British Airways flight from New York to London on Monday, according to the Daily Mail. As a former, as a former Prime Minister. David Cameron is entitled to continued security provided by the Metropolitan Police. Hold on one second. Let me just let me just mute mute um Phil. He's got all kinds of noises going on. Is he muted? No. I don't know what's going on with Phil. Right, let's try again. Yeah, um, as a former prime minister, Mr. Cameron is entitled to continued security provided by the Metropolitan Police. The Met said the officer involved has been removed from operational duties. Mr. Cameron's team said it could not comment on security matters. The gun, believed to be a 9mm Glock 17 pistol, is said to have been left by a close protection officer from the Met Specialist Protection Unit who took off his holster while in the toilet. Mr. Cameron's Passport and that of the officer were found with the weapon. Oh my fucking god! My found my no fucking way. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I didn't know they let those guys still travel with guns. I know in the US you got air marshals, right? Yeah. Yeah. An armed officer that sits on the plane. And, yeah, but and you won't know. You won't know he's armed. You won't know he's armed. Yes, yes. Not not every plane, but majority of them. But yeah, he's on the majority of planes. They got one armed officer. Yeah, just not on the nine eleven flats. I thought you can't even let off. No, well, no, no. Those it could because they're random. And on that day, on that day, no, there wasn't. There wasn't. I thought yeah. they were always. I thought it was like Conair. Yeah, I thought they was yeah. always transporting a, a prisoner or something. No, nah, hell no, nah. man. Like no, That's but on that good. on that day, you know, those were terrorists. Like when you when you're dealing with terrorists, they'll go to any length to destroy America. <laughs> 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 like those were terrorists, Jedi. What do you want me to say? You're funny. You're terrorists, funny. <laughs> you're funny. You're funny. The whole uh, mission was to kill America, destroy. 
We are aware of the incident on a flight into the UK on the 3rd of February. An officer involved has since been removed from operational duties. We're taking this matter extremely seriously and an internal investigation is taking place. Uh, British Airways said it had adhered to civil aviation authority rules allowing UK police to carry firearms on board in specific controlled circumstances. Our crew dealt with the issue quickly before departure and the flight continued as normal. The airline added in the statement, Mr Cameron was the UK Prime Minister for six years until July 2016 when he stepped down following the result of the EU referendum. Listen, man. So if you go in a toilet, first of all, you're on a plane with David Cameron, alarm bells, yeah? This this must have been like a business class, would you say? Business class mm. flight? Yeah, man. BA. And then... And you go to the toilet and you find the ex-Prime Minister's passport, you're definitely going to look for it first, right? Look for it, check it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then the officer's passport, I'm going to take pictures of all of it. <laughs> I'm taking pictures of all of everything I found. I'm, put, I'm pulling my phone up, I'm taking pictures, and I'm sending a picture to myself, to my email, and then I'm handing in the gun. Or oh, imagine it could have been like, it could have been a terrorist, somebody on the flight, flight that just had, it was like deep cover, found a gun, you know, took it off safety, walked up to the to the to David Cameron and shot him. Wow! David Cameron has been assassinated with his own bodyguard's gun on a on a BA airplane. Mm. Crazy, right? Could have shot David Cameron. Assassinations don't happen that often anymore either. No, Jared. no, no, no. In they... the 60s, in the 60s, they was plucking them off. <laughs> <laughs> like JFK, uh, MLK. Yeah, no. yeah. All the K's, all the K's. Don't, yes. don't have three letters in your name. Don't have three. Don't have. Don't have your name abbreviated to three letters and it end in K. Uh, K stands for. Yeah. Man, man, listen. <laughs> know we, you know about EBK, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you this, Jess. I don't want anybody to die, but if I'm honest, I do want to witness uh assassination in my lifetime. I don't I know I'm sorry. I know I know I ain't shit for saying that. But I do. I do. I want to. I want to, I want to <laughs> wake up in the morning in the news say, hey man, this guy's been assassinated. Yeah. Like, oh. Yo. Now I know what you mean. I know what you mean. We feel like we've missed our generation has missed out. You know, all the fun that everyone else my grandkids. I can tell my grandkids, yeah, you know, this president or this person, he got assassinated. Was, it, was, was John Lennon, He did he get assassinated? Hell yeah. Let me pull up a list of people that's been assassinated. Man, that was fucking people off, bro. Yeah. Nobody plucked off anymore. Now people just die of cancer or they just get found to be yeah, um, child abusers. Or they they get found to be rapists <laughs> and then they just get me. They, just, they put them under the jail. What America like to say, pneumonia and brain aneurysms. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, no, no. Complications during surgery. Oh, Ooh. my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, okay. Yeah, you, he just had uh, complications from pneumonia. And, yeah, he's dead forever. <laughs> he's dead. He's out of here. What the fuck? He was the healthy man. forever, you know. Okay. <laughs> Okay, look, we got we got a, we got a list of some people. One second, it's a dead forever. Hit the like button, family. You're in the building. Um, Born Rich is forcing me to look at a list of people that have been assassinated. Uh, uh, who we got? No man, not the same old people. There's gonna be more people. No, no, no. no this is not the list I want. This is the list I want. In that list, they got JFK, Abraham Lincoln, uh, Martin Luther King, James L. Ray, and I don't know, no one else. Nine famous assess uh, list of assassinations. Here we go. Here we go. You never know, man. This worldwide, yeah. Yeah, you never know. This could be. Um, this could be what's the word? This could be ironic in a year's time, Bonrich. 
It could be like, imagine Born Rich was actually on Jedi's show talking about being assassinated and look what happened to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For real. Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna tell you that the irony is so fucking sick. I've been listening to a podcast about the DC sniper. <laughs> like oh, you could be sniped. You could be pumping gas and just get sniped. And now yeah, you're that's, out there. that's horrible, man. That's horrible, bro. And they they went on a spree for like four days. That's of horrible. Of GTA. I still don't I still don't believe in that shit, you know. I still think that was terribly I know, I know, I know. I know. It, you know what's funny? When I listen to it, I always think of it. I was like, man, I don't know. This sounds weird. No, I'm not feeling it, man. A I can't four go. day spree of just sniping people. Out of the boot of his car. Uh, what was his problem? Why did why, what was his problem? I don't know. He said he was God and he was like anti-government. They said anti-government and I haven't I haven't I, I gotta finish the podcast. Let me finish the podcast and I'll come back to you. Oh wait, 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 wait. We have been alive when someone's been um someone's been assassinated. We have. You forgot about Versace? Who Versace? Yeah. I don't. I'm not really familiar with that vaguely, but not really, not really. Uh, and then over here we had someone called Jill Dando, who was like, she was like a super news reporter, a news reporter on steroids, and you know she she was a presenter on a show called Crime Watch, which is basically like America's Most Wanted, you yeah. know. And they'd show all the most wanted people footage from people they're trying to find and incidents that they need the public to come forward and give information for as a criminal when i was a criminal that show used to make me sweat like literally because you could end up on that bitch like you're sitting in your house and people <laughs> yeah 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 no 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 it, yeah, it was very yeah. serious but um apparently some people were there was a rumor that she was investigating some kind of pedophile ring and she'd uncovered some stuff and yeah she was on her doorstep she got one to the head boom like in just and then, yeah, just normal. She's done. And then they convicted somebody of her murder, who of course wasn't guilty. And they released him a couple of years after. So that it obviously wasn't him. And that's it. Cold case. Done. Mm. They didn't even talk about it no more. Jill Dando, she's forgotten. Yeah, I, I never heard of her, bro. She's gone, man. It's done. Like, wrapped. That like, case closed. No Colombo with one more question. Nothing. I don't know, man. People are saying Gaddafi and Saddam Hussein, and that's not no, no, that's just murder. No. That's not assassination. That's murder. I know it's like on camera. Like I don't know. It's weird. It's weird when I go back and look. Like I said, when I look at MLK and JFK, like it's just oh. eerie. What about what about um finger me? What are we talking about, man? You gotta forget. You gotta forget fucking uh uh um Malcolm. No, Malcolm, of course. Of course, Malcolm. Yeah, I say Malcolm. I, I say Malcolm uh in the beginning. No, you never. You said you said <laughs> no. JFK and MLK. No, but you, uh, in the beginning. You forgot about Malcolm, man. Man, quit playing. Quit playing with me, man. <laughs> you forgot about Malcolm. You didn't mention Malcolm, man. I did. I did. Malcolm. Malcolm. Yes, mm, right, man. He was a friend of mine. Malcolm, like, that goes without saying. Saddam Hussein, no. Bin Laden, oh, please, no. Please. Like, I'm not even going to... That's an insult. That's almost as a, much of an insult as saying that that was Saddam Hussein that was hung, that was, um, hung in that video. That's an insult. But saying that um, Osama Bin Laden was assassinated, you super... You triple insulting me, man. That's rude. You just saying, you're dumb. You're mushing it in my face. You, you're, you're a dickhead. Okay, so I've been listening to a story about uh, uh, the American uh, prisoner of war that was kidnapped for, by, uh, by the Taliban for five years. What do you think about that, bro? Do you think it's possible for an American soldier to be kidnapped by the Taliban for five years? From like 20, I think it was like 2011 to 2016. Okay, what, what, what did they do with him in between that time? Made videos, starved them, beat them, you know. The so what? 
The no, regular, uh, no, they was keeping oh. him from ransom. They was keeping him from ransom. They end up getting uh, I don't are know. You are you talking? Are you talking about old school? Because there used to be this dude called Terry Waite. You remember Terry uh, Waite? This guy was Bo Bo Bagendahl. Oh, Bo shit. Bagendahl or something. He sounded like he's from Lord of the Rings. No, but he was from uh he was from uh I I think they said he was from Iowa or Idaho. But either way, he was in the army. And he fucking he left he left his uh uh bunker he left the bunker because he said that his general was so hard and tough on him and he didn't like how the general was running the whole platoon so he fucking walked off and and he was going to go to the city and uh get the attention of the American government and tell them how his platoon his general his platoon was fucking over them. So, then, so so basically yeah, he, he went a wall. He went a wall, so. bro. He went a wall and the Taliban snatched his ass up. Okay, the Taliban snatched him up. He went a wall. Taliban yeah. snatched him up. Yeah. And for five years, they beat him. And, and so there's video footage of this, right? No, it's, yeah, absolutely. It's video because because in order for them to get him, it was a couple video footage because the Taliban wanted America to know that. Uh, no, listen to me. I'm listening. No, I, I listen. Bro, I told you I fuck with podcasts, so Yeah. So I listen. I'm listening to this podcast as we speak, and he's and and they said that fucking the Taliban snatched him up. This Taliban show videos of him because they wanted America to release some of their soldiers from uh, Guantanamo Bay. I'm, yeah, do you know it's ringing it's ringing bells a little bit. Yeah, it, it made national news a little bit, but not it wasn't not serious though. Mm. Like maybe a day or two, and then it got out of there. But yeah, man, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. I don't know, Jess. I, I be listening. five years. Yeah, can, I you, can you trust him? Hell, <laughs> after he's after he's been gone for five years, you better stay over there. <laughs> No, you want them now? <laughs> oh, oh Jez, I swear, bro. America said that it's 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 people that was in his platoon that comes on his podcast and say, "Man, listen, I would have killed him then, and I would shoot him now if I ever see him." Oh shit! Like they for real? They like he's a traitor. It's people who honestly think he's a traitor, but America went and got him for real, man. I don't. And, he, know. and he's free now. No, he's um. They have him on an army base because he has to go in front of the uh the the, the court, court martial. Marshal. Yeah, has to go. He has to go in front of them later this year in twenty twenty. Because he deserted. Yeah, he deserted. He 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 left. He left. You know what I'm saying? And they don't. They not fucking with that. And soldiers, mm. like the real soldiers, is not fucking with that. But I know Jez like this whole. I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. It seems wild to me, man. It does, but I don't know. Mm. Telling you, bro, it just seems it's, it's it's a wild story, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna oh, C four says C four blaster says. He had. He said he was treated well and had good things to say about the Taliban. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, C4, don't do that, don't do that C4, because it was man with AKs uh, off camera. So, come on, Jedi. Come on, Jedi. If you have me... <laughs> They're treating me well. You know, he's like this. <laughs> he's, like, he's like this. Yes, uh, they're treating me well and uh, uh, they're being very fair to me. And uh, uh, <laughs> 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 oh shit! Oh my Yo, god! Yo, I'm gonna give them yeah for real. I'd give them a stunning review myself. Oh, I would oh, if oh, I got oh, yeah. oh, stunning oh, review. Yeah. yeah, and yes, hey, I'm well. I am well. Trust me, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Yes. Over here. In Pakistan, I'm in Pakistan, family, and um, I'm good. Trust me. Yeah. Why that? These yeah. are very nice. What you say? Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, these are very nice gentlemen on the side of me. Hey, yeah. I'm good. Make, Don't worry about me. <laughs> making sure, making sure they they cater to my every need. Yeah. <laughs> I'm full. I eat. 
I, I eat every day <laughs> hummus. I eat, we eat hummus. Great. Uh, can I, what you say? Stop, man. What you doing? <laughs> Ow. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. yes. Oh, I'm sorry. The Taliban has been real, very, very good to me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. That's absolutely wild. Man, I mean, I'd hate to be kidnapped in it, so nah, I'm not making light of it, but fuck. Yeah, sake. Man, salute. salute to that brother, man. Five years in America. Was, so Jedi, let me hear you say salute to America because they went and got him. <laughs> Can I one time, one time for the people, salute to America. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> hey, Jedi, he said they used to beat the bottom of his foot. Oh. What is that, Jay? No, I've heard about that before. I've, I've uh, heard about it. I've heard about it. You heard that? Like, what, can you imagine someone just beating the bottom of your feet? What does that do? I don't even understand what I don't even understand what that does to a person, Jedi. <laughs> it hurts. That's what it does. The bottom, your, the bottom of your feet are sensitive and they're they're soft. That shit hurts. That's pain. That's pain. I mean, with a ruler. Imagine someone just smacking the bottom of your feet with a ruler. <laughs> it's pain. It's pain. It's pain. I know you're thinking it's kinky. It's pain. Um, no, not kinky, but what the fuck? I, I I don't know the feeling, but I can imagine. I can yeah, imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't gonna like it. You ain't gonna like yeah, it. Nah, if you if you keep striking any part of my body consecutively, then I'm not gonna like it. You know what I mean? <laughs> if, if you hit my arm, if you hit my arm 40 times in the same spot, of course it's gonna yeah, hurt. it's gonna be painful, man. You don't want that, like you don't want that. So yeah, what's good, Braden? How you doing, Jeds? You, yeah. like you sound you sound a bit far away, mate. Yeah, I know it's this laptop, mate. Yeah, I tried. I tried. Yeah. Good, good, old, good, old good old British. Good old good old British laptop, is it? Um, I think it's uh, yeah, from from Southeast Asia somewhere. Yeah, but I just wanted to come in to the to the gentleman that was uh, talking about. America, America, Amer the the trials and tribulations of America. I want to ask. Are you drunk the already? To the people. Are you drunk already? Let me ask no. you a question. Did you do crack live on on air? No. What was that that you, that you did that time? No. When everyone was saying it was crack, what was it? MDMA. MDMA. Okay. Yeah, Karen. So what I'm just saying is to the gentleman that's talking about in his, in the language of the English is, do you believe in liberty and where did liberty come from as an African man sticking up for African rights in a Western world? How dare you embarrass yourself? You are a scum bag to even comprehend. Turn your camera on, Braden. Braden, turn your cam camera on. Let's all turn yeah. our cameras on and... Talk to the camera. Born Rich, do you mind obliging? No, nah, man, you know, you know, you know I'm not going to. Yeah, yeah man. Brady, get your camera on. Let's have a chat. Let me see your eyes, bro. Let me see your face. Yeah. Yes, Brady. Yeah, that was Big good. up, man. Welcome to the show, man. It's always great to have you on. Yeah, so what, what was you saying? What was the question you was asking? Hello, mate. Lovely, lovely. So what? So what? So what I was saying and what I stand by is the Anglosphere, and that's the most important point from from my from from not not just my point, from the point that, that you and your people wanted to be part of is Anglo-Saxon, the Anglosphere, the Americas, the Australias, the 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 English. I mean, we created a society that's i mean in there's, there's no society that can compete with us i mean not just not, not just economically because the chinese can economically compete with us but they're not 
They're not like us. They're not like us. They'll eat you. They don't care. You commit a crime. They'll you you you, you just had a bad day and you've done something wrong. They don't care. They'll chop your head off. We won't. We won't. That's the last thing we'll do. What we'll do is it'd be like, oh, the guy's you know had a bad day. He's had a bad day. So you know, forgive him. Forgive him. So the Anglosphere, the America, the Canada, the Australia. Why, why, when you come here, are you trying to change it? Like your place, you didn't even want to stay. You didn't even want to stay there. You wanted to leave there. And you wanted to come here. But when you come here, you fucking want to change it. It's like, oh, the English are like, oh, no. How, how do we deal with these people? How, how do we deal so with you was early, Yesterday, you was talking about the camps. You were saying that the that the around Europe you lot are preparing camps to put the the, the people that that don't don't, don't want to stop behaving like scum, you're gonna put them in camps. Is is it, is that the answer? No, that's not the answer. No. Why did you say that then? You're not you're not sticking by that. No, that's just a fucking joke. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah, so yeah, so what so you no, saying why do we wanna change Britain. Who wants to change Britain? Who is it you think wants to... Because you're talking to an American. Well, the thing is, Jedi, is like... Like, take London for an example. And I took London as, as an example. I was there. I went to move back to my capital city. I was there. Why, as, a, as an Englishman, after a week of being in London, did I feel the need to leave? Why? Why? Because we are becoming a minority. Whether anybody likes to talk about emotions, the facts don't care about anybody's feelings. The facts tell the truth. The facts are that we are becoming a minority. We feel like being a minority. And nobody wants to be a minority, especially in their own country. And going around, going around London, going around Manor House, going around Seven Sisters, going around Tottenham, I was like, wow. I was like, how long is it going to be until I see my own king. The question, the answer to the question was a long, a, a long thing. Thing is, is for the English, for, for even the people that, that came to this country wanted, they want, wanted to come to England. So it's not going to benefit them. They wanted to come to England. It's not going to benefit them if it becomes non-English. So you, oh, yeah, but all of the ideals that the English believed in, we wanted to come to England, then we came here, and then, uh, you know, it's no longer England. It's just like the shithole, the absolute retrograde place that we wanted to leave. We wanted to leave that shithole, and then we realised that we came to a place that is exactly like that shithole. So England has to remain English. It will remain English. But in the meantime, we have to have the conversation that this is wrong. What's going on is wrong. There is I agree. No I agree. Need, there's no need for. for I agree. To come so, into. so you, so in the in, in as a as as an Englishman, oh, Budweiser, quarter past nine in the morning. Um, turn, turn it, turn up, turn up. So turn you, up. so you've, so you've left London now because there's too many. Um, uh, non-English people there. Is that what you're saying? Uh, not non no, no, not non-English. Even the French, even the French, even the Germans, even the Russians. No, no, it's not. It's it's not just non-Europeans. I mean, if you, as an Englishman, you walk you walk round and you you do feel it. It can't be. I mean, it's not a lie. It generally is not a lie. What do you feel? What is it you feel? You walk round and, well, the whole idea is this is a, and this is what the mayor of London, this is a city for everyone, which I understand. I, I totally understand. This is a city for everyone. This is a place for, for, for everyone. And do you know what? That's a great idea. I don't mind that. I, as an idea, I think that that is a, you know, an, an admirable idea. What I don't want in, in that idea is for them to say that, this idea is going to spread. This idea is going to go outside the M25. Outside the M25, this idea is going to spread. And 
And that's where the problem lies. I don't mind if it's in London. So you don't mind staying really in London. London. Where yeah. where are you now? Where, what part of the world, what part of the country are you in now? I'm in Nor Norfolk, Norfolk at the minute. Norfolk. So Norfolk is very white? Is Norfolk very uh, white? Yeah, yeah, at the minute it is, yeah. And you're going to fight to keep it that way or what? No. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Who's saying no in the background? Who's that saying no in the background? Yeah. Who's that, dis no, but Who's that disagreeing with you in the background? No, I don't. Do you understand the question? Yeah, have a, have a chat. Let's have a chat, bro. Yeah, I don't. Do you understand the question? No. Yeah. No, I don't think you understand the Okay, the question is do you. The, yeah. Ask him again. Does he want to fight to keep Norfolk white? Yes and no. So you don't share the same views as Brayden in terms of feeling like a... a I like being white, but then again, if you don't piss me off, then you ain't really my problem. Right. Um, I mean, do you have any non-white friends? Like, this is the white mentality. This is the white mentality. We... Uh, if you don't get... If you don't, like, fuck around with me, then I don't fuck around with you. I go with my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate that. That's. I don't think Brayden's happy with that, though. But why don't Africans want to stay in their country? Because of all, because all the stuff that the British people have done over there. Oh, of course, excuses, excuses. There's a nice Jedi. He's a lovely he guy. He's a lovely guy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you got to understand what you do understand foreign policy and uh, the world domination of the mighty English and the mighty British has actually forced some countries to change. And um, you know, some people are like, like just economic vagrants and um, vagrants now. But that's the, that's not a reason. I'm sorry, Jedi. I'm sorry. As much as I love you and respect you, and I really do, I think you're a great guy. But the argument is wrong. The argument that you're promoting is that is is a narrative of of the let's just say the indigenous, which has become the indigenous outsiders, that they owed something that we've taken from them and it's not a good narrative we've taken from them we've stolen we've stolen so much that that they need to reap what we have sowed they need to take they need to come here and take that's that's not a good narrative to have. it might not be a good narrative it might not be palatable to you but but it's true People, people come to people come to England not because it's got a better standard of living, not because you get a better quality of life, but because there's more opportunities to make money. That's the that's the main thing. It's like I mean, I know you do get some people that's like, oh, the English ways are so nice and blah blah blah, but most of them are just hypnotized by old colonial uh, uh, customs. Truthfully, this is all about economics and being able to get money and send it back to your people that's really what majority of people that come over here are doing they're getting money and they're sending it back to try and build up their infrastructures you can't blame them when 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 british petroleum oil is digging holes all over fucking nigeria yeah and and then paying rebels to um paying rebels to burst tanks to, to hike up the price of insurance and therefore hike, hike up the price of the oil like they're destabilizing countries left right and center they're behind the, the the military coups in um in like Libya and countries like that. We've got to really break down what British foreign policy is doing around the world on an international level. Don't you agree? No, what I'm what I'm saying is is that the common Englishman that no. as well so that goes around these. No, it's the government. The elite yeah, establishment. It is. So. They, English people are totally irrelevant to to these. Not really, powers. not really, because um, I was told by a young man yesterday yeah, that the, the, the British government power. represent the British people. If you believe, do you believe voting works? Do you believe it's a democratic society you live in? No. No. Okay, well then, this is the problem then. The problem is, all the folks in Norfolk, in London, in England, in Britain, that are unhappy with... Uh, the results of British foreign policy need to go and protest and uh, by any means necessary, change the governmental structure of their country. They need to take back control on a governmental level and not pick on the little man that's that's basically a victim just like you are. 
That's absolutely not true. 100% that's not true. The only victim is, is those that are from Africa. Do you know what? The, the common Englishman, the common, the common... I, I don't want to because it, it just doesn't feel well and and talking about being an English get your, get your Get your camera on, man. Get your camera on, man. Let's, let's have a chat, Braden. I don't want to talk to this bee. It's off-putting. Right, yeah, so you don't you don't think that the, the British man is, is a victim of, no, of no, the government? Or... We, don't, we don't miver in our victimhood. We don't say... We was a victim. We was this. We was that. We was. I mean, we used to have. Isn't that well, isn't that what you're doing now? No, no. I'm, I'm literally just saying what we don't want to do. We we arise from the flames like a phoenix. We arise from it. Whereas the black people, the black man, he all he wants to do is 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 miver in his 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 ill will. He wouldn't even know. That he was enslaved, unless we told him. It's embarrassing. It really is embarrassing. He what we want is together is to rise up and 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 breed a new England. But the, but unfortunately, the I mean the blacks hold the key. I've always said this. You say, oh, you've got a, you've got an opinion on the black. Yeah, I specifically specifically go after the black community. Go after the black community as a target audience because they have the key, and I do believe that, and I stand by that. I think if England's going to be kept England, it will, you know, be a, a lot more helpful from from the black community. I I, I stand by that. How can the black community what, help keep um, England English? What can they do? Well, from people like yourself. People like yourself, like loving England and appreciating England and what England has done, the goods and, and the bads, but, but concentrating on the goods. And if you speak English and that's the only language you speak, then yeah, it's, it's, it's something that we need. We, I mean, we need You need people that are not bilingual. No, we need the black community. We do. To, the movement needs the black community. To do what? To that do what? Doesn't need because because you told me you told me that I'm not English or British. You're not. You never will so, be. So then, how? Why would the English movement need me? Because it, 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 why did the, why did the why did the emancipation of the slave trade need white people? Why didn't the black people do it? Because you <laughs> were the enslavers, fucking retard. No, but what I'm saying is, is outsiders can make a difference that's all i'm saying yeah but like i'm saying in in terms of keeping england english you're asking people that live here and have lived here for generations that are still not classed as english or british by yourself to get involved in that and i can't see any incentive for them to do that you're not giving them any incentive Why not? because you're saying Why? that because you're saying i'm not english i'm not british i never will be so i feel no allegiance to you or your cause because you're you you you've not accepted me, even though you say even though English is the only language I speak, you've still not accepted me. I'm still not one of you. So what's the point? No, regardless of what language I speak, I'm still black. I'm still African. I'm still Nigerian. Even if I was born here, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna have a Nigerian tell me I'm not Nigerian. Well, I'm Jamin, you know I but over here where I'm born, the language I speak, the society I con contribute to the most. Um, I'm not classed as being one of you. How would you, how does that feel? How do you think that's going to encourage me to be part of your movement? No, Jedi, what I'm saying, sir, is can you put yourself in my shoes as an Englishman, as an outsider, which you are? You, you know, you don't look in the mirror and think, oh, I'm an Englishman. No. It's a lie. Yeah. You're a you lie to yourself. Yeah. So what we want and what we need and what we we absolutely what do you classify? Need what do you classify me as then? Is people such as yourself. What do you classify me as? I'll classify you 
as an African man that mm. has English traits. Yeah. Okay. An African man that that, that has that has mm. English traits. What are English traits? As a gentleman, you are a gentleman. I mean, a lot of my mates are just. Like, what are English traits? Personally, Brayden, Brayden, take yeah, a breath. I know what you, are I know English you, traits? There's no such thing as English. There's no such thing. But knowing Jedi, I personally, and on mm. this show, mm. a lot of my a lot of my English mates, they wouldn't even they wouldn't even comprehend the African sentiment because it's an African man. They'd be like, oh, well, well he's just, just an African. Just like, but Braden, do you ever make sense, bub? Because about half an hour no, away, he was a he was a monkey. No. So he's gone from a monkey. <laughs> Dead Eye is a gentleman. He is. He is. Okay. I've always said it. Go back. When yeah. you're going to go into the Nimi's arm section. Dead Eye as a person is a nice guy. Okay. So now you've blown smoke up his ass. What's your point? Yeah. Best thing, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry, sorry, um, Radar. I just, uh, I just wanted to hear his point of view, man. You know what I mean? I looked at the news, and to be honest, I'm not a newsman. You know, I'm not a newsman. So when I go through the news, it's basically just to get us talking about certain topics and whatever. Braden's jumped in, and I felt like it was more, um, more entertaining for me to have a conversation with Braden than it was to babble on about some um, contrived news. But now he's gone. We'll have a conversation and then I'll babble on about some contrived news. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I think it was worth uh, capturing Braden in all his glory. I think it was it was it was, oh, it was really yeah. I think that was a, a service done to society. So to what did you ascertain from what he was saying, gents? Um, ascertain that uh, he believes that the movements that he's involved with or has allegiance to need the black community um for it to work they need the black community and i think that that is a secret sentiment that he's leaked out there that a lot of them share and i think it would explain some of the things we've witnessed in recent times when it comes to the black community and the far right or the asian community and the far right we've seen um what i would call a, a clandestine recruitment drive, yeah, to let the black folks know that, look, we ain't got no issue with you and blah, 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 and basically come on board because we are British and we're fighting for all our rights. And, um, yeah, I think that they're trying to recruit the minds, they capture the minds and the hearts of the black community so that we can work with them. That's why they've tried to fall away from this, from the racism that's why they try to um, separate themselves from racist terminology because they want to cover up what is at the core of their movement in order to get a couple printouts. So they want us to help them fight against who? You know who. <laughs> you know who. The Muslim threat. The 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 Asians. Right. The, yeah. Right. Yeah, you know yeah. who. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. I just wanted to make sure that you mm. get me. Yeah. I'm not going off on a wrong one. Uh, yeah, oh. yeah. That's, that's how it feels to me. Yeah, no, yeah. I hear you, brother. But remember what I said from early, early, early YouTube doors, you know, Jeds. Nothing to change, you know. Obviously, as someone like you, you know what I mean? You know them ones. You know you say you're a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Watch your part them sides, sir. Mid-Jesus. Yeah, man. I, I mean... it. Jedi. <laughs> Uh, gangster businesses, Chiluminati Live. You say you don't like pasta, but you do. You lie. <laughs> you lie and just lie and pretend you don't. But I didn't see no pasta. Did you see any pasta here? Is that pasta? Did you see any beef? Did you see anyone shouting and screaming <clears throat> or ranting and raving or causing negative vibrations? No, man. I saw uh, a drunk, coked up guy um, <laughs> exposing himself after yesterday a lying with another guy that was on some kind of drug, calling man chimp and these things. They returned today and, you know, like... Can I ask you a quick question, Jen? Of course you can. Do you think that there's a recruitment drive on both sides, Bab? What do you mean both sides? 
So what mm. you just explained there, yeah, in terms of why... Ah, oh, do, do I think Muslims are recruit, uh, are got a recruitment drive? Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, of course, definitely. Oh. Okay. I think that recruitment okay. drive is probably older than the recruitment drive of the... I think the far right have just woken up to that. Right. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah I hear you. that reality. They're like, oh, shit. Cass, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree with that. Do you that. think they think that we're stupid, gents? 100%. Uh, 100%. I don't think. They, 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 I think they, they know that we are naive. Yeah, stupid mm-hmm. is different. They rate our intelligence. That's why you've. Mm-hmm. They, that's why the taxes have got to be softly, softly catchy monkey. Mm-hmm. Um, no mm-hmm. pun intended. Mm-hmm. But um, when, but they were when, when you said both sides, I thought you meant from outside and inside the black community. That's what I thought you meant, both sides. Because there might mm-hmm. be some people within the black community that's a little bit allied. With the right side now, with, with yeah. right right politics. So when you said both sides, that's what I identified. But so when you you're saying think, you think Muslims this. are trying to recruit black people to, to stand with them, I don't agree with that at all. Because Muslims yeah. are, are, are too fixed in their one point narrative. That to be with them, you got to be Muslim. A Muslim can't identify with black politics and ally with them. They're trying to recruit you onto their thing. Yeah, but that's what and that's, that's the mistake that they're making. Wait, that's wait, the mistake wait, wait, that wait, they're wait. making. No, 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 no. But hear this though: it's not that the far right or the right are trying to recruit black people based on black politics. They're trying to recruit black pe- people based on the fact that they are British citizens. That's right. Yeah. So, like, the Muslims are not going to yeah. recruit people based on black politics. They're based. They're going to recruit that's them right. based on the fact that we are all Muslim brothers, yeah. so we stand together. Yeah. So it is yeah. the same thing. Not really, because when you go the full circle, the, there's extremist Muslims that ally with the far right anyway. Because Muslim isn't left or right. So when you join Muslim, you're taking yourself out of the whole equation, really. Okay, we, like, when we say Muslim... What we're faced yeah, no, with, one second, one second. When I say Muslim, I mean Muslim by coincidence. Really, we're, we're talking about people that regardless of who you are, they want to recruit you onto yeah. their team. Yeah, we use the term uh, cool. Muslim because they use Shahada. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, they use the term Shahada and blah, blah, blah. And they use mm. um, Islamic rhetoric mm. yeah, mm-hmm. to further their political ideals. Yeah, their political right, cool. goals. Whether it be radicalism, whatever, we're rare. Mm. Now, for you to be recruited and to be radicalized and to be told mm. that the pain of the Ummah is our pain, mm. You right. are now a soldier for that cause. You're not necessarily exactly. actually a Muslim, in it? Because, mm-hmm. of, well, you are a Muslim. I'm not going to, but you, you just might not be. Right, cool. Muslim. Let, let me not speak for anyone else. Let me speak for myself as a Muslim, yeah? Born and bred in the UK in this generation, I see myself as part of what has come under the umbrella of black and ethnic minorities, yeah? Now, that's where the fight is. For me to go and let the Muslims suck me into their own narrative i'm c- coming away from the front line and i'm going on to where they need soldiers but that's not where the fight is so if you're a muslim and you're born in the uk you got to represent you got to be on their marches against the bnp you can't be at home praying five times a day going oh no it's nothing to do with us get me so that is where the fight is and we have to take it to them we have to meet them in it when they come out marching rallying waving their swastikas we got to be out there in it so as muslims we need to stand with the black community. Trying to get black people to become Muslims and come out of their blackness, that's pointless. That's stupid. That's not where it's at. There's always going to be Muslims that are black, that don't identify with black politics. Fair enough. You could be a Somalian or Somali and say, I don't ent- identify with this term black. Fair enough. But we're not talking about them. If anything, there the, should be a bridge between the two communities. But what I'm saying is, Muslims need to stand with black people, yeah? And if they're black, in their, not just in their skin colour, but in their politics and their identity, yeah? It ain't for us to, to then try to take over that movement. We're the auxiliary troops. We're coming up behind you to make sure you're back safe, isn't it? So when you stand up and fight, we're behind you. They're not going to get you from both sides. That's all we can do or, as Muslims. Or, or as Muslims, you stand in the front and us black community, we stand behind you. 
But that's yeah, we could do that. Yeah, but is that Abigail. really? Is that yeah, really? Yeah, when you're yeah, looking at the Abigail. enemy, but there's when you're looking at the enemy, there's more of you. There's more of you. There's yeah, more but you. the enemy's after you. He ain't after us. He's after you, really. Sorry, so all this Islamophobia, whoa, whoa, all this Islamophobia whoa, whoa, whoa. is a made-up agenda. Stop! 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 All right, cool. Um, I would say personally, right about now, the enemy, um, the enemy is an enemy to white, black, Muslim, Chinese, whoever. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, actually yeah. The, it's the enemy of um, sovereignty. It's people that don't want people to All right, cool. uh, to have the right to self determine. However, I All would right. say right about now, the the phase we are in of the war is definitely a targeted uh, war on on Islam, Muslims. So for you to All say right, cool. for you to say that it's the blacks, I mean the blacks are the the the, the what's what do you yeah. call it? The ancient, uh, um, the, the ancient, ancient, the ancient enemy, <laughs> yeah. The ancient threat. The ancient threat. There you go. Yeah, but Islam is the flavor of the threat right now. Yeah, yeah. It's the flavor of the war right now. I, in my opinion, right. do you know what I mean? And I've heard many Muslims mm. say, "Well, it used to be you blacks, and now it's the Muslims." And I'll say that the focus has gone on to uh, I just Muslims. Ask a question. Go on. And can you, Jedi, we also can you get louder, need... please, Braden? It's a different type of threat as well, Jeds, I would also okay. add. Okay. Yeah, Let me add I... one point before Braden comes in. Even Ralph says, once this wave of Muslim Islamophobia is over, it's going to go back to normal, where the biggest export of immigrants is still Africa. So they're going to bring in these rules now where black people can get on board and say, okay, we, we've got this Islamic immigrant threat, and we'll bring in these new rules and these new laws. So when it goes to full circle and it comes back to you lot now, you can't really complain. There ain't going to be no uprising or people in the streets going, oh, they're bringing that law specifically for black people. Yeah, Get me? Because you would have already co-signed it. Yesterday or the day before, we spoke about um, how, uh, you know, we were talking about, oh, what should we do with terrorists? Rare, rare. I was like, yeah, mm. if, you, if you get found as a terrorist, let's kill them. Let's do this, let's do that. Oh, and then it was in the news saying, oh, we're going to, change their sentencing, we're going to change their ability to get out. Um, mm. um, uh, 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 what's the word? Uh, uh, for half their sentence or whatever it is, we're going to change mm -hmm. all these laws, um, indefinite mm. um, detention until we can prove they're not a threat. And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it dawned on us, hold on, guess who's going to get affected by these laws the most? The black man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we then so it does make sense what you're saying. This is the proxy for to change the rules and the laws in society. But in at the end of the day, it's going to be the black man that suffers the most. Standard, be, because they are they are um, they get the brunt of the, uh, the 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 criminal injustice system. Yeah. They're the major victims. But yeah, born rich, what one? You back? You back, born rich? Oh, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back, man. What's good, man? What's good? Oh, yeah, man, I'm back. I'm any back. any views? Coming up, coming up. I didn't do any. Like I said, I didn't do any this week, man. I just did a a, a live stream. What was that? Wednesday, Wednesday night. So no, I said I've, I said any views. I don't know if you've heard what's been being being said or. Oh, any views? Yeah, oh, I thought you said any interviews. Oh. Uh, any views? No, I didn't hear. I didn't hear, bro. I just heard. Uh, oh, the last thing I heard was <laughs> like black people stand in front, and then Khan said his people gonna stand behind. And yeah. he was like, "No." He was like, <laughs> "You said wait, wait, what? No, <laughs> we're gonna stand behind." Chinese, <laughs> <laughs> Chinese oh. like infantry, man. <laughs> Yeah. That's in the olden days, that's called cannon fodder. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. yeah we take the impact of the first, the first wave of Willits. That's the, that's the last thing I heard, bro. All right, all right. Uh, Lanifa, talk to me. Yeah, Jess, I'm just listening, bruv, you know what I mean? And I'm yeah. just really thinking about... This 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 thing that I keep hearing about, oh, you know, once they finish with the Muslims, they're gonna come back for the black folks and that. But my thing is, gents, in a real life, they've never taken their foot off of our neck, Bridging. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying to you? I so will, I'm can, not even... can you agree huh? that the nature of the foot on the neck has changed though? It's more, it's subtle, like it's it's not subtle, but yeah, it's subtle. It's, it's not so much a physical neck, physical foot as a psychological foot. They got gas. Yeah, the they got gas in the that... room now. So what I'm saying, Jess, because my mm. like one of the things that I'm very weary of, or I want to be careful, is that we don't start equating Muslims and black. That's the first. Uh, I, like I like that. We are a people. We are a... You know what I'm saying mm. to you? Mm. That's an ideology. An ideology. It's not even a fact. It's an ideology. We are real. You, you know, so I'm just trying to make that differentiation first and foremost. You with me? Mm. And for myself, like, I don't know, this, this coming... Like I said, I'm not 100% buying this coming back for us after because they've always been on our case. We will always be mm. an occupational hazard. You understand but what I'm why saying? Do you, why do you think that is? Is there a reason? Because that's just straight racism and, 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 and supremacy. That's just all that is. Now, the Muslim threat is something different. They don't ever think that they see the black threat and the Muslim threat as the same thing. It's, it's not the no same way. thing. Yeah, it's not yeah? the same thing. No, it's not. So they can't even can't be, to be. me, I don't even like them being spoken about in the same thingy, Bobby. You know what I'm saying mm. to you? Yeah. Muslim yeah, but there's Muslims that feel like that as well. Well, this is what it is, man. So I'm saying, when I'm hearing these right wing people saying, oh, not right wing, but whomever, you know what I mean, trying to uh, recruit us, saying, oh, mm. when they finish things, they're coming for us first. In my head, I'm like, nah, that's, I, don't, I don't really buy that all one. Right, we've all, we've right, always man. been a subject of, um, you understand? And we 100%, always will. 100%. Um, what I would say is, can we agree that the, the, the visual arm, the PR arm of, of the offensive, the PR arm of white supremacy is choosing Islam and Muslims to be the focal point, to be the headline, to be what, like, you know what I mean, the poster boy for, for this onslaught on everyone else? Would you say that, or would you say that it's still very much because for me, I think the war that, that's being waged on us is, is, is definitely hit its psychological phase, where it's more a thing of recruitment, inclusion, and defeating. You know when they say, oh, um, uh, uh, change something from the inside. You know what I mean? Mm. If you can't beat them, join them, change it from the inside, be, become part of it, and change it from the inside. I think that that's where we are at with our... If we're talking about individual communities, if we talk about the black community, um, we're at the stage where we're more likely to be recruited and uh, what's the word? Uh, Jedi, what do you mean recruited? Um, okay, for instance, if you look in the media, you see a sea of uh, what they call in hashtag black excellence, yeah, which I mm, think yes. is is a controlled, yeah, uh, it's a controlled psyop on the children yeah, 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 yeah. to recruit them into lifestyles and, yeah, and, and positions and, and and it's it's about subservience it's about this is how you play the game this is how mm -hmm. you win this is how you Your become stakeholder. Successful. so therefore they mm. become more detached politically from the ideas of liberation and freedom from the system and it's more about mm -hmm. assimilation that is a war tactic yeah so when you see this person won a BAFTA, that person won a Grammy, this person won a this, this person's been nominated for Mercury, uh, uh, this person's um, been knighted, oh, um, this person's been made a Baroness, this person's got a C uh, OBE. This is the psychological um, war on on the black community to get them to assimilate. And I'm so to glad you said that. And to become part of the system and to detach themselves from the generations before and their struggle and their clearer vision on exactly what we're living in. So then it's mm. going to make somebody like Nan Ifo come across as outdated when speaking to a 13-year-old. It's a fact. It's a you fact. understand? Because it's like, what mm. the fuck are you talking about? Yeah? My 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 cousin just got an OBE or Rare Rare for his services to music or Rare Rare. Mm. And you've seen, and you've seen Anthony Joshua has just got this or Rare, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, we still we still shucking and jiving. We're still dancing and tapping and, and doing the long jump for Master. But now the rewards are coming in quicker, the so-called rewards. Yeah. And 
and our eyes are focused on materialism mm. because we're the have-nots. We've had, we've yeah. not had for so long that it's easy to control us with mm. trinkets now. Yeah, trinkets is right because none of that money is ever leaving these shores. Yeah, trinkets. AJ, AJ could be a multi-millionaire. Is he going to Africa to do anything with that money? Would they let him? No, yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. Yeah, they, they will. will. But, they will. They will. Yeah. We got Akon in America. They will. But what? But like, what is the drop on the ocean? Akon's in America. He's unveiled. He's uh, he's put um, yeah, millions Akon. of millions of lights in Africa, right? Mm. But what they don't, the side of the story they don't tell is how much money he borrowed from the Chinese to do it. Ah, uh, see, that's a different thing. And now, with the electric, comes what? The internet. And oh, what is the internet? A weapon. Brainwashing. A weapon. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. the, 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 the greatest weapon man has ever known is the internet. True that. But yeah. That's just a, that's just, it's just a, it's just a hypothesis, man. It's a hypothesis. Because a lot of people will say, well, this <laughs> is a problem with you guys. You guys don't want to rise up. You complain about being on the bottom. And then when you're giving examples of 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 roots how to make it out, yeah, you you're skeptical of that too. Yeah. See, let me like I said, let me not speak for anyone else in it. Let me say what I believe. Mm. For me, yeah, when I look at because I've I've been around black people more than my own people, like Turkish or Muslim or whatever. To me, yeah, when you look at this <laughs> system that they've set up, this pyramid structure, it's all about stepping on the next man's head to get up, and it's based on oppression. When you look at the nature of the black man, black people stand up for oppression when it's oppression against anyone. That's part of their nature. It's difficult for black people, in my view, if they want to maintain their black identity, to be part of this pagan Babylon system. It's difficult for them because it's like saying, tell a blind eye to all the pain and suffering in the world, just make your money and pay your mortgage. But to a black man, even if it's not him being oppressed, it's like Muhammad Ali speaking out against the Vietnam War. He's saying, I can't live in this world. My blood is boiling just to see this man oppressing that man. Whether it's coming to me or not, see, to me, that is part of being black. And that's what makes black people different from the rest of us who have been like, how can I put it? Not genetically modified, but it's something like that. It could be that. It could be the fact that we got less melanin and we got less sun and we're less compassionate and we're less loving. Like it could be that that we could just sit there and watch other people die so we can have petrol in our cars. And we're not on the streets marching going, What the fuck world is this that we're living in? But can black people do that really? They can't. So when you're saying that the oppression towards the black people has become more subtle, yeah, I agree with you. But the the move to push white people out of Africa has become less. So the white man don't need to put that much effort into to suppressing Africa no more. Like before, he was just getting people full of boatloads of people and just exporting them and showing people, listen, we run this, this geography to this extent that we can change the demographic just like that. So know yourself, innit? Yeah. Like, that's, just my, that's just my opinion. I might be wrong, you might be telling me, who the fuck are you to even have that opinion? But that's just how I see it, innit? So thanks for letting me come on and say my bit. I appreciate it still. Big up, Khan. Get me. Yeah, that's, that's how I see it. Yeah, yeah. Big up, Khan. Big up, Khan. Yeah. That's real Real words from a real black man. Khan. My <laughs> 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 ah, coming from a guy called Ben Rich. You ain't got two pennies to rub together, motherfucker. Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell is Khan talking about, man? But that's my brother, man. Talk your shit. Khan. Yeah, but you can't, Born Rich, you can't see it because you've been living in the belly of the beast. You've been living in the United States of America where every motherfucking material possession has been yeah. dangled in front of you like a little carrot. You get me? You ain't even African no more. When they told you you was African, no, you was like, I ain't fucking, I'm I ain't Sudan. African. No, I'm Sudan. I ain't African. I'm from Sudan. I'm from Sudan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Then we're, re then we're related. Born rich, we're related then because I'm 5% Sudan as well. Yeah, I'm from, Su I'm from Sudanese, man. So. All right, cool. I'm not from Sudan, so. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm from Jamaican, man. I'm from Jamaican. <laughs> I'm from Jamaican. I'm from Jamaican. <laughs> I'm from Cuba. I'm from Cuba. Uh, I'm, I'm from, from Cuba. Cuba. Yeah, big up, big up, sniper. What's good, brother? 
Me saying, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know I was going to wake up early morning to jokes. <laughs> no, yeah. Man. It's yeah, big up family, man. Big up Khan, big up... Uh, yeah, man, big up family. Come on, and um, bore it, done now. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I've just woke up my damn self, Snuggle. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> stay away, stay away. <laughs> what do you mean? Sniper. <laughs> you see, Brayden, I'm not high. I'm not high. And then on the side of the screen, the bottle just come in like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. I'm I'm glad you asked him though about the crack thing, isn't it? Yeah, we ain't yeah. even denying it, innit? It was like, oh, I went crack, it was something else. It was, yeah, yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, he was. Hold mm. on, hold on. Did I get a salute? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you must have. Oh, I must have missed it. Salute, yeah. Maku, salute. Salute, salute, sis. Mm, you know, bless up. Salute, my sister, Nanny, though. Bless up yourself, BRC, man. My yeah. brother. Come on, man. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to ask... A, no, I'm not going to ask it yet, but I've got one more question, gents. But, go for all right. it. No, I'll make the thing go on first, because I'm just formulating no, no, it. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Ask well, a question, go man. Go for it. It's Because you know we were saying about the two sides, yeah? Yeah? yeah. So... Oh, okay, so are they are they ideological sides or do you think they're religious sides? I asked because last night um, apparently a woman who's supposed to be quite, quite right wing or whatever, but she says she's a Catholic Christian and all this, yeah? yeah. And people like um, Ralph and all these, obviously the they're... I've, I've explained, they've explained it to me already. It's a banner for them to stand under to unite their masses. So yes, it is ideological. Mm, mm, mm. And I think, I think to some extent, religion has always been that. Yeah, I mean. So, which side would you choose then, Jed? Uh, if you had to really? choose a side, if I had to choose a side, you know, honestly, and this is uh. this is heartbreaking, I'd probably have to choose the atheistic side if I had to choose a side. And I'm not an atheist, uh. but I'm not going to uh. choose a Christian or a Muslim side mm. because I'm I'm not that way inclined as of this moment, and I wouldn't want to make. I wouldn't want to be a hypocrite or a false or a liar. I, I, I thought you saying there's only two sides. Well, then if there's only two sides, then like I'm not, I'm not going to pick a side. I'm not, I'm not going to pick between mm. Islam and Christianity. Essentially, they're the same religion anyway. Exactly. So why? I mean, what about the third part? Why is no one trying to be a Jew? The Jews or are with the Christians. Be... The Jews oh, are no, with the Christians. Right. No. Hold on. Oh. Can you join being a Jew? You can't the, join. The, the Zionists are on one side. You, know, They're you. you know? Yeah, not the you Zionists. You can decide to be a Christian. You can decide to be a Muslim. But can you decide to be a Jew? Why is it yeah. left out of the equation? No, it's a bloodline. It's a bloodline. Right. You know, right, right, right. right, 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 right. right. It's a bloodline. Hold on. If it's a bloodline, mm. and in reality, we are that. We have better claim to most to that uh, lineage or type of thing, which some of our brothers are doing. That's why they're Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Why the hell can't we just become Jews? Because you're taking because yourself some, out of the game. Somebody took it on, yeah? It wasn't theirs originally. They took it on, and now they control it. And now they say the aspects of the story relate to them. Bollocks. I ain't got time, bros. You get me? But people need to wake up. Why have you only got two choices instead of three of the same Abrahamic religion? It makes no sense. But that's the way of the world. It's like the, the Cold War. There's the, the two sides. There's always two sides. Good cop, bad cop. Two sides, though. How can you say there's two sides when it's free? Because it's power. It's where is the power? Is your, is your question oh, being answered, um, um, Nani, for? Nine either. Nine? Queen nine. Yeah, sorry, 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 is, sorry. Is, yeah, is it, and I mean... Is it being and, up and, and, yeah, and it also yeah. sort of opens up, not a debate, but, you know what I mean, you can see the potential, I don't want to say problems, but you know what I'm saying to you? So even trying to bring in a third... What side would uh, you... What, what would you pick? Rastafari. <laughs> Which is Christian. <laughs> 
Daryl. Well, I'm going to be honest, um, Jeds, because uh, way back in the day when me and Buddha was on good terms, we had this sort of conversation. You with me? Mm. And um, mm. yeah, I would. Yeah, I'll definitely pick the if it was the choice of the two. I'm going. I'm. I'm. I'm going to skip. Uh, stay to what I know, innit? Christianity. That's Christianity. Yeah, that's 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 what I know, innit? It's what I bond the first, but if it's out of the two but, of them, yeah, Christianity all day long, man. Yeah, but if we're looking at prophecy and and but not based on whether you believe it or not, just based on what? What would that choice be based on? Tradition. Yeah, definitely tradition. What I know, what I would, what I know that I'd feel more comfortable in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In all honesty, are you happy with where tradition has brought us thus far? Of course not, Jeds. But if but if we're saying that I have to make a choice, because like yourself, I would choose neither. But mm. in the um, interest of the discussion, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and if it's only one or the other, I'm going mm. bang on Christianity. Why? Why yeah, is that? What, what why? What I want to know why. Though. I want to know why. I want to know why. Because like I, that's what I know, Jeds, isn't it? That's how I come up. It's what I know. I mean, although I ban it now, whatever, whatever foundational, fa even like yourself, foundationally, you're still you with me. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but are you aligning yourself with the Ethiopian type of Christianity or with the Western Catholic? Because that's where the split's going to be when it's World War Three and it's end days. That's where it's going to be Christianity on both sides. Islam's going to be with the Orthodox Christians. So when you say I'm a Christian, to me it makes a difference on what side of that line you're going to be on. Because Rast Rasta to me is all is orthodox. Orthodox what? Christianity. Yeah, but so it's still Rast on the side of Muslim, Christianity, isn't it? So no, regardless. The, the, this is what I'm saying. So if you look at prophecy and how this is all going to end up, there's going to be a split within Christianity. And two sides are going to be warring. On one side, you've got the Westerners who are telling you lesbians and gays can become priests and teachers. Like, that's not orthodox. Get me? So the orthodox, like the Russians, the Ethiopians, the Greeks, on one side, they're maintaining their Christianity, isn't it? They're maintaining it to the... Oh. That's why it's called orthodoxy. Yeah, yeah okay, calm, calm. But let me say this, though. Listen, man. If, if, if you're, you're, you're a Muslim, right? Alhamdulillah. Yeah, so if, 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 if like when this day comes, if I'm a Christian, who gives mm. a fuck what you where you think I'm going, right? No, if I'm a no, Christian, no, no. I don't give a no. Listen, if I'm a Christian, there's only one book of prophecy. Listen, comes listen, from if I'm a Christian, the Jews. You're not. You're not hearing it comes me. Comes from the Jews. If, if I'm a, the prophecy, you're, you're saying that I'm taking up the prophecy. Con, con, you, me out, con. Con. you won't hear me out, Khan. No, I can hear you. Khan, we we spoke about this. Deep breath. Yeah, true. Yes. Okay, cool. If I'm a Christian, I don't give yeah, a fuck band. where a Muslim thinks I'm going in the afterlife or or when this day <laughs> comes, when Armageddon comes. I don't give a fuck yeah. where a Muslim thinks I'm going. Yeah. If I've been serving mm -hmm. my God to the best of my ability, then mm -hmm. I'm going where I feel like I'm supposed to go. Yeah. I don't give a but, fuck. Born which, lovely little protest. Lovely little protest. But the prophecy comes from the Jews. I'm not making it up. Muslims ain't making it up. We ain't making up our own prophecy. This is the prophecy. Hmm. This is how it all goes down. Yeah? It starts from the Jews. That's the book of prophecies from the Jews themselves. So to, for you to tell me, I don't care what Muslims think, that's all well and good. Nice little speech. But the fact is, there's only one prophecy, bro. Uh, why are you saying Jews as well? Listen to what I'm saying. There's two sides in this, yeah? On one side, you've got the Orthodox Christians, the Rastas, and you've got the Muslims, and you've got the real Jews, the real ones, not yeah. the imposter Israelite. ones. On the, the Israelite. other side, Israelite. on the other Israelite. side of this equation... Israelite. On the other Israelite. Side, Israelite. Yeah, Israelite. Okay. Israelite. All right, brother. All right, Israelites. Alhamdulillah, the Israelites. On the other side of the line, you got the West, including the Zionists and these so-called fake Jews, fake Christians, yeah? The the global imperialists, the Zionists, they're on oh, the, the other oh, side. The, all right, what about, what about the, okay, there could be fake, if there's fake Jews, there must be fake Muslims as well. Mm. Of course. Okay, of course, cool, who's running Saudi Arabia now? You said the Shiites? 
Did you say the she ass was the fake? No, no, no. The ones no, who's running say... the Saudi Arabia, the, in, the puppets that's been installed by the West, they're obviously the fake Muslims, isn't it? So Maku's right. There's fake on all sides. So the line that's drawn isn't drawn between black and white or Muslim and Christian. That, that line is there. Get me. And there's fake mm. on one side and real on the other. But is there two that's sides a... of proof? Again. Sure. Are we like talking about a trinity? Does oh. <laughs> it, it sound like a trinity? Does it sound like a trinity? Can you in front of a fruit con? <laughs> no, no, I'm not recruiting. <laughs> we already I'm not established recruiting. that. We already established that like, they're all one in the same, in a sense, like they're Hebrew Ishmaelites if you're Muslim and you're Hebrew Israelite if you're uh, Israelite or Jew. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's all it is. But if you're mm. really a Jew, the Jew that claiming the thing, you're not a uh, a Jew, you're a Jebusite and you're a Canaanite. So let, let, let's not. Well, who's, let's to not say, who's to say that, uh, mm. like, like, who makes the final judgment on who's the fake Christians and the fake Jews? Like, who makes that? Because obviously, it has to do with that's, the, that's, you're getting into that's a conversation the coming. You're getting into the you're getting coming mad now. religious right now. Um, I'm trying to. Like, do you know what I mean? Not that I've got a problem with religion, but just not so early in the morning. You know I mean? Not before <laughs> breakfast. No way there. Um, I've got to have my crumpets first. Uh, yeah, yeah, big up everyone in the chat. Listen, please don't forget, don't get so caught up in the convo that you don't hit the like button. That's one of the most important actions you can do for me today mm -hmm. is hit that like button. Help me out in the algorithm. Get me up above 100 likes so that I can be recognised and um, get more subscribers and then the platform can grow um, so we can separate ourselves from some of these uh, uh, people in the community that just keep following us around everywhere. Hopefully they can get some viewers and they can go over there and do their thing. Like, good luck to Jupiter over there um, doing far right chats and stuff like that. And we encourage more that the internet is a huge place. And I don't have to see some of you every day. You know I mean? Pop in once in a while, but not every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Please, not every day. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, like up the show, family. It's all love. Um, I want to get back to the news because this is the true news review. Um, and before before Born Rich's eyes completely swell shut, um, we got we got get. We no, gotta get no I got allergies. It's allergies. Yeah. Allergies. It's allergies. You know this weather. Like I'm in Tennessee, y'all. <laughs> I don't understand this weather, bro. Okay. I'm in Tennessee. And this weather, yeah. It's hard, man. It's harsh, bro. Y'all won't understand because y'all in the UK. So it's, keep, it's keeping you up at night as well, right? Yeah, man. It's just the weather. Like, it's so much pollen, right? Pollen, pollen. yeah. A little pollen. I love it's a bit pollen. of pollen. Do you like a bit of pollen? I love a bit of pollen. Can't yeah, there we go. go. What do you think about pollen? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm off the pollen, man. It's been a good 10 years. Oh, is really? it? Are you not dealing with pollen again, no? Oh, my nah, God. No, no more, no more. Pollen sounds like crack in the UK. <laughs> pollen. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is pollen. Yeah. Oh, that's what okay. you're smoking is pollen? That is pollen, isn't it? No? No, no. Yeah. No, no, no. there's no pollen. No, 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 no. No, 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 no that's no. not pollen. Hold on, one second, one second. That's one me. second. That's a bud. There's no pollen. Pollen is zero, okay. man. Yeah, Paul is a type of zero. <laughs> Somebody say he's allergic to weed. <laughs> Fuck the comments. I used to like a bit of pollen, man. I know who have hay fever, right? And smoke weed. And one girl in particular, like when she smokes, so she starts sneezing uncontrollably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, I don't understand why people are saying there's no pollen. I mean, had the things get pollinated or not pollinated, so there's still pollen there. Like I don't understand. Mm. Like, it's fucking worry, weed, man. mate. Right. It's 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 and these are buds. Not, and these yeah, are buds. buds. And when you, got, when, you got, when you got pollen, we're talking about smoking pollen, isn't it? Pollen, mm. pollen is different, isn't it? But like, go and look it up. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, no, no, once in my life, life pollen, I, I pollen's did different, have a bit of pollen. I did have a bit of pollen once. Yes, yeah, really, like, really. So. So yeah, you, yeah, really, really. So when you when you shake when you shake the weed, yeah, they yeah. separate the pollen yeah. sometimes. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. I'm saying. There you go. In the there you go. I was in, I was in and, you, and then you just smoke pollen. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was in a weed factory. Not, 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 I was in a weed factory. Not weed. Not weed, not weed with a bit of pollen on. But no, no, just no. pollen. Just no. the pollen. You can smoke just pollen. You can just smoke yeah. pollen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're talking about. 
It's different so from I'm smoking saying, the yeah. weed. Oh, right, but okay. I'm not saying I'm not saying that is the cause, yeah, of hay fever. Hey, mm, hey, hay fever is not pollen based. Pollen is pollution based. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah that's something yeah. sort of different. Yeah. I'd, so, I'd but I'm it. just saying. Anyway, if we're talking about pollen, man sitting there smoking it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, no, I'm just it? saying that it. it might not be helping him. <laughs> and it might be the train. It might be the strain that he's smoking as well. You know what I mean? No, nah, it's it good. Be. It's good, Sniper. I'm good. I'm good, bro. I, I yeah. knew this guy once, yeah, and he used to move like oh, big bits. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You, lot, you lot, stop taking it everywhere else. We're getting to the news. But before we do that, Born Rich, yeah. Yo. did you have that conversation with the I, young man? I did. I, oh, my gosh. I did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shit, I forgot. I did, bro. <laughs> I did. Oh, my gosh. I did. <laughs> I did, and and I will talk. We'll talk later. Okay, cool, cool. Some other shit really, really <laughs> happened, bro. Away. Oh, for real? Oh, yeah. We got to talk. We got to talk later. <laughs> Sounds uh, like you didn't go to plan. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, 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 Maku, your, 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 your guys, your guys back here, Maku, asking questions. Which I think one? he wrote Jedi, but he meant to say Maku. Who? Your guy from yesterday, man. Fucking the Mason. Oh, Ibrahim. <laughs> oh, which one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even him. He's uh, he's back in the outside and Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this guy's funny, bro. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Please donate. Yeah, he's funny. He's funny. He's, he's funny. funny, isn't it? <laughs> please please, <laughs> please donate, man. Help help a help an independent, hardworking content creator mm. such as myself. Um, putting shows on back to back, daily news shows, uh, advice columns. Um, today we've got Co Conspiracy Corner a little bit later on um, this evening. Uh, make sure you tune in for that around six. What else we got going on? Um, you know, we got the gaming, you know, we're getting into the gaming and shit like that. We got the Sunday service show. We got we got the yeah. straightforward just conversations, debates. We got game shows and quizzes and riddles and all kinds of things, man. We mix it up over here. So if you enjoy this channel, please, 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 I need your support. Um, by donating, hitting up the power, PayPal, or if you've got Cash App, hit me up on Cash App. Trill support, yeah. The link is in the description. I've got many links for videos, um, songs, different content, different social networks. I've got my other two YouTube accounts, so go and hit that up. I've got SoundCloud on there um, with a playlist. Uh, yeah, just keep supporting, man, in any way you can. But like I said, the, the first thing I need you to do is hit that like button, yeah. Try to get a friend to subscribe to the channel. That'd be nice, man. Uh, right, so we're back in the news. We're back, we're back. And I've got here, doctor sacked for creeping into attic to watch girl 15 shower through a ceiling hole. <sighs> Jens, I'm off, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I, don't, I don't blame you. Hell no, man. Hell no, man. Where you going? Where you going, man? No, I'm not. No, babe, I'm not even running, man. But you know my settings, you know what I mean? I've got to go yeah, and add I to guess. the community and the society. You know them ones? Yeah, I guess. Plantation <laughs> settings, Colin. Plantation settings, yeah? I knew it was coming. Plantation settings, Colin. Yeah, she didn't want to, She tried not to say it, though. She tried not to call Yeah, it, I got you. I got you, sis. I, I, I got you. You know, I understand. Oh, I'm listening. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jeds. One love, Yeah, family. yeah, big up. One love, one love, one love. Big up, big up, Nani. Mm -hmm. it. What? All right, cool. Um, big up Queenie. Right. So this is the face of the guy that crawled into the attic to uh to look through a hole and cat I watch a 15-year-old showering. A doctor who was once one of the highest paid medics in the country has been struck off for watching a girl as she showered. Man, I'm, never, I'm just saying, Jedi, I never would have uh, suspected a guy that looks like that would ever do anything like that. He doesn't even look interested in sex, does he? Like, yeah, like, he doesn't even awesome. look like a pedophile. Yeah he, looks, <laughs> yeah, he looks like all he does is study, man. All he does is study, man. <laughs> All he needs is a tweet. Wow. 
Uh, with the patches on the elbows. I got something for us to read next. Shit, yes. I just want to get to that now. All right. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Let's go to uh, Jonathan. Let's wait, 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 wait. I got something to read. Uh, Dr. Jonathan Fields' victim, 15, realized she was being spied on after he crawled into the attic and spied on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, what are you doing? It's Jonathan, damn it. Jonathan, you know. What a normal name. Okay, Jonathan. <laughs> His name's not even <laughs> Ali or nothing. All right. Uh, uh, spied on her through a hole next to a light fitting at a property in Leighton Buzzard, Bedfordshire. Investigators found that a ventilation pipe had been dislodged and she and he watched her for around 15 to 20 seconds. How do they know that? <laughs> 15 okay. to 20 seconds. No, how the fuck do they know that? A quick one. The girl was so traumatized <laughs> that she was unable to shower and eventually spoke uh, spoke to a school counsellor about it. Fielden, who had a salary of £224,999. Oh, shit. Wow. Wow. You can buy oh, the, details, the, details, the details in this fucking article are crazy, yeah? Um, avoided mm. jail after blaming his work pressures for his behaviour. He was referred to the General Medical Council who he had asked to suspend him, but they struck him off. He was given a suspended prison sentence at Luton Crown Court in June last year and was ordered to compensate 150 hours of community service. That's a weird story. How did they know it was 15, 20, 15 to 20 seconds? Because she see the eyeball moving in the wall. Well, why, she is said, it, why are they not saying that? Story. Story. 20 seconds. Oh, look at that. that is my man. Oh my god, look at him. That's him. Look at him. Is that him? Yeah, that, he looks fucking scary. No <laughs> way. Hey, Creepy you know, motherfucker. <laughs> Imagine him. Creep. Imagine that's your daughter's <laughs> third grade teacher. <laughs> no, this guy's, no, this guy's <laughs> a doctor, <laughs> man. This guy. This guy's a doctor. He's a doctor, Mr. Man. Jonathan. Boy, boy, boy. Look, take, take the flu. Take the f hashtag flu away from both. Chairman of the fitness to practice panel, Simon Bond, said his description of his offence as being one of poor judgment displayed a lack of insight as to the gravity of the offence and sought to minimise its impact. In cross-examination, Dr. F um, Fielden was asked on two occasions, if he classified his offence as a matter of poor judgment, to which he replied, it's clearly not something I should have done. Um, snitching, self-snitching. Hey, man. Maybe, maybe that's how they found out about the 20 seconds. It was only 20 seconds? All right, let me write that down. Just yes, write that down. I'll get you out second. of here. <laughs> they got a quarter million dollars, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's balling, man. Balling! He must, um, have, he must have known the time on his Rolex. Fuckery. Dr. Fielding failed to demonstrate that he fully acknowledged the burden on the victim of the offence. Further, he lacked insight as to regard to the impact of the offence in the NHS, the profession as a whole, and his colleagues. He had held a senior position in NHS England. Let me just let this person in. Someone's knocking at the door. Wow. Uh oh, it's Freddy. Yes, Freddy. Yes, what's going <laughs> on? What's going on? What's going on, on brother? What's good? I'm looking to vomit into my porridge, yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is our man. Bruv, England's got a serious pedophile problem, you know, bro. It's true, man. <laughs> Y'all yeah. crazy. Y'all crazy. Freddy, if you had that I'm kind of money, how would you be living? Oh, my God. No, hear this, hear this. Hear this. Hear this, what his lawyer said, yeah? Oh, shit. <laughs> Alexandra Felix said, he looked through the hole in the pipe momentarily and witnessed the victim. He did not avert his eyes quickly enough. He accepts the only explanation for continuing to look through the pipe at the victim was for sexual gratification. Oh, <laughs> they no. made us so sanitized. He looked through the pipe, and, and but he didn't look away quick enough. Yeah, we accept yeah, that, like, you know. Bro, bro, listen, we commit a robbery and say that it's work pressures. Go on. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Work pressures. Well, this team too much, you know, Jess, man. Seriously, man. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Jodo, how much was he on again? <laughs> oh, the event took place. Oh, he was on two hundred. Two hundred five. Two hundred and twenty. No, no, no. You can't just say two hundred because half of what he's got. Is more than a man. Uh, you can't just say two hundred thousand. It's two hundred and twenty, two hundred and twenty-four thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine a year. Now, even the nine hundred and ninety-nine, yeah, is a big deal to many men out here. That's a grand, like, oh, yeah. bro. He's making peace. Yeah, no, that's a lot of hotel yeah. room and hookers, bro. What's he doing looking through pipes? Listen, check this. Check this. Get this, yeah. This is still the lawyer talking. Yeah, the event took place over a matter of a few seconds and not 15 to 20 seconds as originally stated. It was an optimistic event, opportunity, opportunistic event without any element of pre planning. And the significant work pressures faced by Dr. Fielding at the time of the incident may have contributed to his. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he was stressed out, he was stressed <laughs> out. Bro. Hey, they got more excuses for him than Black Van Man. Maybe he thought he was saying that he was um, uh, far right and racist. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, oh my man. God. Oh, I'm, su oh, bro, I'm bro. surprised he never got a caution, bro. Well, he kind of did. He kind of oh, did. He got, suspend he got a suspended sentence, bro, and lost his job. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that means he can't All right, Jess, Jess. privately. All right, Jess, what does it mean when you lose your job and you have, you have a quarter million dollars in your bank account? It means you got some. You got, it means you got some. It means you got some free time to, to come up with a new business plan. Yeah, That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or you got free time to to make sure you attack kids without getting caught. Oh my wow. God! For real, I'm nah, telling bro. you, these people are fucked with it, bro. Because you just give him the sack. He's a half a pedophile. Now you might turn him into a full one. Fridge. You can buy a lot of pipe. Fridge. You can buy a lot of pipes with. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, bro. You know what? Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? Because um, well, racist <laughs> film. Racist Phil came on yesterday, yeah, and he was saying that he earned forty thousand pounds a year from, oh, being a, that was... from being a what? Being a I... pipe fitter. So oh. I wonder, if <laughs> I wonder if there's any connection between these two stories. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Whatever. Let's, let's leave it. Let's leave it. Oh, they got a picture of the bodyguard that fucked up. Okay, I'm a, I'm gonna steal that picture still. The bodyguard that fucked up and left a Glock on the plane. I swear to God. And when you get a chance, uh, Jed, I put one in a uh, in a private chat. Okay, little, okay, little... we're gonna go to that. I got one that I wanna I wanna um, look yeah. at because it caught my eye. I just wanna I just wanna get to this story real quick. Yeah, just makes me wonder if anyone's ever is looking at me. Now the best thing Phil ever said. My daughter. Is highly educated. How old oh, your daughter? Yeah. 12 years old? Do you know what I'm saying? It's possible. It's possible. Oh, okay. my God. It's possible, man. Do you know what I mean? No, okay, man. But just for a few seconds. Just for a few seconds. No, okay. Don't look at me through a pipe. I'm a nasty guy, man. <laughs> I do some nasty things when I'm by myself, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <sighs> Shit. Okay, cool. Um, what what is yawning? Does anyone know? What yawning? As yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. I swear it's like a release of energy, isn't it? It's a response mechanism. Like, or something. Yeah, like a release, like a built-up energy. You just need to release it so you can feel tired. <laughs> that, that, that sounds that sounds mad, bro. Yeah, I, I know, don't even know. I know this homosexuals do it a lot, but what? It's a <laughs> where you what at? Club you going to? Where you at? Noticing homosexuals? Huh? No, I'm just. <laughs> uh, You've been out. You've been out. You've been out raving with um 
What's his name again? No, no, no. Jonathan. Young Young Buck comes from Tennessee, right? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh my god, Freddie's on form. Massive Young Buck. I'm done. I'm done. All right, cool. So we got the news. The next story is um, Saudi teen who fled to Canada abused for daring to wear a bikini. Okay, so like, avert your gaze, family. So obviously this is her in the in the um, niqab. Mm. Um, Rahaf Mohammed Al Kunon is celebrating her new life in Canada, but has come in for criticism. A young woman has received a barrage of abuse after she showed before and after pictures as she celebrates her new life in Canada following her escape from Saudi Arabia. Rahaf Mohammed Al Kunon posed in a bikini and compared it Yo, what's that? Yo, and compared it to an old image of herself in a niqab. She said it was the biggest change in my life from being forced to wear Yo, mute your mic, please. Someone sounds like they're doing some serious one hand typing. Um, she said she said it was the biggest change in my life from being forced to wear black sheets and being controlled by men to being a free woman. Critics in Saudi Arabia were quick to hit out at her saying that she was making herself naked. Um, but she has also received a large amount of support with people saying she was incredibly brave and that she looked amazing. Kunan fled the kingdom in January last year and barricaded herself in her hotel saying she was escaping abuse from her family. Big up the girl, man. Big, big, yeah, up, man. big, big up, man. Yeah. Um, for Saudi women, running away can be a matter of life and death and they are almost always doing so to escape mm -hmm. male relatives. Following mm. the recent pictures, one follower told her, I really feel sad for people like you. Saudi women are living in happiness. They mm. are living a normal life. They drive gold moors and now they travel alone. Plus our prophet Muhammad said that women and men are equal. Another said, I was yeah, checking I her previous too. posts and got to know that she literally got all this fame because she threw hijab away and started clothing like, mm. like the second picture. Quinnon escaped her family oh. while they were visiting Kuwait, then flew to Bangkok. She was denied entry by immigration police and her, and her passport was seized. She then took her case to social media, sparking the hashtag Save Rahaf, and posted video of herself using a table to block the door in her, to her hotel room. The mm. biggest shit. Uh, okay, cool. This is her. How, uh, how, how old is she? <laughs> Before you comment, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you take the risk. Take the risk, man. You take the risk. Uh, uh, she renounced Islam and declared herself as atheist, saying physical, emotional, and verbal abuse and being imprisoned mm. inside the house for months. They threatened mm. to kill me and prevent me from continuing my education. They, they won't let me drive or travel. I am oppressed. I love life mm. and work, and I am very ambitious, but my family is preventing me from living. As a result of mm. her campaign, she was given UN protection, and she chose to fly to Canada after being granted asylum there. Rahaf, yeah. oh, no, this is a dodgy case, though, yeah? Cause she, why? Like, is, why? Yeah. Because she's got UN protection. Yeah. Because How many they're... asylum seekers do you know get UN yeah, protection but... and get flown? <laughs> The Saudis flown, are so powerful. I get flown to a country of their choice. Yeah, but no. The, the Saudis are so powerful that no one can take in their refugees. They'll say, we want that person back. And even Thailand's handing the person back. So United Nations had to get involved and say, wait a minute, let's be fair here. That what, what she wants counts for Satan, isn't it? <sighs> this, this smells like PSYOP to me, but I hear you. I hear you. This smells like PSYOP to me. Um, from from my Islamic point of view, I hundred percent agree with this. There are women born out there, like with the whole gene is so strong in them that they're saying, "I can't live under Islam. I have to release the whole. I have to release it in a hole." Get me? So don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, 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 hey
That's harsh. Yeah, that's harsh. Oh. No, we're not endorsing the Saudis anyway. So, I mean, if you're endorsing I know, the Saudis, but I'm saying that there's some women no, out there that can't live under that oppression. Yeah, but they chop off, they chop off women's heads. I mean, mm. they execute people. People up, they got Shuri up mm. fully in place. Mm. It's an extreme yeah. fight. But yeah. it is. People will want to leave. From... Makes sense. I agree with what you're saying, but if she put up one picture of her in a hijab and then the other picture of her in some normal clothes, then I would agree with you. But to go from hijab to bikini, showing your ass and, and shit, then I'm going to use the word hoe. If you don't like it, you know what I mean? No. I'm, yeah, I'm no, sorry. It makes sense. Yeah, it it makes sense. It's harsh, Khan. It's harsh still. I think oh, okay. But, you know. One second. If your daughter wears a bikini, if your daughter wears a bikini, is she a hoe? Yeah. Especially what? if she wears a bikini Are you crazy? in front of me. Are you mad? I'm, I'm just saying. This, this, I'm not this, walking down the road when you see my daughter in a phone with a tracksuit on the beach. Ass and shit. But bro, they, you don't have to wear a bikini. You can oh, wear a swimsuit. Wearing, yeah, but yeah. obviously, you you're know, not obviously a people got people got um things they wrap around each other. It's just it's just comfort, you know. Yeah. It's something to be comfortable. Uh, I ain't got tips. I can't even imagine. You know, what I'm saying what women. How they want to feel oh, cool. comfortable. But I'd imagine that they want to be free, innit? This is why I would bro. never, ever, ever fuck with a religion, you know, bro. Thank you. Because I like to be free. My God yeah. says I need to be free, innit? But, I need to be but, a free but, man. But, but, free. Well, what you, well, okay, but, but what about the argument of just modesty? Yeah, just modesty alone. Modesty, I mean, that's cool, but if you're on the beach, then, or if you want to take pictures in, in the comfort of your own home, why not? Oh, and she, she's wearing a bikini to dinner, then obviously we know there's a problem, innit? Yeah. But she's on a beach, fam. Come on, man. Give her a bit of slack, cousin. Yeah. Come on. Hey, come on. Let's mm -hmm. we hey, wait, do wait, wait, and that's why. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you a question, Khan. Yeah. Have you been on a beach? Yeah. All right. So you obviously been on a beach, and as but, you watch, as wait, just, just as you watch women go by. Yeah. In your head, in your subconscious or in your head, you're thinking every woman that goes by is a hoe in a bikini. No, no. What are you talking about then? Then shut up. What I'm uh, saying is, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, my daughter would not be able to wear a thong in front of me. I don't care if we're on the beach or on the moon or in the bedroom or in the street, wherever we are. The location doesn't matter. You can't be wearing a thong in front How of your dad. You know? That's a that's a disrespect, isn't it? I I, I, I get that. I, I get that. No, no, no. I get that. I get that. Listen, it, might be old, it might be old-fashioned to some of you guys, but take religion away. I get that. I get that, man. You don't want to see your, your daughter's butt cheeks and a string between her butt. Like, I get that, man. Like, look, it's levels out here. So everyone has a... There's different ways of living. We are so far in the future and in this civilization that, yeah, women being half-naked because they're on a beach is just acceptable. It's normal now. But... I can see where someone would be like, no, I ain't feeling that. that that's not the yeah, way that was... Yeah, but my own daughter... I'm not calling my daughter a hoe. I don't know what that is. I raised her. I knew what I, do, I was doing. How am I going to call my own daughter a hoe? Because of a, a, a choice of uh, dress for... Which is appropriate to the beach or wherever. You know what I mean? If you're right, where do you draw the line then? When your, when your daughter goes I, to a bashment party... When your daughter goes to a yeah. bash, bashment party with, in a see-through set and with her nipple showing... Mm. What do you think yeah. then? Where's the line, There's nothing, I can do. There's There's nothing no you line. can do, but in your head... There's no, you... There's no line. There's no line. There's no line. What do you mean? You but, say, but if people just, are put restrictions... think... One second, one second. If people are going to put restrictions on other people, then they're going to put restrictions on you. And I wasn't grown like that. So why am I going to do that? And I've grown with yeah, sisters. I know the, how they dress and all of that. Even mummy. Do you get know what I'm saying at certain times? Like, she wouldn't dress the same like them. But obviously, different time, different dress sense. But actually saying, no, nah, you can't wear this, or I don't think it's appropriate to wear this, is not within my personal remit. Mm. Nah, it's, it is within mine. I'm going to tell my... Okay, that's yeah. yeah, it's within mine. I'm going to tell my daughter, you ain't going nowhere in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I used to tell my sisters how to dress, so you're right. I didn't yeah. know fuck you. Right? Yeah, we yeah, 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 yeah. that. But at the same time, though, fam, there ain't nothing hoish in it. Or none of that. You get me? If women want to be free, women just want to be free, man. But what does it mean? Being, but, hold on. I'm being free. Hold on. What, let me just make a statement, yeah? And I'm being a time traveler now, yeah? 
Mm. Yeah. Today, today we're saying being free, yeah? Mm -hmm. That yeah. is mm. that is that could be seen as being code for being slack, yeah? Just bear with me. It's the same way as being creative now is code for being gay. <laughs> it's a it's a I hear that. It's but, we're changing uh, the language. Oh, it's just about being free, but really. No one yeah. don't want to see their mom, their grandma, no one in them yeah. things there. You don't want to see your daughter in it. Nobody be free. Listen, but, listen, but, before but that, you know what, before though, that, but you know what, though, man, them. You'd be accustomed. Mm. We, would, we, would, we would be as Caribbeans and Africans. Are we accustomed to people walking around naked? Yeah, but then yeah, yeah, it's, okay, yeah, yeah, it's a whole yeah, different yeah, psychology, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's uh, a whole different, yes, Mac, yes, it's a whole uh, different psychology, no, though. Where, bro. Where, where is it different? Where is it different? It's the it's the Adam and Eve complex, yeah. And this is a, psycho this is a psychological. This is. Let me explain. This is a psychological uh, prefix that's been put on our vision. It's a psychological paradigm. Whereas when we were free, remember, I keep saying to you, yeah, the shit that we're that's happening now is the shit we've always had, the shit we've always done. But they've given it back to us in a warped and twisted way. So they have demonized the naked body. They have stigmatized the naked body, and now. They give it back to you in a way where now it is like a sign of promiscuous, um, uh, promiscuous behavior and shit like that. A lack of morality, yeah? And we just got to deal with that fact. If everyone's naked, then we got to desensitize it. But if, no, if not everyone's naked and you're in a society where people are clothed and then you are showing more and more parts of your body, it does now have a sexual connotation. That's yeah, bad. but Jesse, no. anyway, anyway, anyway so sorry, sorry, I agree. Okay. One second, Maku. From creation, yeah, fam, we've had our um, women have had their breasts out, man's had their things like you get me. There weren't no rape, there weren't no perverse, perversive thoughts. Do you know what I'm saying? That's down to man and the Western ideals that like, that's changed it up and made it perverse. Because man can't control their cells, our oh, woman's a whole. Fuck that, man. Like sort yourself out and go and get yourself a bit of pum pum. Exactly. Yeah. That's a fact. I believe yeah, it. I, 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 think, I, think, I think. I think. Generally, growing up with women has a has a profound influence on that that thought process. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I'm saying inside my house was like Nigeria. It was fucking hot all the time. Good heating, always food. And mum's walking around in boxer shorts, um, opening the door. What one? What you saying? Yeah. Yeah. No, you yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I feel comfortable in my own skin. Yes, where okay. I can, I can, yeah, to a certain extent, only down to my boxes, I, I feel comfortable. I could be online like that. I could do whatever. Do you yeah, know what yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's not me. that, bro. That's we're not even yeah. seeing that, bro. I answer that's the front even... door in my boxes all the time. But that's not even. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> no, but yeah, but why not putting in clothes just because Iceland's bringing some food round? You get me? Yeah, yeah. but then, bring the food in, but open the door for you. Fuck yeah, but then, can, but then, can, 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 but then, can, 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 when you open the door. Yeah, and I call you a hoe. <laughs> Listen, uh, I, ain't, I ain't out here. Uh, I ain't out here slut shaming. I ain't out here slut shaming. I ain't out here saying don't be a hoe. Pick up the hoes, them in it. But what uh, I'm saying is, if you're gonna give up Islam, and then you're gonna go and say this is what I always wanted, and you got a thong up your ass, and you're like, this is the real me. Yeah, then I'm gonna call you a hoe, in it. Like if you had yeah, the, a Lamborghini and you're leaning out the window, and I'm saying, okay. You gave up Islam because you wanted a Lambo, bigger, or you're in your graduation things with your little square hat on going, I wanted to give up Islam and go and study. Yeah, bigger. But when you got your phone on and your ass hanging out and going, this is the real me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I'm going to call you a whole minute. Yeah, no, 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 where she's coming from. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It's very extreme. Everyone has to be wrapped up in the fucking 40 degrees, 50 degrees every fucking day. Are you fucking serious with me? Like, fucking yeah, hour, but you... then, you know, go and bust a little Adidas tracksuit with the yeah, little, what, what they call the, the turtle show. The, 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 the free strap trainers again, with the little show again, on the front. Again, yeah. Again, bust a little Run DMC outfit and, and then be like, fuck the hijab, I'm wearing this. Then I'll be like, I, yeah, wicked. Why are you telling women what to do? And then the worst part about... It ain't about what to do. do. One second. You're going to tell her what to do, yeah? And then you're going to... You have an opinion, yeah? If they don't do it, in a sense. If they go and they... and they, Yes, they are, she is free. She is allowed to do whatever she wants. And if she wants to take selfie, we're in that era. 
we're not in the era can of... We please oh, hear from a woman, key. please. Photos. Is, any yeah, women no. out there, please, 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 um, jump on. I'm uh, not saying for a I minute just want to hear that your perspective. Is from that, but here we see Western values being esteemed as the morals of the world. Big up Princess Dominique. Exactly. That all jokes aside, she gets the real the realness of it. Well, that's it. I mean, you oh, are oh, accepting oh, one oh. side. One second. You are accepting one side of the argument. Like they say, controlled mm -hmm. opposition. You are accepting one side mm -hmm. by putting these titles on these women because of ideals they gave you. They're not well, your I'm own. not saying... But hold hold on, on, I'm not saying... I'm not saying whole like it's a bad thing. Second, I'm just uh, saying... Uh, you get me? One... That you, 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 remember, you're, what you're saying is like, look, if I see my daughter in a thong, bikini, da, 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 she's a hoe. This girl, she's gone from uh, wearing a hijab, a full uh, uh, niqab yeah. or whatever, and then um, going to uh, Canada, yeah, where she sees free, uh, the, uh, uh, there's a whole lot of story to go with it. Yeah. And we just take... Apparently, apparently she's, uh, she's like a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Billionaire with no rights and no, no thing. Can't be free. Cool, whatever. You know what I'm saying? All you got is stand, but no see. Oh, you get me? Now you go to a place to stand and see. You get me? You got to dress appropriately. She could have the finger. We didn't see the whole body. Did we see the whole body? I'm, I'm, not, I'm sure. not saying for her not to do it. I'm saying she done it the right way. Leave the country, go somewhere else, and be free, innit? That's what I'm saying. I'm not yeah, saying don't do it. You're going to call it how? Bro. Judgmental. That's a, that's all I'm saying. You're like I, I'm not here to judge. Do you get me? I don't know the situation 100. Where being is being reported, but already you've made a confirmed uh, statement and decision. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. woman, is old. like, stop that, man. Yeah. I, I don't know. His religion, his religion tells mm -hmm. him that she's yeah. Like, his yeah, religion compelled. tells him. Well, she, you know. she gave up the niqab and. and, and for a, a, a free, I don't know, a, a freer, a freer life, and mm. the religion says no, no. It's like the man said, "There's levels to this, isn't it? There's levels out here. Everyone's different." Uh, I, I understand that. I'm going to get criticism for using that word, and especially in that context. But I'm ready to take that on the chin because I stand by what I believe, isn't it? So I'm not expecting you to believe what I believe because we're different people. If I'm saying yeah, I'm not letting my daughter yeah. wear a thong because I, I'm not walking down the road and people come start approaching my daughter going, yeah, what's up, babe? And I'm like, excuse me, mate. Can't you say I'm here with my daughter, with my family, coming over here, traps with my daughter, asking her for a number in front of me like I'm some fucking prick out here. Yeah? But other men might not mind that. They'll be like, go on, Lucy. Go and chat to the nice man. Me and mummy's over here by the bar drinking tequila. Or whatever, like everyone's different, isn't it? I'm just saying yeah, that can't run with me. Scenario, I'm old school. I'm I old school. I thought so, Maku. Because we was on the beach a minute ago. Yeah, you're making up scenarios. All right, all right, all right Freddie. Can, can a man approach a woman that you're with, be it your daughter, your sister, or your auntie, or your cousin, and, and move I'm to them in front of you without you I'm being sure. offended? Obviously I'm not. Sure. We're all some respect. No, don't say that. Don't you say everything. No. no, I'm, I'm saying because, yeah. because no. The reason why? Because I wouldn't approach a woman with when I know man's around there. Why the fuck would I do that? That's just like right. a disrespecting. I, that means I can't see the brother in front of me. You know what I'm trying to right. say? I don't know. You so, yeah, so what's the difference that, between that, that and someone scanning your daughter's butt cheeks because she's got them on on? No, he's got eyes to scan it. He's got eyes. I can't <laughs> pluck out his eyes. What do you want me to do, <laughs> fam? What am to this guy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, this. I mean, in general, man is not going to approach man. Hopefully, you know what I mean. I, I've never been in that scenario. You get me, and you know me. I live on wish factor. I wish a nigga would. <laughs> like, mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh. But again, again, it is down to how you raise your children. Like, you cannot be jumping to everybody's defence and, oh, oh my God, pe people's looking at my daughter and, do -do -do, and my daughter's got a phone on. But I'm still asking the question on how you knew your daughter had a phone on. What do you mean? Like, she's with you, isn't it? In the scenario. No, 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 no. When she got dressed, yeah, how did you know? You were saying you knew from when she was getting dressed. She can't just get wear a phone in front of me. What do you mean wear a phone? No, because them phones ride up, bro. You can see the thong, isn't it? it rides Why up. are you looking? Why are you looking? If your daughter's getting dressed to come out with you, right? No. It, no, 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 no. One second, one second. If she comes out. I don't know what thong I mean. Uh, 
see-through. One second, man. If she's got some see-through thing on and she's got a thong on, yeah, you could say definitely, yeah, you not coming out with me like that, right? Yeah, I think the argument here is about what type of thong. No, you know, it's not because at the end of the day, she can wear a thong because that's her underwear, isn't it? Those are her choices. But of it underwear. shows. It Answer shows. So she's got period pants. She's got all stripes. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, to have a thong. <laughs> Long <or whatever>. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's convenience, isn't it? That's like wife fronts. If a man's wearing wife fronts, it's like oh, see, I stuff I love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but some people choose to wear wife fronts. Like what? Pants, knickers, thongs, whatever. What's your concern? Yeah. Please explain. I swear, Dan. Yeah, I swear, Dan. You see me? I just like to be free, man. Any restriction. That's why. That's why I didn't really focus in on honing on religion, you know, bro. Cause I love. I love correction. Tell me, like, tell me I'm wrong on that, but. The chastising man all the time, and man can't live man's life. And no, you're doing it wrong. And no, nah, I don't want that around, man. Man, I swear to God, don't Same need that type way. of vibes around. What man. religion yeah, is that? No, you should become a Muslim, then, innit? it? No, I'll never so become on. a Muslim. I respect Muslims. Why? Don't ever get but me what? wrong. Because of, you but know why? Never, because of men like you, I would never. I would never. That's like me because asking because me why am I going to be a Jew? <laughs> I wouldn't do it. It's because I'm turning Jew. It's because of my. I don't see anything that. Them I don't think you see no, anything in Islam that, that cool. what's the, what's contradicting what's contradicting your manhood in Islam? What's contradicting your manhood? Your, in your Imam, your Imam, your fellow Aki. Telling, you? telling well, you what? He's telling you how to live your life, basically. And if you don't live it according to what he says or the guidelines what he's providing, you're some type of kafir, and that don't make no sense to me. Do you get what I'm trying yeah, to show you? It's, it's, if a scholar can tell me how to grow my youths, that must just... No, but one minute, Freddie, Freddie, Freddie. Every community, brother, every community's got its code, isn't it? Like, if you're no, living around, let's no. say... Eh, yeah, but what I'm saying, we've all got rules and regulations, isn't it? It's like, if I'm walking roads with you, Freddie, and someone come and chief me up, and you're just standing there watching, yeah? I'm going to be looking at you after and going, Freddie, what the fuck was that about, bro? Because you know how we roll, isn't it? Touch one, touch all. So yeah. if someone's approaching you, Freddy, and I'm there, I can't be standing there like no pussy, oh, can I? Can't, can't. I hear what you're saying, you know, broski. I'm not saying, I'm not saying like... So we all got bro. rules that we live by, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying and the over-chastis over-chastisation of my, of my wife or my, or my personal affairs. Yeah. I couldn't take it. You get me? Yeah. I would rather go to God with it rather than go to a man with it or, 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 or another man telling me what to do over the most time. If that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. If I mm. can't carry the problem to God and get an answer, that means he's no good for me. Mm. For Does that make sense, Khan? Mm. Yeah. I, I shouldn't you. have to go to a mosque or a church to get no answers about nothing in life. That's right. Does that make sense? Oh, That's no, why we've got Quran and Hadith. Big up Zabeda. Yeah, 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 Zabeda. most definitely. you got them things as guidance, 100. But I'm saying you're supposed to have a direct communication with your maker. Does that make sense? Yeah. But that is well, Islam, though. Hmm? Yeah, that's what I'm doing a bit. But it's not. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not. Bro, it's not in the. Right, it's not in the same form. It's guys, not in the we, same um, form as you, man. Can we get? Um, we got some more news, but um, can we get uh, Zabeda. Zabeda to to speak? Because I think she wants to defend or 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 say something. What are you saying, sis? You there? Can't hear you. Can anyone oh. hear anything? No. Scooby Zooby Doo, where are you, man? ZZ. No. Young Zizzle. <laughs> Young Doo Doo. <laughs> Young Zizzle. <laughs> Young Zizzle. <laughs> Let me insult her and she'll come quick. Doo Doo. Zizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> Young Z. Z Okay. Z Z I hope you're not going through your cupboard looking for thongs to wear now. Oh god! Just, just to prove oh. a point. Oh god! My too god! My much. god! She left now because of that comment. She's gonna come back. Gonna come Was back. it because of that comment though? Uh, <laughs> she's, she's, uh, she's an ex Nazi Jew, right? She gonna come back with a vengeance. The DNA, <laughs> what did the DNA say? She's an Ashkenazi. What? Yeah. yeah uh, well, not, not she's only an, that. She's an Ashkenazi Jew. Well, that's that's she's what we. Uh, that's what we've been focusing in on. We'll be focusing on that. All right, cool. Um, 
big up Travel Anderson, Rogue One, Spooky Encounters, Vortex Light. Hit that like button, family tree. Please, please hit that like button. And don't forget to um, drop some donations up in that PayPal, man. Show some love. Link is in the description. And I'll be posting it in the chats intermittently. Really helps a brother out to keep these streams going. And now I've got outgoing rents and all stuff. Because of this office, I'm going to need some extra support. So, yeah, man. Please, please, family, deal with it, man. couple of pages. Oh, you took it, yeah? You took yeah, it, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. I took it. So, yeah, I have to bring, have to bring you over there, Maku. we got a, we got yeah, a motorcycle man. club. We got oh, a motorcycle yeah? club. Yeah, yeah we got a motorcycle club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can play. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love yeah, that. real talk, man. Real talk, yeah, man. man. I'm going yeah, to hold at you. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. Zabeda, you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Can you, you wow, guys hear me? Go on. What are you saying to me? Wow, wow. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Bless everybody. Wow, wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, obviously, look, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. people act like to be in a bikini, that is freedom. Yeah, it might be somebody's freedom, but, you know, there's this misconception that just Never because... Never when anybody goes. Woman... Let me see your booty go. Oh. Uh, that's, that's right. Yeah. Some people that look at women in the club or <laughs> assume that they are oppressed. And then when you see a woman half naked, they assume that represents freedom. freedom but maybe yeah. that woman that is half naked might actually be the one that's oppressed. And the woman that's yeah. covered from head to toe might actually be the Ooh. truth. Not for Africans. Speak on it. Speak on it. Africans. Africans were born <laughs> naked. Born naked and we was loving it. We never everyone everyone born naked. naked. No, I never everyone born naked. Everyone's born naked. <laughs> yeah, okay, but can I just can I just finish? Can I just finish my point? Yeah. The the problem is, yeah, the problem is with Saudi Arabia and this whole niqab right. thing. That 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 lifestyle wouldn't even be adaptable to people like me. And I'll tell you why, because it is very oppressive. You understand? There is this force and you have to do something, and that's not Islam. And we already know yeah. that Saudi Arabia, when people want to think about Islam, they always refer to Saudi Arabia. I'm from Algeria, yeah. 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 You've got sisters out there dressing some don't wear hijab, some wear the niqab, some just wrap something around their head. My thing is, Islam and the Quran doesn't talk about no niqab. This is why there is a huge debate about, should you wear niqab? Is it compulsory to wear niqab? And from my understanding, there is no evidence to support that she has to wear a niqab. Now, no, when it is. speaks about... No, no, but there isn't. The hijab, no. There is in Saudi Arabia, yes. unfortunately. Because it's... Sharia is in place. Sure, yeah. Quran, when it speaks oh, about yeah. wrapping up, nowhere else. When it nowhere speaks else. Of... Okay, Maku, man, chill, man. Well, I FTK you yesterday. You, really you want you round two or what? No, no, you know, you know, you know. brothers. One thing I say, yeah, is that mm. let's just try to like obviously just try and just give her a little space. You know, we've been the man have been chatting for a while. Try to give her a little space. Let her pop, like yeah. pop her shit, and then you can FTK her when she's done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what I was saying is when it comes to the hijab, yes, I agree with the hijab because at the end of the day, you know, us women have been made, you know, with 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 our ways and God is clearly understanding the man's nature. Yeah. The man has desires. Woman has desires. And one of men's desires is woman. Now, I'm not going to be accountable for all men. You have dogs and then you have disciplined men. But rather than, <laughs> but but the but, but but the dog is more of a threat than the disciplined man. So therefore, we're going to take extra precaution. Prevention is better than cure. You understand? And we're just going to cover ourselves for our own protection and for our own modesty as well. Because our beauty, yes, our sort of uh, uh, temple is suckered, and it's and and you have to earn to get the privilege to look at that. Because lusting, a lot of is men. What? This so is it why, is what sacred. sacred. Yeah, sacred. Yeah, sacred. Our, our woman's body, our private parts, and it should only be for somebody that is worthy, not for every man to sit there, look at you. One could be thinking another dirty thing. Another man could be yeah, sitting there fantasizing over your breath. It's sacred, sacred. Bro, you look like, yeah? So what I'm saying is, yeah, people could be sitting there lusting and having all these disgusting thoughts about you. And we, you know, the, 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 Why is the it imagination. Disgusting, though? Why is it disgusting? No, but what I'm saying is, if man is looking at you and you got your, your you breath know, out, good point. Your back point. out. Good point, Khan. No, but hold on. There's, there's sick people out there, bro. This is what I'm saying. You've got the dogs and you've got the disciplined man. You've got the man that will look once and say, all right, cool, I'm going to look away. I don't oh, want to be too in her face. You mean, then you've you got a man from a distance okay. that's sitting there 
thinking all sorts of, you know, weird stuff in his head to the point where that could actually lead, the more that it's on display, <laughs> yeah, man could actually lead to doing something. He can might look at you so much, lust Arab. over you so much to the point where he wants to get some. You understand? Arab. So before we even yeah, get but, to that point, I want to make like, sure I'm protected. If I'm seeing you walk down the road and as you're walking, I'm hearing music like, just in case I don't make it home tonight. And I'm watching you, yeah. That's not, like, not bad, isn't it? That's normal. That's, that's what makes us oh, men. Then. Hold on, wait, wait. This is the same brother that said, don't be watching my fucking daughter. Don't try to... Like, you're you're oh conflicting, God. you're conflicting, brother. Exactly. No, 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 I no, no. Yeah, you are, you are, you are, you are. I'm not conflicting, I'm saying, I see. if what I'm looking at women you? in that way, then I know them when you're looking at my women, you're thinking the same thing, isn't it? Wait, wait, nah, wait, yeah, no. see, what I was going to... You know yeah. what I was gonna say, man. Then I was gonna yeah, say no, basically, yeah. Man, man. You see, desires no, and lust. It's a different thing, you know. Yeah. Desires not a bad thing, you know. Men's <laughs> desires is a bad thing. Desires is not man. a bad thing, you know. Lust is not a bad yeah. thing, you know. Men's lust is a bad thing. Why is men's lust? Oh wait, wait. Why is men's lust? Nah. Men's all men's desires, desires, all in, all in this in this scenario, in this scenario, Jed. To me, lust is a good thing because I, if I lust after a woman, that's me, innit? I, that means I want her, innit? Mm. Like, obviously, if I desire something, that means I want, I des I want it, innit? Yeah. So, that, to me, yeah. that's a good thing. You got what I'm trying to show you? Yeah. It's how you think about it and it's how you proceed to get them things. You get me? That's what's been yeah. twisted. You got what I'm saying? Because, as I said, I'm African people's always been cool in their own skin. They've been good, super good. I never thought of raping nobody or nothing like to do with that. My yeah, people, innit? Not you, bro. Hold on, this is not an, uh, a semi-African you might scenario. Be, you might be romanticizing Africa, though. But yeah. I, no, um, no, definitely, I'm adding yeah, some. I, I was going to say that, friend, because there is a huge rape epidemic uh, in places like Congo, but that's obviously due to. I know. Can I explain? Yeah. No, no, but no, that's no, obviously due right. to. The, the, the civil war and stuff like that but yeah i mean there has been in africa recent times i'm not i don't know what time you're speaking about but yes there has been a very bad rape epidemic in in in, in sub-saharan africa if you can no, research it's it there's been a very okay. bad rape well, how, how, many them, Zubeda, Zubeda, how many of them women that is double facts how many of the women raped when walking around naked that's the question Right. I mean, I doubt it happens anyway, in, in tribes. No, I mean, no, they no, have my, my point, my point, my point, my point, my point, my point is, all right, cool. You're saying that, but we know in Northern Africa, it's rife. And the people we're mentioning are similar to the people in Saudi Arabia in Northern oh, Africa. Yeah, so, back, we've, back, we've left, back, out, we've left In Northern Africa. Why, 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 are you, why, why do you out. always do this, man? Second, why do you always second, sit there second, and try to blame the next man when you're speaking about a specific issue? One at a time. Because this is him. Guys and girls, let me finish, time. man. Walk one. You get me? You don't know Wait. what I'm thinking. You got what I'm saying? Shut your mouth, doo doo. You get me? <laughs> you, you already found out. You already found out your <laughs> technique of dealing with such situations. Instead of wearing a bikini, you wear doo doo. Fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, right, like, right. Like, so now, now we're talking about your men. We're talking about <laughs> Arab men. Yes. Because we're talking about Arab we're men. Arab men. When you were talking, oh, I agree. We're super you know, horny. It's true. Yeah. Thank you, Arab men. Do you get what I'm saying? Arab, 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 Western Arab, men. Arab yes. men and Western men together. Thank yes. You. yes. So, so you're saying black men, African men don't rape. Yeah, they don't no, have these never. horny it's tendencies. Never, they don't have never, these... Listen, listen. Look in history. Yeah. So why never, this, listen, why listen, 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 I think we should be speaking about men in general. Listen, listen, listen. Look in history. There's never been a black man that's ever, ever, ever ever committed rape. Any man that's committed <laughs> rape, yeah, has either been hiding in a black man's suit, yeah, yeah. or... <laughs> It's, it's history. Everyone knows. It. Are you actually that delusional? This is the problem because none of you want to take responsibility, and it's always the next man's fault. It's always that man's fault, but no, man never want to no, look no, at his no, own no, house, man. No, no. Stop being hypocrites, oh man. God. Be consistent, oh. bro. Look at the Congo. Look what happened in the Congo. Have you, ever, have you ever heard of a black man that couldn't just ask for vagina and be given it? <laughs> no, there's big black man that right, bro. This is jokes, no, man. Right. I'm joking. Shit, man. No, Obviously, the, the there's sexual yeah, predators. No, no, no. There's sexual predators Everywhere. and deviants and rapists of every color. Some people even yeah. claimed for it to be yeah. a war tactic. Yeah. Mm. A tactic war. 
Mm. Some some people claim that it's what you do with the spoils. Some people claim, you know, that, like so. Look, I'm not saying rape doesn't exist. If if anyone, the first rapist would have been African. If you believe that all life started there, the first person, nah, hell, that, yeah, hell. the first person <laughs> that took some vagina <laughs> that didn't hold on, the first person yep. that took some vagina that did that didn't give him permission would have been black. If you believe all right. people started in Africa, just stop, no, it, just made, it makes sense. Prove it. Okay, so let's not turn it to a race thing. Let's just specifically discuss. It's got nothing to do with no race. It ain't nothing to do with race. It's about this. It's about men. It's about men in general. It's about sexual attitudes and women towards women. No, no, no. Hold on. Can I finish now? Go on. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, because all I was saying is like what you were talking about, Zabeda. You can only talk about people from your environment and around you. So I agree with what you're saying. Yeah, that people have to wrap up, do you get what I'm saying, to protect themselves, especially in this environment in England, even in Speaker's Corner, as you know. Yeah, you're not you're not free right. from getting touched by some Arab. You get me? But cool. So, Somali, no Somali, but anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're gonna throw it on Somali. Anyway, there's enough Somalis to defend. He was a, he wasn't Somali though. Somali. The guy that came behind cool. me and touched me was a Somali. It is cool. It is cool, right? Because Somalis run Islam, don't they? Oh my God! Right, 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 right. So, no, so no, we're not having a religious debate. Let's not have a religious debate. No, 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 no. I'm just yeah. saying. I just want to go back to Arab, right? okay. as as I said, because yeah. we're talking about northern thing and we're talking about Saudi Arabia in this particular story. Yeah. So it's it depends uh-huh. on where she's coming from, and she's coming from Saudi Arabia, as you said, an oppressive place. You understand? Where people are executed on the daily. Do you get what I'm saying? Women mm. being other parts of that area like um, Afghanistan and all of that they've got stadiums where they're cutting off women's noses yeah and wow. then they're going to have to wear a, 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 a niqab because you ain't got no fucking nose and that's your punishment for doing something you wasn't supposed to do so we know that in that area is pure oppression going on do you get what I'm saying but, 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 but it's nothing Why to do with Islam it's a very misogynistic culture no 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 I wouldn't say that I wouldn't say right, let me hear from Sis, Freddie Go I'm, not, Freddie. I'm not saying that black people are innocent you know I'm just saying we've got much different history and culture when it comes to perversion do you get what I'm saying we never got told to lower our gaze there weren't no special men that came around that said yo you got to do this and do that regarding women we always had the highest respect for them if that makes sense do you know what I'm saying yeah. yep well I, I hear that I hear that yeah, but Freddie, you want to be Arab? Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. There's a lot of black women that they can hold. They can hold their own as well. Like I'm, they're not I'm like. I'm glad you said that they're on. <laughs> Who's gonna say they can hold, hold some dick? I was like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, nah, trust me, man. I, I would never go like black men are the innocent and somewhere the most greatest and this and that. I just can't deny the history of the per- where it comes to perversion. We weren't really into that. We had a queen and a king, innit? it? That's it. That's the fact. <laughs> It's a fact. Right? Okay, but but okay. Well, what about domestic violence then? Yeah, because you know I think all races also contribute to that. You understand the breakdown of 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 the so-called black family. Sometimes that's a discussion that I've had a lot of black people speak about about the the on, man not on. taking so, responsibility. So, 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 so. So hold on, Z. So, well, no, please. Z. So there, is a, there is a pattern. There is a pattern, though. Yeah, and I'm getting yeah. deja vu. Yeah, but there is a pattern. Yeah, of um, there's a pattern of of you. Constantly mentioning sub-Saharan Africans, like like in, in every negative thing you talk about, there's a, there's, a, there's a big pattern. I just want you to, I just want you to like say that you do seem to have a fixation I'm asking on a mentioning question. these things. I'm I know, no problem, question. no problem. Right. I just want you to. I the same, you, the same I way that I'm asked questions about my people, I'm asking, yeah. I'm bringing it back. I just back. want you to and, say. And, and, and I want you to know it's been. I want you to know it's been noted that there is seems to be a consistency. Yeah. Okay, and it's, uh, can you note as well that my people are always being demonized, yeah, to be invaders, to be rapists, to be perverts, to be backwards. Yes, and that's what so I'm at my let's just note let's note that as well, yeah. That's your people. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. When you say your people, are you talking about the um the majority of your DNA? <laughs> yeah, so, 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 so every time, every, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, every time, when I was discussing Algeria, yeah, I'm telling my man that Algerian women used to rob themselves of animal feasties to protect themselves, that's from not rape. even being taken seriously, from rape. And, and it's been, yeah, it's been okay, taken by, by the French, by right. the French, 
yeah. Oh, no, it's French. Previously, we're invaders. Uh, second of all, I'm not really African. I'm just a European. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I so was, I'm posing was... a question. Can 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 people not be so emotional yeah. and even say, you know what? I don't want to answer that question, or we can delve oh, into man. it. Yeah, you. it's a question. All right, let, let's move mm. on. Let's move on. Anyway. But yeah, that, let's, so, so let's move on. Okay, no, so no one asked me no questions oh, what anymore. Was a, what was the question? Sorry. No, I'm you had a, wait, wait, one second. You had a, you had a question. Okay, so no. Fred, so Freddie, so, Freddie was speaking about so, how, 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 how. Be be uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. But wait, 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 when when, oh, when wait, someone said to an Algerian woman and went, "What's that smell?" and they said "links," they didn't. They, they meant. Right, go on, Zubeda. <laughs> Bro, whoever said that can go suck on sign. But anyway, what I'm saying is, Fred Cole was speaking about um black men respecting their women and 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 their their queens and 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 yes, I I agree. But at the same time, we was also going back to perversion and within the Middle East or Asia, there is this perversion culture. Yes, right. but I'm also asking about what about in the black culture, yes, because I've heard black people themselves speak about domestic violence, the black man not stepping up to the plate, neglecting his family duties. So on one hand, yes, the black man do treat their women as queens and they give them respect, but on the other hand, there's also an issue. The That's same way... That's black people in the Western world. That's black That's people in the Western world. world. Trust me, let me take you to the Caribbean. Let me take you to the Caribbean yeah, right. and then you'll find out about who's neglecting what. Man's yeah. got eight kids and he's looking after all of them, takes them all to school. Mm-hmm. Like that's in that's in, in that's in London, isn't it? Or Paris or one of them places, isn't it? Full back, <laughs> full back, full back's a baby. Okay, anyway, I can respect his answer. I can respect his answer, answer because he actually answered it, and well, I can like, I can slightly accept that. What I would say is this: yeah, um, that if you if one we're talking about the woman that that discarded her niqab, um, went to went to Canada and put on um, uh, uh, a swimsuit. So we were talking about the modesty of the swimsuit and whether. We thought it was a good thing or a bad thing. We was kind of arguing around that point. Um, mm. Whatever perversion was brought up about the Arabs and the Asians, that's something separate, yeah? But it's still linked to that conversation. You talk about domestic abuse or or neglect of children, it's something it's totally so different. Hard. That's not even sexually oriented. Yeah, but obviously the conversation's so, gone everywhere, you know what yeah, I mean? Okay, cool. So anyway, but bigger, I want you to stay around. I want to move to the next story and find out what you <laughs> got view is on this. Because I did want to move on. I didn't want to stay too long on that story, yeah? Um, in fact, you came on at the tail end of that convo, so we kind of prolonged it so that you could have your say. Um, but yeah, mum, I did All ask. Right, thank you. I appreciate All right. it. So here we go. Here go. No, you Dad were. fuming, I'm trying not to show this picture. Dad fuming at baby's toy that looks like a big pink penis. Yeah. Open black dad. Here it is. <laughs> 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 what? What? <laughs> what what do you not think? I mean, uh... some men are triggered by these type of stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, so like... what, what, what do you think? In, um, accidental? <clears throat> yo uh, yo, Khalid, Khalid. Yeah. I don't understand what your problem no, is. No 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 no. Khalid's not here. Khalid's not here. No, no, no. He is in the comment section. Not here. Come back with that, please. This is not about this. is not about the comment section right now. Please, and and I know I do it too, but I just started a new story. Find this fucking you. Yeah, well, okay, you can you find said him. Somali. Somali. Oh, yo, family, please, can we like stick with which yeah. the direction we're going in? If you want, if you don't want to argue about this, fair dudes, but let's not go backwards. We can deal with Khan mm. or whatever later, or Khan could jump on and back it for himself. But you chatting to someone in the comments while we're starting a new story ain't gonna work because we're just trying to move in the same direction. But yeah, man, Khan, if you want to come Mine on, is, um, Mine, Khalid, 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 sorry, yeah, sorry, my it's Khan, it's Khan. All right, Carly, oh. if you want to... All right, so anyway. Anyway. All right, we've right, we got the giggles. Wait, gents, I reckon... You know what I reckon on this one, fam? Yeah. The fucking you, them have been getting been getting a harsh, hard done by for a little while, you know, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously where these people are like, they're fully perverted, isn't it? Like, that's all yeah. they really care about, isn't it? They want to push it onto the you, them, the Barbie, the Disney, the princess shit. The makeup every ten seconds. Mm, and, mm, mm, mm. You know, what I mean, this is just another way to have a laugh at the kids, isn't it? I can't. Do, do, you, think, do you think this is accidental or or? or no or, way, fam. You know that's not ex- no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> they made this toy. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, though? Is it is it us just seeing what we what we? Is it us projecting? 
Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, so hold on, hold on. I, I, uh, maybe you need to read the story again. Yeah, let me read the story. Yeah, yeah. Even... Oh, no, my thing ain't got green spirals growing up. No, the I hear that. But <laughs> he oh, probably I... saw his baby holding that shit upside down, <laughs> but, like, <laughs> with the wings, and was like, yo, what the fuck is it? Yo, this what, is a holding boy. up to her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Stop, man. Stop. <laughs> no, because you know why, yeah? You know why? You know why, yeah? Like a why? microphone. You know what? You know why, yeah? Why does the tip look like that? Explain that to me. You see what That's I'm a saying? Muslim tip. It's got a Muslim tip. It comes with two tips, interchangeable. Yo. Yeah, yeah. It's cause it's cause they got the colours on it. It's a disguise, but we know exactly what it is. If that was brown or that was all brown, or it was all one colour, we'd know. You know what I'm saying, fam? <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna lie, man. Go, I mean, yeah. it's a bit mad. It's a bit mad. Uh, a yeah. dad <laughs> said he was left fuming after he realized his baby's new teething toy. Oh my fucking! <laughs> oh, told God. you. Stop. Told you. Oh my God! His baby. <coughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, a dad was left fuming after he realized his baby's new teething toy looks like something rather rude. Dean Flight, 31, didn't think twice about giving his six-month-old daughter, Harley, her new butterfly toy to play with. But it was when she turned it upside down and began teaming with it that he saw what it resembled. He told Me This is a real story. Like He told Metro.co.uk she was playing with it when we first gave it to her. As I turned around to see her, she had it upside down. Both her hands had folded the wings around like I showed in a photo and she was sucking on the smaller end. I was fuming. Yeah. As soon as we realised, we took it straight off her. The new dad from Kent said the toy is part of the Playgrow TV pack, which was given to Harley as a present. He suggested the toy makers intentionally made it look like a penis as some kind of joke. Who um, mm. gave it to her as a present? Uncle Jonathan? Oh, stop. <laughs> Stop. Uncle, Uncle Jonathan, the de the doctor. Okay. You are you are on point today with the banter, boy. But I mean, I want to see the uh, the rest of the story just to see like if they've commented or if anyone agrees. I mean, press one if you if you agree that that was intentional. Press one if you agree the toy makers or the designer behind that was having a good old fucking laugh. Let me know if you what you lot think. Um, I'm not sure. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this, but it's not. Come on, man. It's just frozen. Why is this thing doing this, man? Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, we could discuss so far. I'll see if there's any more to read on it. But um, yeah. Press one, guys, if you got, if you don't think that this was intentional or if you think it was an accident. No one thinks it's intentional. One person thinks it's intentional. No one thinks it's intentional so yeah, far. Yeah, I think it was an accident, man. Those it's toys, an accident. Yeah, those toys was real similar, man. Oh, no. I can't explain why they made the bottom of that toy into that shape. So I'm going to say one. Yeah, because why does the bottom of it, why is the bottom of it that like bell shape? What was that representing? Remember, it's supposed to be a butterfly. A bee, a bee uh, with the pollen. What? Or the uh, butterfly. It was a butterfly or some shit. Yeah, so why the is the bottom? It's the pollen. The, the pollen, pollen, pollen made them do what? it. How? What are you talking about, man? <laughs> pollen. Pollen. Nah, pollen. Man, nah, you, pollen. Look, you look sound like a pollagist. A pollagist. A pollagist. Bro, that, bro, that is just a sick fucking joke, bro. We know how these people get down, bro. Mm, That's yeah. just a sick fucking joke. Ah, let's have a laugh. We put that out. It passed. Ah, it passed the product test. Ah, fuck it. You know how these people Ex are, man. Exactly fuck what them. happened. That is exactly what happened. He said, he said, the pack has a big butterfly, which is fine from any angle. Some of the little plastic hard ones and the little butterfly. When you hold the little butterfly upside down, it looks quite rude. If it was just one color without the straps separating the three parts, Without the stripes or the straps separating the three parts, then maybe it would look less like it. But it's the fact that in three separate sections, it almost looks like it's the bull's shaft and the end. It feels like it was an entire joke. 
The Playgirl TV pack is sold on several online stars in stores, including Amazon, the toy shop, and the early learning center. All the online retailers have declined to comment. Playgirl has not yet responded to requests to comment. Mm. Maybe so someone should... definitely got stacked. Someone definitely yeah, got stacked. Maybe they, they need to redesign that, man. Mm. Maybe they need to redesign that. I don't know, man. I or think maybe... Freddy's right, man. That's what Jupiter calls dark humor. That's what that dark humor is. Yeah, it's not, yeah. it's not trying to like, demonize like, humor. Not all humor's like that, but it's fucked. No, but but Jed, you know what they was doing? They was drawing a penis first and then putting goofy underneath it. Like let like let's do yeah, some yeah, fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. some yeah. He, like hideous shit. You get me? And laugh at the kids. We know, but no one else knows. Ha 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 ha. We're gonna subliminally teach them how to fucking I don't know ride a dick yeah. or whatever. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That means that those Disney toys must be fucked then. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You can't buy no Disney toy because we already know. We what know the how they how the animation stuff. <laughs> it's fucked still. That's how a butterfly is supposedly looks these days. Well, I took I took my daughter to the cinema to watch Frozen, fam. The fucking mm. whole fucking cartoon. Everyone's got makeup on, fam. <laughs> I'm thinking, what, what the fuck, going on? Why has she got eyeliner? <laughs> Mm. She's in a forest, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true, though. What's in the forest with eye? It's know. true. A blusher, blusher on the cheeks and that. <laughs> Freddie, you're rated, man. You're a good dad, you know. Yeah, I would no, never I'm be swear, seen. Man. I would never be you're seen in a... Well, I was, I was scared, you're man. You're even the little girls had it. Even the little girls in the movie had it. Like, I was thinking, nah, man, this is wrong, bro. She's going to mm. want to put things on her eyes in a minute. Like mm. off the back of this. Do you get what I'm trying to show you? Yeah. It's dumb, man. It's crazy still. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, no one else no one else saw what we saw. No one else saw what we saw in the chat still. So we are, we are, alone, we are alone with that suspicion there still. <laughs> we are, you know I mean? Yeah, we're that's because they don't know about dark humour. Uh, yeah, Teevin, Teevin dummy as well. At that, what, no. what's my lead is warring in the chats? Somali speaker. I fucked up the Somali who tried to touch the reader. He slipped in my hand from the way I was beating him and left the part bleeding. Is that true? We got my lead. Is that Wally true, Zabeda? I don't even know about that. Man. Yeah, no, nah, honestly, I like, I don't want to turn into nothing, but this Khalid guy, like, we see him in the park all the time. It's never an issue. But on the internet, for the last three days, he's been attacking me, calling Woody the belly dancer, calling me this, calling me that, calling me this. And I think he's more upset that it's a Somali guy that touched a Muslim sister rather than actually focusing on the fact that a Muslim sister was touched. Do you understand? Mm. And this is the thing about nationalism, bruv. Nothing against Somalis. You understand? But the guy's touched me in an appropriate way. So you, you know what? Please, please, sis. Him, don't make it about the race. About, Just oh, make it about the brother. What do you mean we're coming for Somalis? Nah, you, you're, killing yourself, yeah. Yeah. you're killing yourself, sis, no, man. You're killing yourself. That's what you say. What's Somalian got to do with no, anything? No, if he's making a comment, what's Somalian got to do with anything? That's what she's saying. She's saying it's not to do with Somalis. It's just to do with someone touched a sister. He just, he, she just let it be known it was a Somali dude that cut, and then my man touched, kept yeah. the feelings because, oh, 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 because oh, he's oh, really Somali. Oh. So yeah, she's kind of agreeing. She was bringing up some Somali argument. I was going to say that's no, dumb, okay, man. no, it's not even that. I don't care what he was. You understand? That's not even my issue. Yeah, but the mm -hmm. thing is, this Khalid guy, I see him in the park. Yeah, he actually called me one time, ranting and raving and crying about. How his own Somali brothers were disrespecting him. And I actually came on, I stuck up for this prayer. I heard him out. It was like three in the morning, man's ranting and raving. It was sad. I don't know what state of mind he was in, but yeah. And I listened to the brother. I gave the brother some advice. You understand? Just on Sunday, he couldn't believe the belly dancer. But when he saw Waleed, he's like, Wella, Wella, my brother, Waleed. Fuck, I hate fake people, man. Yeah. Then in the chats being bare abusive uh, even yesterday, fam. Zubeda, shut the fuck up and this and that. And you're Arab and Zayda, no, but, and you're Benny Dawson. Zubeda, let's be... What's wrong with you, fam? If you don't like me, you want to be a lot of people. I'd rather if someone don't like me... Dancing, dancing, dancing. Dancing's normal for us. I don't like people in one face, they nice, one face... Wait, Zubeda, 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 Zubeda. 
Just yeah. relax. Zabena, then, unless you got, yeah, unless you got, unless you got boxing training or you got some type of man strength, just leave it to Walid, in it. Mm. Trust me, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Unless you got, have you got boxing training? Mother. It's not about boxing huh? training. Actually, it's not even a fight. Have you got you know, man like, strength? Have, have you got man fight. strength? You know? Have you got man strength? Have you got man strength? <laughs> I have my own strength. I have what I have. No, you know? we'll leave you it then. Leave it. Just, I, 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 I if if he's calling Walid a belly, a belly dancer, Walid should be able to defend it, man. Come on, sis, man. Don't get him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Walid's got nothing to do with this. He's, he's no, but I'm saying he's he's big enough to defend himself, though, isn't it? It's two men going at it, isn't it? I don't want to get Walid involved. But they come as a couple. you got to understand that. They come as a couple, isn't it? They're a couple, so... You know what I mean? If, I know. I know they come. I know they come as a couple. But I'm just saying, though, if, if she jumps on every single thing, you get me? It don't look... It, it's, well, you're going to get unstuck no, no, one day. I, I, I you get what I'm saying, saying sis? It's, it's, I don't want to see I that, obviously. Guy. I've seen him. He's not a troll, G. He's not somebody that's on the net. I've, I've seen him. The other day, you were showing me love. And I, and I know if I come past Sunday, I'm probably going to see him again. And he's going to make things worse. Yeah. Because we left off on a good note. Now you're trying to start something out of the blue. I'm very shocked by the way he's been speaking to me. I don't know what I've done to this girl for him to be so disrespectful after I actually went out my way to speak uh, FDK's, to you, man. It's yeah? FDK's, man. And speak up to you. I swear some of these people are bipolar for different weight. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, but just you know don't give it your energy, now. though. Don't give it all yeah, your yeah, energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm sorry, well, guys. Really, what you need to do is just not say anyway. nothing. Khalid, if you have an issue, you have my handouts where you called me last time. don't go nowhere, man. Don't go nowhere. I'll leave you alone. Zubida, don't go nowhere, man. Where are you going, man? I want to talk to you. No, Listen to what I'm saying. You're going about it all wrong, yeah, because you're telegraphing to him what you're going to do next. Don't do nothing. Don't show him nothing. And next time he comes up to you giving it all, ha, 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 hi, that's when you just turn your face and go, do you know what, bro? Don't even chat to me. And then you'll feel it more because you won't see it coming. Facts. Facts. So why get emotional get now me. about it? Wait till he comes to you, isn't it? One minute, card. One minute, card. Know, she likes to all wait. Hey, Max, Max, I yeah. want to know why she always likes to drink the fucking thing when it's hot. Make it cool on yeah. the mind. Yeah. Exactly. You, got, you can't. You don't have to strike right away. You know. You know you're gonna strike mm. in your mind. You just do it, in it. Like, come this on, is man. How get, this is how people get FTK. She's still young. She's people, still young. You know what it is. You know what it is. When you FTK people, people jump on whatever side they think. You know what I mean? Like, and then mm. they take up certain things that are said in the comments. You know what I mean? And then everybody runs with it. I might make a joke, and then it's like everlasting. Um, unfortunately, these are the things we do. You know I me mean? when we're running jokes sometimes and da, da, da. but sometimes they can have a, a long lasting effect. Do you get what I'm saying? Because people take them up in the comment section and then they start yeah. abusing you. And abusing no, you. But no, no one takes up my do, jokes though. I get upset about no, that. The thing to do, the thing to do is not get triggered by the comment section, otherwise you'll be there all day. And then we can't yeah. focus on what we're here for. Don't feed the trolls. Okay, yeah, so I'll be anyway, yeah. no problem. No yeah, problem. Don't problem. worry, man. Tobeda, man. It's not it's not a big deal. No. If anyone has an opinion, yeah, they have man. an opinion. Just like you do. You have an opinion on things. It's just that you can come no, and voice it. It's not even opinion though, it's like straight personal attack, like as if I actually done something to you. Like I don't mind, I'm open to disagree with my view, you let's are, debate it, are. let's talk about it. But once you want to start being like disrespectful and rude. For no reason, after I haven't even done anything to you, I'm sitting here thinking, Am I do I look like do I have mug on my head? Do I, do I have victim on my head? Don't disrespect me. I hate, you. I hate when I'm being nice yes. to people, I actually go out my way for people, and then in the end, they throw it in my face and they're just mad disrespectful. Like, Harley, deep it in your head. Have yeah, I actually done anything? It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. It's called being black. It's called being black. Just get over it, man. Don't worry. You get me? Just get over it, sis, man. Yeah. Okay, people follow us, follow us. Sorry, guys. Yeah, Sorry. I don't want to yeah, talk about this. We help you look after and think. Yeah, they turn on us. Yeah, it happens, man. Oh, oh. Hey, we got a real miscarriage of justice coming up next year. I think. Oh. <laughs> a real miscarriage of justice, man. Don't say about you women, man. You're always talking about your problems here, yeah, but you don't care about us, man. Them. You don't care about okay, let's, let's, let's this. Let's you don't care about the things we go through, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I bet this woman was Arab as well. Joking, joking, joking. I'm just, I'm just, it's just joke. Oh, too soon, too soon, too I, I soon. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I just said, I just said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>
How many how many people's in it? What in the chat? Uh, yeah, I mean in the, in the yeah no in the in the on the on the YouTube. Um, hundred and fifty, I bet. Hundred and fifty, and we got sixty-eight subscribe. Uh, what likes? Nice. Nah, oh, nah, nah, nah. Sort that out. Sort that out. On, we ain't talking no more until we get to oh, hundred. Wait a sec. Right, oh, it, man. For two, because I always forget as well. You know, make sure you do oh, that, man. Oh, like it, man. Oh, why, why, why are you not doing me like that, man? It's you know, say, man, come on, man. And you're blatantly enjoying the thing. I know. <laughs> I just yeah. thinking for a second, like, hold on, how many people's in it? Because I'm not sure. I can't see from where I am. You get me? It seems to be having a whale of a time. But yeah, just hit the like button before I come on. That's the first thing I do. Uh, bam. I hit the like button yeah. and then I go to the to the to the link and then jump on. It's like it's just. Normal now. Con. Come this on, people. A... Oh, what happened to your other account, Con? Okay. One of them died. I think he's first there. One second, Con. Boom. Oh, sorry about that, man. Thank uh, you. Um, all right. Anyway, so check this story now, yeah? Women. Yeah? Sex assaulted victim. Says drunk mum who groped him on plane avoided jail as she's a woman. Fuck yeah, no. It brings a tear to my eye what the man them have to deal with, you know. Is this her? Is that her face? Let's see it. Yeah, wait, well, this bitch is cheeky. How did Jupiter's sister get on? on what? <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> put you got a system as well, you know? Fake. Young Jupes. Oh, my <laughs> God. A.K.A. Young Jupes. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, my. <laughs> mm -mm. I mean, so cheeky in this with the man. I think of her. Fuck it, Shlil. Fuck it, Shlil. Single dad has yeah, been yeah, right to anonymity to slam the letter of prison center from a woman who sexually assaulted him. Gary Kirby, 31, was flying to Turkey with son Connor, 10, when he was Fuck's he sake. was groped repeatedly by fellow passenger Louise White, 38, who pulled down her Could trousers and knickers and tried to perform all... What? On a flight? Oh, my God! No, oh, my I, God! Whenever okay. I get on a plane, yeah, I'm fucking bored, bored as fuck on a plane. And other people getting on a plane, they're finding straps... And Find yeah. the ex prime minister's passport. Women are pulling their knickers and and stuff down, trying to give force head on them. What the mm -hmm. hell? What airline was it flying on, man? All right, cool. that sounds oh. like first class, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so what? Uh, woman is thirty eight. Can you believe it? She does not look. Yeah, look at her face. That's oh, economy in <laughs> first class. Oh, my God, she's wearing a, 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 a court vest. Do you know that? <laughs> Go to court, you wear your best clothes. Okay. <laughs> South London's finest. Everything. A from dress, London, a jumper. Even from London, I guarantee you. Right? Um, She's wearing a blazer, a jumper, a hoodie. All, all of it. Elton's Elt Elt finest. <laughs> um, my fellow passenger, Louise White. Oh, typical name, Ooh. eh? 38. Who pulled down her trousers and knickers and tried to perform all sex on him. In front of his 10-year-old, she was wow. given a six-month suspended... Sentence. Despite a court hearing, she became so abusive that TUI staff put her on the next flight home. Wow. Chewy, that's um, old. Oh, Tommy, right? I look at this guy. Oh, uh, he's milking it. Where right? Mr. Kirby oh, said man. he first met White in the terminal at Manchester Airport when she mm. offered to call her phone. When he offered to call her phone that she had lost in a duty free shop, he thought she might be under the influence of something at the airport. Despite having her daughter with her, but could tell she was not in control of her faculties within 15 minutes of the 45 minutes of the flight. Why have you gonna put your son on the fucking why do people love putting their son on fucking Come on. extra sympathy? He's looking compensation. Yeah, he's looking a P. Uh, like he's looking <laughs> <a> P. <laughs> I can just say though, yeah, if you see how our attitude has changed. Mm. Yeah? We're all now busting jokes about this. This is all funny now, yeah. If this is a woman that has been groped. And a man had pulled his dick out and blah, blah, blah. Beta would have been going bananas right now. She would have been foaming at the mouth. 
talking about. Don't mention bananas. Not not round Afghan. Uh, <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. Now she's laughing it up, man. She's not taking it seriously. Um, Gary Kirby was flying to Turkey with his son. Blah blah blah. He said she put her hand on my leg, and I had to take it off on no less than five occasions. Yeah. There's no way anyone could be doing that when you tell them to stop. Anyone should be doing that when you tell them to stop time and time again. Mr. Kirby said, White took her jacket off and said, I'll give you a blowjob. So just the jacket would give her cover and no one... Oh! <laughs> said, you must have pushed her back in her seat 10 times and told her, you need to stop behaving like this. He added, you can't put the embarrassment into words. You've got six people in front of you, six behind you, and four either side. What? Six people in front of you? Six people behind you? What plane was he on? Someone's dildo's going off. <laughs> Take it off the charger. Take it off the charger. It's going to blow up. <laughs> Yo! Whose dildo is that? Wow, that's a loud one, boy. Still do alarm. Born rich. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's born rich. All right, yeah. Um, yeah, so he says, yeah. She's offering head. No, he said, yeah. You've got six people in front of you. Mm. Six people behind you. Mm. And four either side of you. What fucking plane is he on? So, I don't know, but it sounds like it's six in front, six behind, and then there are two in the middle. They've got two on one side, two on the other. So there's six on their row as well. A row of six? Well, maybe you just said Yeah, six. three rows, Jed. Three rows of two, and they're in the middle. Six people in front of you. That whole... What well, he's talking about, the... Okay, all right, maybe I'm getting it now. Maybe I'm getting it. All right, cool. Can I say, I mean, um, there, there was also another case uh, about Katy Perry, the female artist, who I think uh, this guy worked very closely with her. He's either a makeup artist or, or somebody amongst her team anyway, and he recently came out and spoke about the sexual abuse that she was giving to him, the sexual assault. I mean, he described an encounter where... Wasn't it Lady Gaga? No, Katy Perry, Katy Perry. No, no, Katy Perry. I remember. And uh, yeah, he was saying how she embarrassed him publicly and she pulled down his trousers and revealed his private parts. And, you know, she was saying, oh, uh, and he didn't like it. And she kind of mocked him and said, but are you gay, though? And, it, and it, it, it seemed like it was a normalizing thing because it's a woman and she's just flirting. But he, he was clearly affected by that. Oh. And he said, you know, this woman was invading my privacy and my private parts and humiliating me. And yeah, I think there's not enough... Um, you know, like outrage. when it comes to women, outrage. To, yeah, to, outrage. yeah, exactly. Not enough outrage when it comes to women disrespecting or sexually assaulting other men. <laughs> even, even, yeah. up, up, even with lesbians as well. There's been like a, you know, that um artist that should it be jailable? Should she go to jail for it? Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. Right. And this would never I mean, happen was, was in Saudi Arabia ever. I've never had anybody been able to pull my trousers down. So I don't know what, <laughs> you know what belts they wear or what's that. But like, I don't see how all these people are getting their trousers pulled down. Like, <laughs> what are you <laughs> What are you... Like, belt, up, guys, belt up, belt up, guys. He, he, he said, yeah, he said, yeah, Jedi. And then he switched his mind up, man. He said, nah, fuck it. Can't be asked. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's, it's sad, yeah, that I can't take any of these allegations seriously. There's something really wrong with me because I just don't, can't take a man barling rape from a woman or whatever. I just can't take it seriously. And I know it does happen. Mm. But that shows how biased I am and how how um, I'm not... Conditioned. Yeah, I'm You're con conditioned. It can happen yeah, to you, Jedi. True. The woman might, might drug you up. You know that film, Obsessed, yeah? When the white woman goes, it just Elba, she will drug you up Who's and down. Have you Who's in that? obsessed? It's it just Elba, Beyonce, the black couple, and this white oh. woman is obsessed with Elba, and yeah, but she's trying to speak with it just Elba, 
and she ends up drugging him up and that. And Idris was a big guy, you know. But it can happen. She could drug you up. You don't. You're that's it. You're intoxicated, tied to the bed. You understand? And do what the hell she wants with you. The same way that guy, that Thailand guy, or that guy from Singapore raped all those men, got them drunk and mm. done whatever the hell he wanted to do with their body. Mm. Mm -mm. Men, man. There's women out there that want you like just for your body, and they'll do whatever. It takes. <laughs> they'll do whatever it takes. To do that. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. No, it's true, yeah, man. That's fact, it's true. You like walking around in them little shorts and that. You know what I mean? Them little top man shorts and that. It's not helping. And you lot in your grey tracksuit. Asking for it. They're your, fucking asking for it. In your grey tracksuit bottoms and that. Like, you get me? You mm. need to be like, because there's women out here that are fiends. Yeah, North African, especially in Saharan Africa. The little flash can You like a silly, man. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold it down. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what she said. Hold it down. We're in the teeth. Oh shit! <laughs> you lot, you lot need to like, you know, find uh, yourself a queen, settle down, you know. Mind, isn't it? Would do of the mind. Uh, um, if it was a fella doing that, he wouldn't be spared jail. Are you telling me if I was on a plane and I started moving my outer, removing my outer clothing and tried to have sex with someone, I'd be spared jail? No way, pal. Mr. Kirby from Merseyside said it ruined his holiday with his son. He said, yeah. the, effect, <laughs> the effect on my lad was absolutely disgusting. My lad's birthday was two days later. Yeah, I mean, in front of your youth, yeah, yeah, I hear that. Your youth ain't going to be feeling it. But I mean, what though? A 10 year old boy, like, I don't know, man. No, I'm not. I'm gonna. Oh, Jedi, terrible. would you let that sort of woman do what she done to this guy to you? What? Because I, I think it's very preference. If she was a good-looking woman, certain man would have been like, "Yeah, no problem." But because yeah, maybe definitely. she's not his type, he didn't like it. Maybe yeah. that could be said for a woman, though, right? You don't let you don't let people. Yes, it yes, yes. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Man, but if it was a nip type of man touching your bum, you might like it. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. We should probably not use that argument um, because it seems that we're, we're now putting some onus on... No, no, but I'm just, say but I'm just saying to you that... The, 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 yeah, but this argument could be both used for both sides. Do you yeah, understand? Yeah. So I'm saying to you now, because you're saying you can't understand it, I'm a big man, da, da, da. So if the woman, this woman, this picture, this lady came to you and started doing all that, what would your response be? Honestly, I would be cracking up. I'd be cracking up. <laughs> you know me. I'd be trying to be I'd be trying to be serious and my stomach would be hurting from the laughter. And I think my 10-year-old son would probably have similar um humor to mine, would be like, oh my god. He'd tell his friend, it'd be a story he never forgot. Oh my god, there was one time I was on a play with my dad, and this woman was talking about she wants to give him a blowjob. Like it'd be mad. Like, but obviously, this guy's trying to get his compo. Um, I don't blame him. For me personally. If I was into going to the police and all that, I'd try to get some compo too. He's trying to get some comp compensation, say he's psychologically injured and psychologically damaged. They're going to pay mm -hmm. him out of in the, in, in the interest of being fair, he's going to get a couple jibs. Yeah, He probably got paid to put this um, story in the paper already. He's going to clean up a little bit of money. And it is what it is. For the man them cops are the op. So for the fact that you try to get her, <coughs> I don't really know about that. But I do find it serious when 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 it's a man trying to do these type of behaviors to women. So it's just it's just not balanced, and I think we just need to own up to yeah, the fact yeah. that society. I don't not really. Deep, and there's parts. I don't really agree with you. I think you got extremely westernized nah, you hit view the of things. In the head, Jeds, man. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. It's just not equal out here, bro. I just don't see it as equal. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. It's not the same, bro. You know. Yeah, but women shouldn't be touching men in that way. What if the man's married? You understand? What if he's got a girl? Like, who are you to go around invading people's privacy like that? Yeah. I don't hey, agree. Hey, what hey, if it was a man? Hey, hey, what if it's a gay hey, man doing hey, that to a man? Hey, I'm knocking man out. Betty, P Betty Pinch my body. There you go. I'm not King Gold, you know, who got the back of his head pulled in for a kid. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that's a long story. But anyway, King Gold. <laughs> Just long story. Let's just allow King Gold, yeah? But, um, yeah, Betty <laughs> Pinch. He don't mind. And, and what did I do? Himself. I didn't want Betty to touch me physically in any way, shape, or form. 
No. Was I a little bit horrified? Yes. Did I turn around and kind of, kind of laugh and then move off? Yeah. Was the laugh genuine? A little bit of a nervous laugh, a little bit of a... In my head, I was thinking, if I'm honest with you, I was thinking, this fucking bitch, yeah, she's off her fucking rocker. She's come all the way down to where I'm, I'm hosting an event. She's shown up. She's fucking staring at me, keeps trying to chat to me. She's got lipstick all over her teeth. She looks fucking barmy, yeah? I'm standing there. She's right, come on, come on, man. She looked fucking loops, bruv. She looked loop. Betty looked loops that day, yeah? She actually looked like, like she was out of it. She come up behind me, yeah? And she squeezed my ass after accusing some of my friends of being rapists and rare, 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 and all this bullshit that she come out on the internet. You sexually assault me. And you know, because I'm Jedi, I ain't going to do shit about it. Now, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm just going to be like, yeah. <laughs> I move off because I felt, I felt, Away all around her. I moved away mm. in it. Every time I saw her, mm. she was like, Oh, Jedi, one minute. And I'd just be trying to just dust her. Because one thing is I don't want to shout, I don't want to do nothing where you're gonna create some scene. Next thing you know, oh Jedi tried to attack me. I see what happened when she went to me. Excuse Maku of trying to attack her. When I, when Maku were trying to do shit, Maku was telling her about herself. All of a sudden, people trying to physically attack her. So when you deal with people, sometimes you don't react in the ways that you thought you would, in it, or that you maybe you should. Maybe I should have stood there. I mean, like, what the fuck are you doing? Rare, rare, rare. But I didn't want the confrontation. Yeah, but that would have made the scene and, and exposed it even more. Exactly. It was more shameful. I was working. So I, I turned around. I kind of laughed. And I kept it moving. I think I was even filming. Mm. I was like, oh, my fucking God. Betty's just pitched my fucking bum, like, for real. Mm. Like, but, you know, well, like, yeah, yeah, draw yeah. a line between that and someone getting out their taco and going, eat it. That's a massive difference still, isn't it? You're a proper freak. Like, it's the same ballpark, but no, you get me? no, it ain't. What do you mean? Like we're talking about the same subject, but from one extreme to the other end, like it's yeah, like it's there well, is. What? That's not even a violation. If you get your vagina out and you ask me to eat your pussy, you're not violating me. You ain't touched really. Me. You ain't touched me. You ain't. What, what are you violating? You got your pussy out. I got to see your pussy. Yep. Like, and now you say eat it. I'm like, are you? Are you? Do you know what I mean? Laugh it. Laugh it off. I move. I keep it moving. You ain't touch me. Now, if I wake up and you're, I wake up and you're naked and you've got your vagina over my face, then you're gonna get mm. a dragon punch. No, you're on a plane <laughs> with a ten year old child, and, you're, and, and your punch. child is like, "Oh, daddy, yeah. that woman's vagina was beat up." What? 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 Say that. If I'm, if I'm on a plane, Let's say you're on the plane and that she... old trout got a pussy out in front of your son, <laughs> and he's scarred for life. Thinking, wow, that pussy was big enough to swallow swallow me whole. Your son, of mine, your son of mine is going to be scarred for life from seeing a vagina of a woman. <laughs> trying to actively have sex with, with his father. He's just going to be like, wow, like there's women out there like that. That's nuts. And we're going to have a. It's a good conversation starter for me and my son. Mm. Have, so you be so you be saying, son, you came out of one of them. Yeah, he know he wouldn't. He would. He's ten. He's ten years old enough. Mm. You know. The ten-year-old is probably going to be like, "What?" Like he's not going to stop talking about it. Me and him's going to have jokes for the next twenty years about that. We're going to have some words for it. So it's going to be banter. It's not going to be scarred. Mm. I don't know all this scarred talk, but then maybe if he's unsheltered, then you know, if this guy is genuinely shook up by it, like he's saying it is, mm -hmm. then um, no, because that like, I've got two sons in it, and one of them I agree with you hundred percent what you're saying. The other one, he's a little bit shy. You can't mention sex around him. He gets like all funny about it, and he's the horny one. He just... That's the horny one. <laughs> yeah, you know what he was like? Yeah, girl. Yeah, ah, ah, girl. I don't want to look. Oh, they're kissing. They're kissing on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the horny one. That's the one that's gonna gonna have the healthy sex rather than that. Let's mm. pretend. Uh, uh, uh. You know what I mean? So it's the girl that says, yeah. "Oh, I hate this. I hate boys." You know what I mean? Mm. They're never gonna introduce you to a boy. They're never gonna get me. Or just they went from hating boys, hating boys to not talking about boys ever. Mm. You would be like, "Wow, what's going on here?" I mean, the ones with the attitude are, are more open to talking about it and whatever. But yeah, I mean, oh, big up Akingo is in the chat. Yeah, Akingo, big up Kingo, man. Yeah, um, people was asking about your gate. I mean, yeah, Kingo, I would like to hear your take on this headline. Do you think it's fair that women can do this and men can't? What do you think? I think Akingo would have a unique perspective on this. 
All right. Would we admit that there's female privilege? I think so. Got. I mean, I I'll tell you a lot of story, yeah, but I hope nobody judges me and takes this out of context, yeah. But no, I'm about... no, tell it, tell it, tell it. No, okay, no, but obviously, I know people with their dirty minds, but I have about. <coughs> <coughs> I'm 22 now, yeah, so I was about, what, 18? So about four years ago, yeah, the first ever time I entered a club, in it, like, stuff for Lauren, yeah, but anyway, I was in a club, yeah, and I was there chilling, doing me, whatever, and then this grown-ass woman, yeah, this, this, uh, we're not going to talk about race before people start saying, ooh, but yeah, this woman, this grown-ass woman, for some reason, she came up to me and she goes, oh my God, you're so pretty and, you know, where are you from and stuff like that. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I was conversating with her and then she like, she started to try to dance with me, yeah, so you know what well, I mean? Like, let me ask a question, right, bear in mind, let me ask a question and bear in mind, last time I got into a lot of trouble for asking the same question, was she white? No, she wasn't. Oh, okay. She wasn't Carry white. On. Yeah, Carry on. so... Anyway, this woman's danced with me, whatever. And in this club, yeah, you got like this, like, like a lounging area, this sofa area where people just mm -hmm. chill. Next thing you know, she's dancing with me. She's getting close to me. And then she pushes me onto the sofa, gets on top of me and starts literally trying to kiss me, bruv. And I had to just like swing her all the way back. I said, yo, calm the fuck. Like, what are you doing, fam? Yeah. You understand? So there are women out there, even as girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We can be sexually assaulted by other like, women. Yeah, you understand? but I feel like that's different. Because I feel like it's not about who the uh, who the attacker is; it's about who the victim is. So we more sympathetic. I'm sympathetic to you already from hearing a woman trying to sexually assault you or trying to attack you in that way, that because you are female. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, or the onus is already on sympathy and naturally wanting to protect you from that scenario. But it's like when it's a dude, it's like we don't like. No one wants to hear about a dude getting beaten up by his partner. No one wants to hear about a dude getting raped. Nobody wants to hear about a dude getting molested. Oh, she grabbed my bum. Oh, she grabbed my dick. Yeah. Even even down to the fact of when, <clears throat> when my hair was pulled in Speaker's Corner. Yeah. yeah I was going to bring that up. So. People to this day are just like, oh, Roger, that's complaining about getting his hair pulled. But it's like, we just don't care about assault on men. We just don't care like that. It's not fair. Yeah. Like, life is not fair like that. We just don't care. I don't know why. I don't know who made that up. Well, I don't know if you heard of that domestic abuse case, which was on BBC Three, which was like proper. That this white rare, he was with this woman. He had two kids with her, and he went through like three or four years of just pure physical abuse to the point where, when they eventually, you know, he escaped or whatnot, he was mal like, uh, it's very skinny, lost a lot of weight, oh, no, had yeah. a lot of marks. You, you see that one? You get what I mean? And I took that to heart, fam. I was like, raw, like you, some of these bitches. Yeah, that's what I call them bitches. A fucking evil fam. You understand? And, and they definitely need to know their place, fam. And there's definitely women that can mm. open up both, both physically and psychologically and emotionally. Mm. There's men, like I said, like we started with talking about this. Me and Born Rich started by talking about um, have you ever grabbed a woman? Is it like in an argument? Is there a rare? And I was basically saying that the main thing to do is never train your children, whether it be boys or girls, that it's acceptable for a woman to be physical with a man. Never, ever train them. If you got boys, never to teach a boy, oh, yeah, if a woman just tries to hit you, just have it, and rare, rare, rare. And if you got a woman or a girl, never teach her that it's cool to do that. Never encourage that. And if you have a female in your life, like a girlfriend or whatever, I feel like out of love, you kind of got to treat her kind of harsh to let her know how unacceptable it is. Because if you don't, and you, like, you're one of these dudes that gets slapped up and just move and laugh, and I've seen it before. Man's getting slapped up, the girl's trying to hit him, and he's just like, oh, oh, and like, just like, like, basically, psychologically, he just can't do anything to defend himself. Mm. He's and punched and all these things, yeah. I've seen people get really hurt like that. And also, like, that woman's now going to maybe think she can turn around and go and do that to Jedi. Or do it mm. to on. But, but, but I think like, women yeah. should be taught self defense, though. Like, if anything, because my father, when I was young, he used to teach me self defense in a sense where, like, he used to like slightly attack me or slap me, and he like, come on, like, do something. And to the point where he'd give me one bang to the face, where I get so angry and I start, you know. But it was more of a defensive thing because obviously, like, my father had five girls. Yeah, there's no boys there, so of course it's gonna be. I've got five little girls to protect out here. You get I me? Mean? And since I'm the oldest. I also have to be their biggest sister and protect them, you understand? 
and especially where a lot of females don't have male figures in their life, they almost sometimes have to take not the responsibility of a man, but they have to be extra strong. You understand? And people always associate being physically or mentally strong with only a man. Yeah. Mm. When actually strength, it can be within a woman and with a man. There's a lot of female strong people out there. You understand? Like, you know, act like a lady, think like a man sort of thing. You understand? Um, so, yeah, I, I agree. Women shouldn't act like men and want to always challenge men. Yeah. But like, I've had to learn that the hard way. Trust me, there's times where when I was out there, yeah, I thought I'd pipe up to the wrong brother and brother, you know, had to, there was no talking fam, you understand? And and obviously that's what I had a learning yeah. curve and say, yo, I can't be out yeah, here trying to literally here. fight men. Like men, yeah, because some man will give you what you're oh. looking for. And this is what I'm saying. Yeah. It's a danger to the women that you love and the females you love to encourage that type of behaviour, at least without realistic expectations. Definitely teach your daughter to fight. Teach your daughter to defend herself because there's times where she's going to need to box up a man. But don't think that the man ain't going to try and box you back. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And yeah. I think there's women out here that have the expectancy that I'm going to be able to hit you. I'm able to push you. It happened to me in Speaker's Corner the other day. Like one of them right wing women came back all drunk. Yeah. With uh -huh. that, um, Kevin Murphy. And she was trying to get physical with me. She was like, I'm oh, like, trying to push you. Uh -huh. And me, I'm very clear on this. Don't touch me to the point where it's like a catchphrase. Don't touch me. Don't put your hands on me. But Jenna, you Jenna, must get do you that not more. think you needed a woman in that, that situation? Than a but hold on, can I ask Jedi a question? Big. Yeah. You see now, yeah, but hold on. You see now, Jedi, if a woman's trying to fight you and you had your girl next to you and your girl's about that life, would you then now look to your woman and say, do my work for me? In a sense, because that's where the woman's strength comes in place. Say, yeah, um, I, I, yeah, personally, yeah. personally, personally, I'm a like personally, I would expect any like my girl, any any woman that's my woman or that like, I'm with, uh, I would expect her to to not look for me to be like, don't touch my man, but for her to actively take that role and and, and protect uh, me from that scenario. Yeah, and then I'm gonna help my girl restrain this other girl, and I'm gonna be brutal with it. I'm a yeah, I'm mm. gonna be brutal with it. I'm gonna restrain the shit out of you. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel my strength. Yeah, but at least now uh, I don't have to be the main the main. Uh, Instigator of this thing because no one mm. fight a woman, it's not good. And somebody comes around the corner and sees you fighting a woman, you're likely to get your head kicked in. Oh, yeah, because like most of us, we come around, we see a man punching up a woman, we it's mm. not gonna be nice, it ain't gonna be nice. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. In a partner, someone like if it's a man to man, to, right, I'm gonna let you do with it because yes, it's Jupiter, a man to man I, thing. Yes, Jupiter, I should have brought up Isabella, but she didn't. She just wanted to yeah. go to court. Yeah, and then yeah. she didn't. She could. She couldn't. Okay, if you was in Hector's yeah. position, let me ask you now seriously, because a lot of people said, "Well done to Hector. He didn't touch her." He, he, Fuck he, that. All right, cool. If you was that in that situation, pussy. I'm gonna ask Jedi and Khan first. Jedi, if you was Hector and and one girl like Isabella started broken up your girl, what are you doing? Uh, who's answering oh, first? I'm. Boy, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I. I really. I'm glad that I've never really been in a position like that because. I, I I probably would do some shit that I regret later. Do you know what I mean? I'm a, yeah, because mm. like I said, the most I would, the, the least I would do is is restrain her vigorously. You know what I mean? And probably mm. allow my my girl to get the upper hand. If I'm honest with you. Mm. To be honest, my answer okay. is I don't really agree with pussyism because I find that pussy people really have fucked up personality traits so i wouldn't really be with a woman like that couldn't fend it anyway so you know i'll be expecting my girl to box up isabella or at least stand up and go toe to toe with her get me so there would be no need for me to even get involved really so what would your role be yeah i mean i mean that's what i was gonna say yeah like i've had situations that i'll I've be the guy Hannah. stopping the fight yeah. but but my girl's still yeah. getting her digs in, and I'm like, stop it, babe, stop it. And she's just like, whack, whack. And I'm like, babe, stop it. No, but you see, you see yeah. my thing, yeah, it's like, if I'm fighting somebody and it's a one-on-one, -on -one, I don't want anyone to get involved. Like, yeah. anyone. I don't care. Even if I'm losing, yeah, mm. like, because I know after I'm going to feel guilty and say, hold on, I didn't even technically beat this person up because I had two, two people helping me. But if I'm getting rushed mm. now, and I'm getting That's jumped, different. yeah. Then I expect you to back me. But if it's a one-on-one, because -on -one, I'm I'm like that. I've I've lost fights. Mm -hmm. I've won fights. You understand? Mm. So, and I want to take the full credit. So if I fucked you up, I want to know that I fucked you up by myself. If I lost, mm. then I yeah, said I lost the fight. But, 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 but there's another point. 
there's another point we're not looking at. Really, big up to Princess Dominique in the chat who said, my partner would never put me in that situation. And really, that is the right way. That Jupiter's husband should have been like, babe, just shut up, stand over there, and take her out of that fight situation. Mm. If she's not going to listen to her man and she's going to end up in a fight, then more for her, isn't it? But that's really what is required there. You know I mean? The, that's when the man yeah. steps in and says, squash it, babe. Like, leave it. You know, we've got shit to do. Like, you know, especially if you've got your kids with but, you. But like, I you think most of us who come from fight. a certain lifestyle and, and who we are, like, uh, we're bound to get into some sort of altercation, you understand? Yeah, Unfortunately, it's not the right way. Either. For you to start a fight yeah. in front of your man, ain't you disrespecting your man? Mm. Yeah, I know. Cause I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't know because mm. I, I feel like that question not directed to me, fight. but I can to start a fight. Start, yeah, start a fight. Then yeah, but mm. to get Jupiter into started a fight, the fight. Okay, listen, she started start, the fight. Start a fight, yes, but to get mm. into a fight, no. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Agreed. Yeah. If you want to start some shit, then know what you're like, and like you're putting your man in a position, in it, like that he doesn't need to be, and you put yourself in a position. But yeah, you put in a. But then that's kind of the same for a man as well. If you're if you're with your girl and you start a fight, you're putting her in a position because yeah. I mean, I didn't start a fight, but like there was one time I saw some youths that I had beef with. I was in a tr shopping center, so I saw them and I was like, "Yeah, I'm going to them." And I was with my girl. My girl was just like, "Yeah, allow it. Like, come, let's go back." She was pregnant, and everything. Come, allow it. Let's wow. let's go about our business. And I was like, "Now fuck that." I was a rider in it. If I see you is on site, I'm not going to see you and pretend I haven't seen you in it. They didn't see mm. me. Man, I ran down, got down onto that level, started beefing with these brothers, swinging bare blows, punching man up. And then, like, I just felt, kunk, kunk, kunk. <laughs> man had put, someone had pulled out a metal pole, was smacking me over my head with a metal pole in the middle of the mm -hmm. shop. And then um, my uh, my girlfriend at the time had kind of run over to be like, oh, stop it, pregnant and everything. Man, this brother launched her, like, clean across the, the fucking floor. She wow. got warm. Like, he didn't give a fuck. And that was my fault, though, innit? Really? Yeah, 100% your fault. You know what I mean, like, I could have left it. I could have at least put her out of harm's way or whatever. I didn't expect mm. her to come because I left her. But she obviously followed mm. to see what had happened. And yeah, mm. I was getting my head pumped up with a, with a metal pole. I was bleeding mm. everywhere. I love the shopping center. I'm rocking it out. Mm. Like four guys. And she's come over, like, yo, allow it because she was what? A rider that we want. And mm. she got launched. That could have been the end of the mm -hmm. baby. That could have been serious injury. Could have been death. Who knows? So, yeah, mm. you've you got a responsibility for those you're around, innit? you got a responsibility. No, I, I was in a similar situation as well, yeah, where I had a family member, a uh, very young family member with me when I saw up as well because, like, a couple of years back, I got jumped by seven of my friends. They were all my friends, and they all just turned on me one night, oh, and they all jumped me. Man. Yeah, oh, these dumb man. bitches, yeah, they all jumped me. I was on my own, about seven of them, get me, like, kicking in my head, fam. Like, they was treating my head like a football, you understand? Mm -hmm. And obviously, yeah, so w they all ran off and I said to them, Wallahi, when I catch every single one of you, you're dead. That's my exact words, yeah? And obviously, I'm dealing with seven bitches here, so i got to make sure I catch them all one by one. Time <laughs> went by, and I didn't see nobody. Then I caught one of them. He was actually the main one that, because obviously, in the beginning, I was fighting one-on-one -on -one with one of them. I was fucking her up. And because I was fucking her up, they had more allegiance to her. So they thought, right, let's back it because we got our, our friends getting fucked up in it. Mm. So I saw the one that started or initiated the jumping in. Yeah. And she's a one, one dyke girl. Yeah. So I see her in Hounslow. I'm like, what are you saying, bruv? She tried to come up to me and that like, yo, Z, wait, because time's passed yeah, now. She's thinking cool. I forgot. She's like, yo, Z, what are you saying? What, 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 what do you mean? I've come around the corner and this is how I know I'm real fam. I was with a bag of girls and she was by herself and I didn't even let none of my friends know what I was doing. They didn't ask them to get involved even though they knew about the situation. I'd done it on a sneaky one. So I just went up to her by myself and I started it and I started just fucking her up. And then my friends realised I was fighting and they thought I was fighting a brer because this girl looks like a man, dresses like a man, everything. Oh, so they all come around rushing over. Did They're she, like, what's going like on? Like as well. Proper, like, one of the man -dem. You look at this girl, looks like a man -dem. like back, like, every, like, proper man, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah? So I'm fucking this bitch up, yeah? Then all my friends come through. They weren't even asking no questions. They just started, like, they finished her off for me. So that was one out of the way. Now, the second time, I was with a young family member, and I was with my brethren. And this girl that I wanted to catch, yeah, this is the main bitch because she was the one that was fighting with one-on-one. And after I got rushed and everything, she went around telling everybody, I oh, fucked up Zabeda, you know, and everyone knows me. You, like, you fucked up Zabeda. They couldn't even believe it. 
yeah? Because she was so proud because she's one skinny rat, yeah? But she's about six foot tall, though. And she went around telling everyone, I fucked up the bait. And even people that heard it didn't believe it because they know. But anyway, I thought, all right, cool. I saw her in Uxbridge. She's walking now. And I'm with this young family member. I'm like, ah. Oh. But I'm saying, true, say my friends here. I'm like, yo, just like, hold her for a second. Like, I'm going to come back in it. And then I went, and then she, but she followed me into Boots. And I saw this bitch. And I just straight away, what was you saying about me? She was like, oh, what are you talking about? I said, but what was you saying about me? And then she put her hands on my face. She goes, what are you going to do? The moment I heard this, what are you going to do? I just see black. And I just, that's it. I launched at her, fucked her up. The whole of Boots was mashed up. The, the, the young child was there as well. Because obviously my friend was all close up in the place. So like, even the people in the shop was like, get the child away. Get the child out. There's a baby here. You understand? And I'm out here just fucking up this girl the whole of boots was all over the place you understand it was only till afterwards that i realized shit like this child could have got hurt fam you understand and i had to just quickly cut and i was like yeah. it was a constant, it was afterwards i was reading like police and stuff and this and that i gotta go i gotta go you understand so there are times and i could have just seen her because she i saw her before she saw me do you get it so i saw her i could have act like i didn't see her and just kept it moving but my pride my mm -hmm. anger from the past literally just i couldn't control i had to do something at that time you understand I ain't gonna lie, you're a pair of idiots, both of you idiots. Yeah. <laughs> you're both yeah. idiots. I'm glad that you changed and you've learned, but that was an idiotic thing to do. Um, Stem. Putting, your, putting yourself in danger. You're young, though, isn't it? You're young. You don't mm -hmm. really think yeah. about consequences. And that's what makes yeah, you so. My, my, ex, my, my ex was a hothead, man. Like, mm -hmm. One time we were in the car with her and her brothers, and someone cut her up while she was driving. She, she, she pulled up the handbrake. Her and her three brothers were running up the road trying to catch some guy in the car. And I'm there sitting there holding the baby. And they come back and they're going to me, what happened to you? I was like, are you lot fucking dumb? Left the baby strapped into a car no. to go and fight some guy. Yeah. You run up on the car, the guy's sitting in the car looking at you going, what, what are you going to do? And you can't do nothing because he's got the central locking on, windows are closed, that you just left your baby for nothing, you fucking idiot. I just start proper having a go at her in the street and her brothers were like, they're all pumped anyway from chasing the guy up the road. They were looking at me like, you're out of order. Why are you speaking to her like that for? I was like, you lot are all fucking stupid. You're watching too many gangster films. You think you're hard. You don't you know nothing you to the guy. You know who you remind me of? Hmm. You know who you remind me of? Don't uh, say Mills. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you remind me of Beppe from EastEnders. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? You know what he said? You're out of order. You're out of order. See, that's what it that's what... You're yeah, out of Bro. Oh, stop. I was fuming. I was fuming. What, are you going to leave my baby in the car, strapped in a baby chair and run Yo, up, up the road to, to fight someone? Say my name one more time, man. Why do you keep saying my name, bro? What kind of bad team man? Anyway, man, I don't even so, like, want... Can I just ask you, what's on your head? Like, why did you put it like that? If I was like, straight out, fam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't breathe, fam. Oh, damn, it's easy. To... Is, my, is my locks look? I know, but you <laughs> done it in a funny way. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's, that's looking all seeking that, fam. What's going yeah, on? Uh, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, um, it's the front, it's a uh, seeky kind of way, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, it's like the, um, like the, the young Sikh men wear, wear the thing. So basically, it's my, it's my little my little bed hat here, my little Rasta hat. And then I've got a band. Yeah. Mm. And I just I put it around the top bit. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Let me. Hello, 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 I used to love that song, you know, that um, that Night Rider one. Oh my god! You know, how much oh. did that guy make? You know that tune, that that tuning, tuning. You know, with the Night Rider beat. No. What's the name of that Night Rider? And you had that one with that what's his name, Mist, and Steph London, and that uh, seat guy. That's hard. Yeah, but people was pissed. People were saying that's that's cultural appropriation and all sorts. When they saying that? No, I, I, I like that fusion stuff. I love when you try, you know, mix certain two things together. It's hard. Bit of Asian, bit of hip hop in there, bit of Bangra. 
Yo, I believe that Shirky, yeah? Shirky Stevens, respect family tree. I appreciate that, man. One love, you get me? One love, Shirky Stevens, man. Big up yourself. Guys, uh, I've got to remind you like, to hit that like button. Please, please, please. And um, if you want to support the stream, you can do so by cash app, by typing in pound sign, trill support. Or someone told me you don't need a pound sign, but they obviously were wrong. And you can also hit up the PayPal. The link is in the description, and I'll be posting it in the chat as well if you want to support the thing. But please, please like up the show. Like, I need to see these likes up. I don't know what they're on now, but they were on some ridiculous amount. This has been a very long, trill news review. Um, I know Born Rich is falling asleep. Um, I don't know where, where Sniper is. Let me see. Wait, hold on one second. Born Rich is dildo still making noise. Oh, my God. Is the alarm still going? Yeah. It's time for him to get up. He's just gone to sleep. He's finished. Uh, I'm going to kick him out so he can just go and chill. Sniper! I don't know where Sniper is. He's just probably, you know, getting ready to start his day. I've got a lot to do. So I'm going to get myself um, dressed. I've had my shower and everything first thing in the morning. i go go hit the road. I've got a few things to do. I've got to pick up some paint for my studio space. Um, look for some furniture. I need some blinds. Um, mm. and I've got to start arranging, bringing all my monitors and my screens and what whatnot down there, and I'll be live streaming from there soon. Like, hopefully by the by the weekend, I'll come back. Hopefully by the weekend, I'll be can give you a little tour of my little space. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I big up Shirky oh, Steven. How, how do you feel about um that? I don't know if you heard about Jane Francis yesterday. Okay. Do, you, do you want to tell anything to her if you had an opportunity to ask anything? Probably if I was at Speaker's Corner in the hype of it, I'd be like, oh, I'd ask a question that would probably crush her. But I've seen her, uh, I watched mm -hmm. her chatting with Ali Dawa, and I just, I just don't care, man. I don't care. Do you know what I mean? I don't care if I have to, but I understand that she's supposed to be a, a voice for for the right, for the for the Christian right. Man, listen, mm. we created Jupiter. We're now going to go and create someone else. Like, when is Mandem going to learn? Like, you get me? When are we going to learn? No, I, mean, I think Jada Francis, to be honest, I, I'll give some... Even though I don't like her, I think she's built up her own reputation on she her has. own. And, and yeah, 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 she has, she has, she has. I'm not saying yeah. that. I'm just saying we got to remember the power lies within us, innit? You know, big up Sosa. Do you know what I mean? we got to remember that the power lies within us. That the mass... The, not even the masses, but... Some of us have really got the ability to make or break somebody. And I feel like the more attention we, we pay to people that... The more attention we pay, we pay to people we don't fuck with is the bigger platform we create for them. We create a buzz for them. We create whatever. No, but but it's, it's not even a creating or helping. Like, the thing is, yeah, yes, it would be the more attention we give to that person. Yeah, but... If I didn't fuck with Jupiter, if I didn't fuck with Jupiter, if you didn't fuck with Jupiter... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jupiter, would she have a platform that was worth... Jada no, no, of course, yeah. People like Jupiter, definitely, yeah. They like they're but relevant, does, but, but I'm saying she, someone like but Jada. Does she have a platform? Well, she Jupiter has... don't have a platform worth speaking about. That's why she has to get Jada to come on there. Well, nah, let's just see in it. Let's see in it. She's it's, probably nah, been but the thing is, like, like, like we need opposition out here in a sense where Jada, someone like Jada, I will class that as a worthy opponent. Yeah, Someone like Jupiter, yeah. it's not it's not intellectual, it's low IQ. You you don't really have any like big following out there, but someone like Jada and her nah. ideas is somebody Jupiter's that I would more, class as an nah. up because Jupiter's she has that threat. following. I agree with you. I don't. Jupiter's we, more of a threat. We use Jupiter for target practice. You're yeah. right. We use that still for target practice for that. But yeah, man. I mean, either way, there's people that's following my channel that don't know who Jupiter or Jada is. I mean, I'm not mm. saying I want to keep them in the dark. Mm -hmm. but I don't mind if they never know who these, those people are. So we, I, you mm. got to be wary of what we do in it because you know someone's gonna be like, "Who's See, the Jupiter?" And I'll go and check them out. Let me ask you a question, Jada. As a black person, who's more of a threat to your community, Jada, who no one even likes or gives a fuck about, and is a total outcast and can never step foot in the black community, or someone like Jupiter? who has a black husband, who has mixed-race children, who can infiltrate if you let her and start convincing people of these right-wing views. Who's more of a threat? Ooh. 
put the way you to put the way you put it, I would yeah, say I'm biased. I'm not gonna lie, I'm biased. Put the way you put it, I would say mm. uh Jupiter, they're both threats. Um they may mm. be their threat. Um, because you know, maybe Jada has the ability to create a climate outside of the black community that is host that becomes more hostile for blacks and whoever, yeah. yeah? And then maybe um Jupiter is one to try and infiltrate and get on the inside and change the, the hearts and minds of individuals. Um, I would probably still go with Jada just because she seems to have a bigger following and be part of a bigger network and be taken more seriously. Um, but Jupiter is can be dangerous. But if I wanted to actually highlight who the biggest threat to the so-called black um, community, mm. um, I would have to say it would be black people. Yeah, I knew he was going to uh, say that. I was just that. about to ask you that. I was going to ask you that still overall. So you say yeah. it's black people, yeah? Yeah, I would say overall, black people are the biggest threat to themselves. And, you know, they have the saying that um, uh, if there's no, if, if you have no enemy within, no enemy from uh, from outside can can defeat and touch you. Yeah, that's true. I, like that. I don't think I, I I quoted it properly, but it's similar to no, that. No, but I get it. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, our our greatest problem. But, but is I, I think that's the same situation with 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 Muslims as well. <clears throat> all, all this in house fighting. You understand? We have to start within before we look outwards. You understand? But but I will say one of the biggest threats to the Muslim community is definitely the system, the right wing, and and Islamophobia. Um, and ourselves as well, because I feel like without us even fighting with each other, they still be the way that they are because they're coming from this this ignorant mindset that's been running around for centuries. You understand? Um, so either way, even if we were good, they'd still come at us. You understand? They're just capitalizing off the fact that we're so divided, which is part of them causing it in the first place. You understand? Yeah, I I fully hear you, man. I fully hear you, and um, yeah, man. Probably, it probably be said with any camp, right? That um, you know, you like you have to look internally first. You know, that's with any group of people, any collective, any any whatever you stand under. Your biggest threat would probably be from within. But but do you think this in-house black on black crime is? What do you think is the cause of it? Do you think it's is the division and infiltration, or do you think it's self hate? Like, what what would you say? I don't think there's any one cause of of any nation or any group of people having um, internal struggles. I think this is actually part of the greatest society that we are in, which is um, it's all of the above and more. You know, there's out there's external tinkering. There's the way that certain things have been set in society for it to be like that. There's uh, people more powerful than us playing divide and conquer. Then there's self-hate from within ourselves. But also, like it's like everything has got a dual aspect to it. With self-hate comes people's tribalism and lack of self-esteem and, um, you know, unhappiness with who they are. And then they take it out on people that look like them. But then there's also the other side of it where it's being engineered that way. So mm -hmm. your tribalism, your lack of self-esteem, uh, your, your unhappiness with who you are is actually being facilitated and encouraged um, in order yeah. to keep your group divided. And that's with, that's with, that's with humanity. That's with humanity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I don't think there's one, there's not one answer. In, and each little microcosm, each little pocket of that one community has probably got different factors, a different balance of factors that's, that's, um, that's affecting them, you know what I mean? Mm. But, but, but I agree with you because this whole, like, even with Braden, yeah, if, like, from a psychological perspective, this is somebody that clearly lacks self-esteem himself, yeah? He's always, you know, trying to make an opportunity, keeps on failing, He, you know, he has nothing really to his name. So due to that lack of self-esteem, he's found a way to uplift his self-esteem by acting as if he's superior and using a different race to justify mm. him being superior to him, that's what see, a lot yeah, of these races, their mindset finished. comes from. He's finished, see, yeah. Look, look, look it's, it was like fucking Thursday morning. My man's waved off his head, clearly hasn't slept, mm. and he's drinking. He's finished. Where's the first mm. place? He, where's the first place he heads to? Him and Phil. It's the first place they head to in the morning. The black man show. Yeah. What the fuck are you? But, like, but do you think he means what he says though? Because I feel like I, I feel like he's just saying this stuff to make himself feel better. Yeah. But in reality. Yeah. Because there's a video of him 
chilling with me, Walid Zikos. Zikos is playing African drums. Walid's singing in Arabic, and he looks like he's and, and he's with Isabella, and he looks like he's having the best time. So yeah. I don't think he Still genuinely means what he says. You can't trust him. He needs acceptance. Yeah, yeah of course, no, definitely, yeah, definitely. But I feel like these. You remember yeah. the Matrix? He reminds me. Remember, there's that one brother in the Matrix that snakes him. He reminds me of that. Yeah. Like or like um, my man from Three Hundred, the man with the hunchback. Yeah, you're not really. <laughs> you're, not yeah, really yeah. Fitting, you're not really fitting in. End of that, so you tell out in the end. Ultimately, where we felt sorry for you in the beginning of the of the of the program, where it was like, ah, oh, look at him and his hunchback. He can't lift the sword. He can't lift the, the shield. Do you know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, you know what I mean? I feel it for him. Eventually, you're like, rah, this pussy. It was right to not to bring him in because his weakness is actually a disease to warriors, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it's, it's more than a physical thing. So, like, I don't think anybody really wants Braden on their team because he's he's damaged goods. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and, and you can see that. That's that's been yeah, shown. See the that. energy that he gives off when he's around certain people, like on them marches and whatnot, they really hone in on him and target him. Mm. And he gets battered every time he goes to one. Cause <laughs> it's that energy he gives off. Yeah, no you get me? They know that they're starting. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like with a pack of dogs, isn't it? When there's the ill dog, they actually kill it. There's no point in you eating and taking up a meal. You might as well be gone, isn't it? So they, like, that's what dogs do. They'll kill the weakest one. Mm. You yeah. know, the hunchback yeah. or... Yeah. Whatever. There's no point in you eating, bro. There's no point in you surviving it's, it's, that. It's good to have Braden. It's a cull. It's, it's, it's a cull. It's enjoyable to have Braden. Like, I'm not going to lie. He's a bit of a punch bag, isn't it? Like, he's a bit mm. of a punch bag, intellectual mm. punch bag. It is nice to have him around, let him spout his shit. Because I know every time he opens his mouth, there's a group of people that want him to stop speaking, want him to stop trying to represent us. Because it's like, yo. Yeah, they're the they're, white people. Yeah, exactly. You're saying the stuff that. Like maybe we kind of agree with, but you shouldn't be saying it now. This is not, this is not smart. This is not real rare, rare. This is real rare, rare. I feel mm. like he's a PR nightmare to them, man. There, so that therefore, giving him a microphone is actually quite a good look. Mm. Like I said, so I, do you know what it is? Yeah, I said this, this right. morning. Yeah, every time you speak, I get so much fucking, so much sound clips, so much sound bites that I can go and use to promote my show and that. Like you do me nothing but favors. Like mm. yesterday, mm. You know what I mean. You do me nothing but favors by by. Well, by... But, but you know what it is, Jedi. Yeah, like you see, like what I wrote this morning. I said, unfortunately, freedom of speech. The system defends this man's right to say what he's saying, and I this is the it, issue right. that I have. They're trying to normalize people like him and Jupiter. I would say are trying to normalize this sort of racism. Like for instance, Jupiter. I'm white. Yeah, I'm racist, but I'm definitely. a black man, though. Definitely. Yeah. So so mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's it's okay. Now you have this man mocking slavery. Mock, like not, not to the point where. It should be normalized, yeah. Not to the point where we, know. yeah, it should be, because then, why? Because then it silences all the people that say that there's no racism out here. Because last year, that's what I was getting. Where's the race? Where's the racism in this nation? So the more they come up and they speak, the more that like that argument could be deaded. Oh well, no, it's not even about racism. But, but we already know this, though. My my position no, is, you, bruv, you need know to it. Get... Oh, wait, wait. You know it. I know it. Me and you will stand in speaker's corner one day and people will be arguing, telling you that it's just a fucking street mentality, victim mentality you got. It's because you failed uh, at life and rah, rah, rah. Yeah. Someone was writing it in the chats today. Oh, it's a failed, <laughs> looking to blame, um, uh, make excuses for your failures. and rah. So the more we can prove that the average man or average people out there do share these views, I, think it's, I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think. I mean, I mean, for me, yeah, it's it's just like you see when man's just like mocking slavery and oh, you Africans, that's why. Like, see, see that sort of behavior, fam. I'm, I, and I'm not calling for violence, fam, but it needs to get deader. And if it means you need to get punched in your mouth so that you know that you wouldn't even cross your mind to, to disrespect it, people it, like that because he's say, it, because he's so confident with his though? statement. Is it gonna stop hmm? man thinking it? If you punch one in the face. Bro, you can think that shit, but we can't allow it to, to... listen, wait, everyone's wait, gonna wait, think wait, what wait, they're gonna no, think. Wait, wait. What's the most what's the biggest issue to us? What's the uh, like for, for instance, let me just ask a question. Like for you're talking about Muslim and Islam, yeah. So there's anti Islam mm -hmm. rhetoric. What is the biggest issue? Is it people saying anti Islam um uh rhetoric or is shit. It thinking mm -hmm. anti Islam uh um shit? <laughs> No, the thing is, yeah, man's exactly. thinking it. That's cool. Somebody could say pro-Islam speech, pro-diversity speech, and and have 
have anti-Islam thoughts and therefore would project or will ca or will act anti-Islamic. Does that make sense? That means the policies yeah. and the it's the action. It's the action that is the threat. You understand? So, yeah, but the action like, is, for me personally, the action yeah, is based on the thought, not not speech. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. So but but my main thing face, is, yeah, punch a man in the mouth and get a man to be quiet takes us back to where we already were, where racism is happening, but nobody, everyone's saying it's not racist. Tommy Robertson's but, not. But, 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 but brother, yeah, Jedi, be honest, yeah. The reason why a lot of black people are not in the same state that they were in, maybe in the 40s, or or it's because they rebelled, because they fought back. You understand? And that's why man had to, you get me, man had to stop what he was doing. Otherwise, they knew it was coming for them because yeah. people fought for that right yeah. to abolish that sort of yeah. behavior. I'm not saying it doesn't yeah. exist, but we have to fight harder because from, from, from a morality perspective, we are becoming so desensitized. Yeah, that 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 things like this could be said, and it, and it doesn't hold any weight to it. When actually, it holds so much weight. You understand? A man's got the right to do it. This system defends his right to go around calling people the N word, mocking black people, and 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 we're just supposed to accept it under free speech. When actually, you know, these things have a lot of history to it, and and and, and oppression to it, well, and it contributes to the continuous oppression. Last thing I'm gonna say on this is, um, I would rather. Like what, what um, Giska said, an open enemy is better than a secret one. I would rather people vocal about how they feel and what they think, yeah? And, that, and therefore, I can tally that up with the actions and it makes sense, rather than this covert mm. racism that I think Britain has been under for a little while, where it's like, oh, we're not racist, racism's done. And then when I when I call up for a job or call up for an appointment to view something, I have to, mm. I, I have to either de-blackify myself or set or, or get somebody that's not black to go and take my meetings and or take or make appointments for me because we know in every angle, even around the corner from me, people hold racist views. Yeah. I'd rather that be out in the open. So then it's easier to destroy, it's easier to avoid, it's easier to detect and explain than this covert shit where people are telling you that you're going fucking bar me and there's something wrong with the way you see the world. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you get less mm -hmm. black van men if more people were vocal. Not saying that we don't mm -hmm. want a black van man, but I'm saying you get less people that act oblivious to what other people are talking about mm -hmm. if, if everyone was more vocal. So I do think that having freedom of speech mm -hmm. is, is very important. Or the right to, to say that I think Jenna's a nigger. He said fuck blacks earlier. I think that's important mm -hmm. for him to be able to type that in the chat and say fuck blacks. So, there's no, so that anybody's arguing of is this guy racist or not, the proof is in the pudding, isn't but, but, it? But that's what well, I think. I think my main point is, yeah, for me, yeah, is more racism like is it's quite sick. when they hide it as it, racism, racism is most damaging when they hide it and disguise it as as being true for very rare. Like, no, nah, let call it what it is, isn't it? Call it what it is. Yeah. And then, I mean, and I mean, I mean, me like that. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I mean, for me personally, it's, it's just quite, it's quite, um, and send them, to yeah, but, but with, I, I think it's quite sick, yeah, that we're living in this society. Yeah, where these things <clears throat> like if I like for instance, this is not my ideal world, you understand? This is why I'm so opposed against this, because if, if in my ideal world, yeah, like these things would not happen, you understand? We 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 respect yeah, but, man's culture, we respect man's traditions, yeah. we wouldn't even think twice, yeah, out of yeah. out of just justice wise to say these things. But because we're not living in that Zubida, state of world, this is why say, these things are, are let, happening. Let, Zubida, let me say why I think you're right and Jedi is wrong in this instance, yeah. Is that the fact is, white people for a long time ain't been able to um, spread their racism to their children or in their own families and send their kids to school, knowing that the schools ain't going to tolerate it and knowing that they're going to get boxed by some little black kid. Yeah, That's, that's what mm. stopped racism spreading. What Jedi is seeming mm. to think is that if you let this, the, the racism be exposed, it's going to reveal the people that at the higher level of racism, the ones that are in power, yeah? But that's not the case. You can never reveal them racist. Them racists will always be undercover. They will never show their real feelings yeah. because they're in power over you. They don't need to tell you nothing. They set up the mm -hmm. game where the deck's stacked against you and it will always be that way. Now, when you allow racism to spread freely, it's spreading amongst a certain class of people. The ones that you've got to live with on a daily basis. But that don't affect what, what I call the glass ceiling. In other words, social mobility, how you can move up. Yeah? Because them doors will always be close to you. You get me? 
And it will always be that way because England's a small country. They ain't going to let you rise to the level of the aristocracy. They ain't going to let you do that. So they've got their little checks and balances in place to stop that from happening. Get me? But the racism... Yeah, I mean, this is why I seeing, say I'm not resorting to violence, yeah? But I wouldn't blame no, but a black man right, though, that brutally... That that brutally right, hold on, hold on. I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame a black man who it. brutally beat a white guy for calling him the N-word. And I mean, brutally. I wouldn't mind if he, if he even knocked out his teeth. Yeah, I wouldn't blame him. I, I I would say that it's justice served because yeah. this this racism, yeah, has the power yeah. to to cause a group of people to be inferior, mm. to lose their human mm. rights, to not even to be, be able to I'm live or with achieve. You. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, these black people that did yeah. that, yeah, for for what? How many years now? Ten years, twenty years? We've been enjoying off the back of that a certain amount of freedom. That when these foreigners, Muslims, whoever come to this country, don't realise that or recognise that or give those black people that credit. That we got this freedom that we can walk around without NFs rolling up on us because of them. Because of the fact mm. that they stood up against it. Yeah. So when people like, not mentioning no names, but Samaya comes and starts chatting shit. Yeah. That's why I have to remind her of that, that before your generation come, there was a generation of Jamaicans that come in the 50s and they were faced with the most brutal racism on the street level. And they had to fight. And because of their fight, yeah, we now benefit. But we can't then yeah, yeah. take what we're finding, getting off the boat now and finding a nice situation, mm -hmm. taking it for granted that that's the lay of the land. No, mate. Because as soon as you start letting up on them, that's when they're going to be, have, like Macri said, they're going to have their foot on your neck again. And that's what we're yeah. seeing. We're seeing immigrants coming to this country, yeah, unaware of the struggle that's gone before them and taking the lay of the land as standard and thinking, oh, English people are right, you know. Yeah, they're only all right when you've got black people with you that will fucking shut them up. But go to other places outside London where there ain't that many black people and you see how mm. Pakistanis and Asians have to live. You get me? Mm. I'm not talking about areas where they're predominantly Muslim or the, there's gangs of Muslims. I'm talking about places that's predominantly white, which is majority of the country, where you still see a little Asian shop or a Chinese takeaway or a little kebab shop or something. Them Asians or them foreigners that are in them communities, they walk with their head on the floor, bro. Mm. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, I definitely agree. We see what's happening in France, bro. In this time with all this generation identity stuff and like there's a bag of Moroccans, Algerians, Senegalese, a lot of African migrants there, you understand? And, and, and I've been there and them not have to really uh, stay in closed-knit communities and, 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 you understand, stick with each other in a sense because they've already been put in a position where they've had to isolate themselves mm -hmm. because they're not even wanted there in the first place. You understand? Even when it comes down to the doctors, man's got to go to an, an all-African uh, doctor or, you know what I'm saying, because he can't go to the main one because he already knows when they look at him, they're going to think, oh, man's from Africa, it's probably coming with disease and white, you know what I'm saying? And and mm. this is this is the thing. And these people, yes, they, they, this is why when I hear these people saying this thing, it's because of the amount of weight. Like, what he's saying has been implemented you understand, to the point where, like, mm. F blacks and F you, the N-word. There was a point where people were doing that, you understand, mm. while whipping folks, you understand, and you're trying mm. to reintroduce that and bring them back to a time where, yes, it's not 100% great, you understand, but it's better off from where we used to be, you understand, and the more that we allow these people to have this 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 voice and not, not, not shut it down, it's going to spread, yeah, because, like... He, he can technically radicalise people with that sort of rhetoric, yeah? That's radicalised. He's probably been radicalised yeah. himself. They yeah? to their own now kids some in other, their own other, other, But hold on, some other little kid yeah, could be listening to Braden and think, well, if he's saying it, then I can mm. say it. Do you understand? Yeah. And then and to uh -huh. the point where first they're saying it, next thing you know, man's actually going to do something. Well, yeah, because obviously he's saying it and he's coming into contact with other people that are saying it and they become like a little group. You get me? Yeah. Like... That's how it is. And then, because they've got the numbers, they feel that they can do something. Exactly. Exactly. This is, this is what I'm saying. So we've got to cut the snake's head off. And, and, and that's why I said, if man got his head kicked in for saying that, yeah, then he knows I can't be going around disrespecting black people. I can't go around calling people because I know what time it is. You understand? And, and, and exactly. sorry, that's, that's just my way of, of... That's just how I would put it down, fam. Respect. It just comes down to simple respect. Yeah, and which a lot of these people definitely lack. They're always pointing their fingers at this one, that one, this one, that one, making man to feel like he's inhuman, making man to feel he's inferior. Who are you? Like, like this is literally the devil's work, fam. We are all God's creation. How dare you now come here 
and try to say that you're superior and you're better than everybody else, fam. Does that make sense? And you have no evidence to even support that. I, I can understand if you were claiming to be ancient Egyptian or something like that, but like, what? You come in here, like your, your lineage and your history doesn't even tell us that you're great, but all of a sudden you're great. Mm. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, big up to you lot. I'm going to wrap uh -huh. the show here. Thank you so much for your brilliant uh -huh. input. Um, I'm going to go <clears throat> get on with a few things. But yeah, man, uh -huh. big up. <laughs> Hit the like button. <clears throat> and I'll catch you a little bit later um, for another show, probably like around six o'clock. But yeah, I hope you lot have a great day, man. Yeah, you too, man. Yeah, have have a good session today, at man. the gym yeah. and all that. Yeah, man. Big up, family. Big up, big up. All right, you lot, um, all you listeners, much love. Chat to you lot in a little bit, man. Chat to you lot in a little bit.